梁歌制作，老张的哲学，作者老舍。第一，老张的哲学是前本位而三位一体的，他的宗教是三种：回、业、佛。职业是三种：兵、学、商。言语是三种：官话、奉天话、山东话。他的三种。Production by Liang Gu, Lao Zhang Das Philosophy Author, Lao Shi. First, Lao Zhang's philosophy is money-based and Trinity. He has three religions: Hui, Yi, and Buddhism. He has three professions: military, learning, and business. There are three types of languages: Mandarin, Fengtian dialect, and Shandong dialect. His three kinds. 他的三种，甚至于洗澡平生也只有三次。洗澡固然是件小事，可是为了解老张的行为与思想，倒有说明的必要。老张平生只洗三次澡，两次夜经执行。He has three kinds. He even takes a bath only three times in his life. Although taking a bath is a trivial matter, in order to understand Lao Zhang's behavior and thoughts, it is necessary to explain. Lao Zhang only took three baths in his life. Twice he had already taken a bath. 其余一次，至今还没有人敢断定是否实现。虽然他生在人人是预言家的中国，第一次是他生下来的第三天。由收生婆把那时候无知无识的他，像小老鼠似的在铜盆里洗的。No one dares to tell whether the other one has come true, even though he was born in China, where everyone is a prophet. The first time was on the third day after he was born. The midwife washed him in a copper basin like a little mouse. 第二次是他结婚的前一夕，自动的到清水池塘洗的。这次两个同源的花费，至今还在账本上写着。这在老张的历史上是毫无可疑的事实。至于将来的一次呢 ？The second time was on the eve of his wedding, when he took the initiative to wash himself in a clear water pond. The cost of two copper dollars this time is still written in the account book. This is an unquestionable fact in Lao Zhang's history. As for the one in the future, 按着多数预言家的推测，设若执行一定是被动的。简言之，就是喜师。喜师是回教的风俗。老张是否重信莫哈莫德呢？要回答这个问题，似乎应当侧重经济方面，较近于确实。According to the speculation of most prophets, if it is implemented. It must be passive. In short, it is body washing. Washing corpses is a Muslim custom. Does Lao Zhang believe in Muhammad? To answer this question, it seems that we should focus on the economic aspect, which is closer to certainty. 设若老张呜呼哀哉上想之日，正是羊肉价钱低落之时。那就不难断定，他的遗嘱有按照回教丧仪预备六小件一海碗的清真教习之倾向。自然，关于持久吊丧的亲友们。If the day when Lao Zhang woefully mourned the feast was when the price of mutton was low, it would not be difficult to conclude that his will had the tendency to prepare six small items and one bowl of halal halal in accordance with Islamic funeral rites. Of course, relatives and friends are accustomed to eating and drinking in mourning. 也可以借此换一换口味，而喜事问题或可以附带解决矣。不过，十年、二十年或三十年后肉价的涨落，实在不易有精密的推测。况且，现在老张精神中既无死志。You can also use this to change your taste. And the problem of corpse washing may be solved incidentally. However, 
it is difficult to accurately predict the rise and fall of meat prices in 10, 20, or 30 years. Besides, Lao Zhang has no intention of dying in his spirit. 皮质上又看不出颓唐之相，于是星象家推定老张上有十年、二十年或三十年之寿命，与断定十年、二十年或三十年后肉价之增减有同样之不易。猪肉贵而羊肉见则回。there was no sign of decadence in his physique, so the astrologer inferred that Lao Zhang had ten, twenty, or thirty years to live, and concluded that the price of meat would increase after ten, twenty, or thirty years. Reduction is equally difficult. Pork is expensive and mutton is cheap. Zhu Yang Rou Du Gui Ze Fo, Qing Ke Zhi Shi Ze Ye. 为什么请客的时候择业？耶稣教是由替天行道的牧师们不远万里而传到只信魔鬼不晓得天国的中华。If pork and mutton are both expensive, it is a Buddha, and when you are entertaining guests, it is a bad thing. Why do you do it when you are treating guests? The religion of Jesus Christ was spread to China a country that only believed in the devil and did not know the kingdom of heaven, by pastors who preached for heaven. 老教师们有时候高兴请信徒们到家里谈一谈,可以不说请吃饭,说请吃茶,请吃茶,自然是西洋文明人的风俗。从实惠上看,吃饭与吃茶是差得多。Sometimes old teachers are happy to invite believers to their homes for a chat. Instead of saying, please have a meal, they may say, please have tea. Inviting them to tea is naturally a custom among Western civilized people. In terms of affordability, there is a huge difference between eating and drinking tea. 可是中国人到洋人家里去吃茶, 那受宠若惊的心理也就把计较实惠的念头胜过了。这种妙法被老张学来，于是欲万不得已之际也请朋友到家里吃茶。这样办。But when Chinese people go to foreigners' homes to have tea, their feeling flattered mentality outweighs the thought of economic benefits. This wonderful method was learned by Lao Zhang, so when he had to. He would invite friends to his home for tea. Do it this way. 可以使朋友们明白他亲自受过洋人的传授，至于省下一笔款，倒算不了什么。满用平生仿着老牧师说中国话，明天下午五点钟少一刻。It can make friends understand that he has personally been taught by foreigners. As for saving a sum of money, it is nothing. Man imitated the old pastor and spoke Chinese in a flat voice. It will be a quarter short of five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. 请从你的家里走到我的家里吃一碗茶。尤为老张的绝技，营商为钱，当兵为钱，办学堂也为钱。同时教书营商又当兵，则财通四海，力达三江矣。此之位,三位一体,此之位。Please walk from your home to my home to have a bowl of tea. This is especially Lao Zhang's unique skill. Do business for money, serve as a soldier for money, run a school for money. At the same time, teach business and serve as a soldier, then you can make money from all over the world. This is called, Trinity, this is called. 前本位而三位一体，意思说话三种，信教三样，洗澡三次，莫不根据于三位一体的哲学理想而实施。老张也办教育，真的，他有他自己立的学堂。Money is the basis, but the Trinity. According to this, there are three ways to speak, three ways to believe in religion, and three times to bathe. All of them are implemented based on the philosophical ideal of Trinity. 
Lao Zhang also runs education. Really, yes. He has his own school. 他的学堂坐落在北京北城外，离德胜门、比利安定门近的一个小镇上，坐北朝南的一所小四合房，包着东西长南北短的一个小院子。临街三间是老张的杂货铺、上子鸦片。His school is located in a small town outside the north city of Beijing, closer to Dishengmen than Andingmen. It is a small quadruple house facing north and south, surrounded by a small courtyard that is long from east to west and short from north to south. Three rooms facing the street are Lao Zhang's grocery stores, which sell opium. 下至葱蒜，一应俱全。东西配房是他和他夫人的卧房。夏天上午住东房，下午住西房，冬天反之。春秋是天气冷暖以为转移，既省凉棚及煤火之费，常牵动着与身体也有益。From onions to garlic, everything is available. The east and west bedrooms are the bedrooms for him and his wife. In summer, they live in the east room in the morning and in the west room in the afternoon. In winter, the opposite is true. In spring and autumn, they will be transferred depending on the weather. It not only saves the cost of a pergola and coal fire, but also benefits the body by moving it for a long time. 北房三间打通了木立段，足以容五十多个学生。土气的横三竖八的二十四张书桌，不用清灰，砖平墨染，是又黑又匀。书桌之间列着杨槐木做的小矮脚凳，高身量的学生。The three rooms in the north room have been opened up with wooden sections, which is enough to accommodate more than fifty students. The twenty-four desks made of earth are arranged horizontally and vertically. Instead of using green ash, they are dyed with ink, which makes them black and even. Between the desks are small, low stools made of acacia wood. Tall students. 蹲着比坐着舒服，小的学生坐着和吊着差不多。北墙上中间悬着一张孔子像，两旁配着彩印的日俄交战图。西墙上两个大铁帽钉子挂着一块二尺见方的黑板。Squatting is more comfortable than sitting. For young students, sitting is about the same as hanging. There is a portrait of Confucius hanging in the middle of the north wall. With colorful pictures of the war between Japan and Russia on both sides, a two-foot square blackboard hangs from two large iron cap nails on the west wall. 钉子上挂着老张的军帽和阴阳合力的线书，门口高悬着一块白地黑字的匾，匾上写着“京师德胜训”，注“德胜训，训读训”。青史北京军队或房地名称，德胜训。Hanging on the nail is Lao Zhang's military cap and the constitution of the lunar calendar. There is a plaque with black characters on a white ground hanging high at the door, which reads "Dishing Flood of the Capital." Note: Dishing Flood, Sun, is pronounced as Sun, the name of Beijing's army or defense line in the Qing Dynasty. Dishing flood. 及驻防德胜门外的军队。北京入民国后，仍沿用各训名称。北郊德胜门外仍称德胜训。公司立官商小学堂。老张的学堂有最严的三道禁令。That is the army stationed outside the Shengmen. After Beijing entered the Republic of China. It still used the names of various floods. Outside the Shengmen in the northern suburbs is still called the Sheng Flood. Public and private government and business elementary schools. Dot. Lao Zhang School has the three strictest prohibitions. 第一是无论春夏秋冬闰月，不准学生开教室的窗户。
，因为环绕学堂半里而外全是臭水沟，无论刮东西南北风，永远是臭气袭人。不准开窗，以绝恶臭。The first is that students are not allowed to open the windows of the classroom, regardless of spring, summer, autumn, or winter, because half a mile around the school is a stinking ditch, and no matter whether the wind blows from east to west, north or south, the stench is always overwhelming. Windows are not allowed to be open to avoid the stench. 于是，五十多个学生喷出的叹气。比远远吹来的臭气更臭。第二是学生一切用品点心都不准在学堂以外的商店去买。老张的利益是在增加学生爱笑之心。As a result, the charcoal gas spewed out by more than fifty students was worse than the stench blowing from afar. The second is that students are not allowed to buy any supplies or snacks in stores outside the school. Lao Zhang's intention is to increase students' love for the school. 第三不准学生出去说老张卖鸦片，因为他只在附近烟馆被关停封禁之后才做暂时的接济，如此危险既少，获利又多。至于自觉身份所在，不愿永远售卖烟土，虽非主要原因。Third. Students are not allowed to go out and accuse Lao Zhang of selling opium, because he only provided temporary relief after the nearby opium den was banned by the government. In this way, the danger was less and the profit was high. As for the conscious reluctance to sell opium permanently due to his status, it was not the main reason. 可是我们至少也不能不感谢老张的热心教育。老张的地位，村里的穷人都呼他为先生。有的呢，把孩子送到他的学堂，自然不能不尊敬他。有的呢，遇着开央榜，批婚书。But we must at least thank Lao Zhang for his enthusiastic education. Lao Zhang's status, the poor people in the village call him sir. For some, if you send your children to his school, you cannot help but respect him. Some, when faced with a disaster announcement or approval of a marriage certificate, 看风水都要去求他，平日也就不能不有相当的敬礼。富些的人都呼他为掌柜的，因为他们日用的油盐酱醋之类，不便入城去买，多是照顾老张的。德胜逊衙门里的人 Depending on Feng Shui, you have to ask him, and you have to pay respects to him on weekdays. The richer people call him the shopkeeper because it is inconvenient for them to go into the city to buy their daily necessities such as oil, salt, soy sauce, and vinegar. Most of them take care of Lao Zhang. People from Dishing Zunyuan. 有的呼他为老爷，有的叫他老张，那要看地位的高低，因为老张是衙门里挂名的寻机，称呼虽然不同，而老张却呼是镇里二郎镇一个重要人物。老张要是不幸死了 ，Some call him master, some call him Lao Zhang. It depends on his status, because Lao Zhang is a nominal patrolman in the Yamen. Although the names are different, Lao Zhang is indeed an important figure in the town, Erlang Town. If Lao Zhang unfortunately dies, 比丢了圣人损失还要大，因为那个圣人能文武兼全，阴阳都小呢。老张的身材按营造尺是五尺二寸，恰合当兵的尺寸，不但身量这么适当。而且腰板直挺。The loss is greater than losing the saint, because that saint can be both civilized and martial, and knows both yin and yang. Lao Zheng's figure is five feet two inches according to the national standard, which is suitable for the size of a soldier. Not only is the figure so appropriate, but the back is straight as well. 
当他受教员检定的时候，却经检定委员的证明，他是脊椎动物。红红的一张脸，微点着几粒黑痣，按麻衣香法说：“主多才多艺。”两道粗眉连成一线。When he was examined by the teacher, the examination committee confirmed that he was a vertebrate, a red face. Slightly dotted with a few black moles, according to Ma Yi Xiangfa, the person is multi-talented and versatile. The two thick eyebrows are connected in a straight line. 黑丛丛的遮着两只小猪眼睛，一只短而粗的鼻子，鼻孔微微向上掀着，好似柳条上倒挂的鸣蝉。一张薄嘴，下嘴唇往上翻着。以便包着年久失修、渐行垂落的大门牙。Two little pig eyes were covered by black bushes. A short and thick nose. The nostrils are slightly turned upward, like a cicada hanging upside down on a wicker. A thin mouth with the lower lip turned upward to cover the front teeth that have fallen into disrepair. 因此不留神看。最容易错认成一个家线的烧饼，左脸高仰，右耳几乎扛在肩头，以表示着失位的尊严。批评一个人的美丑，不能只看一步而忽略全体。Therefore, if you don't look carefully, it is most easy to mistake it for a stuffed sesame seed cake. The left side of the face is raised high. And the right ear is almost on the shoulder to show the dignity of the teacher. When criticizing a person's beauty or ugliness, you can't just look at one part and ignore the whole thing. 我虽然说老张的鼻子像鸣蝉，嘴似烧饼，然而绝不敢说他不好看。从他全体看来，你越看他嘴似烧饼，便越觉得非有鸣蝉似的鼻子配着不可。从侧面看，有时鼻洼的黑影。Although I say that Lao Zhang's nose is like a singing cicada and his mouth is like a sesame seed pancake, I never dare to say that he is not good-looking. Looking at him as a whole, the more you see that his mouth looks like a sesame seed cake, the more you feel that he must have a cicada-like nose to go with it. Viewed from the side. Sometimes there is a black shadow of the nose depression. 依稀的像小小的蝉翅，就是老张自己对着镜子的时候，又何尝不笑吟吟的夸道：“鼻翅先这一些，哼，不如此，怎能叫富人们多看两眼？”第二，那是五月的天气。Vaguely like tiny cicada wings. Even when Lao Zhang himself looked in the mirror, he didn't smile and boast. Put your nose up a little, hum. Otherwise, how can you ask women to look twice? Second, that's the weather in May. 小太阳撅着血盆似的小红嘴，忙着和那东来西去的白云亲嘴，有的唇儿一挨，慌忙的飞去。有的任卓义微着小太阳的红脸蛋，有的画着恶龙，张着嘴想把它一口吞了。The little sun pouted its red mouth like a basin and was busy kissing the white clouds that were moving back and forth. Some lips hurriedly flew away. Some leaned against little sun's red face. Some transformed into evil dragons, opening their mouths and wanting to swallow her whole. 有的变着小绵羊，跑着求他的青眼，这样艳美的景色，可惜人们却不曾注意。那倒不是人们的错处，只是小太阳太娇羞了，太泼辣了，把要看的人们晒得满脸流油。Some turned into little sheep and ran around begging for her favor. It's a pity that people didn't pay attention to such a beautiful scenery. It's not their fault. It's just that the little sun is too shy and too aggressive, making the faces of those who want to see it so oily. 于是，富人们支起凉棚，索性不看
，穷人们倒在柳荫之下做他们的好梦，谁来惹这个嫌弃？一阵阵的热风吹来的柳林蝉鸣，荷塘洼区都足以增加人们暴躁之感。So the rich people put up their arbors and didn't look at it. The poor people fell under the shade of willows and had their sweet dreams. Who would disturb this idleness? The hot wind blowing, the chirping of cicadas in the willows, and the singing of frogs in the lotus pond are enough to increase people's feeling of irritability. 诗人们的忧思在梦中引逗着落花残月，织成一片闲愁。富人们乘着火焰流花。捡黄小蝶，增了几分雅趣。老张既无诗人的触物性感，又无富人的及时行乐，只伸着右手，仰着头。The poet's deep thoughts tease the falling flowers and the waning moon in their dreams, weaving into a piece of leisurely sorrow. The rich people ride on the flaming pomegranate flowers and the cocoons of yellow butterflies, which adds a bit of elegance. Lao Zhang had neither the poet's interest in touching things or the rich man's instant pleasure. He only stretched out his right hand and raised his head. 书院中杏树上的红杏已被分给学生，作为麦秋学生家长送礼的提醒。至于满垂着红杏的一株半大的杏树，能否清清楚楚竖个明白，我们不得而知。大概老张有些把握。可 count the red apricots on the apricot trees in the courtyard in preparation for distribution to students as a reminder for parents of Maichio students to give gifts. As for the half-sized apricot tree covered with red apricots, we don't know whether we can clearly understand it. Maybe Lao Zhang is somewhat sure. Cough. Lao Zhang. 老张掐数到九十八上，又数了两个，凑成一百，把大拇指捏在食指的第一节上，然后回头看了一看。这轻轻的一捏，慢慢的一转，四十多年人事的经验。老四，屋里坐。不。Lao Zhang. Lao Zhang counted to ninety-eight, and then counted two more to make it one hundred. He pinched the first joint of his index finger with his thumb and then looked back. This gentle pinch, slowly a turn of events, more than forty years of human experience. Fourth, sit in the room. Dot. No. 我还赶着回去，这两天差事紧得很，不忙，有饭吃。老张摇着蓄满褶里的脑袋。一字一珠的从薄嘴唇往外蹦。你蒙兄李武才给我一个电话，新任学务大人已到老五的衙门。I'm still in a hurry to go back. I've been busy with errands these two days. Don't be busy. There is food to eat. Lao Zhang shook his head full of philosophy, and word after word came out from his thin lips. Dash, your ally, brother Li Wu, just gave me a call. The new academic administrator has arrived at Lao Wu's yamen. This is coming. You quickly prepare. We are not afraid of the writing, but we also don't need to be afraid of them. You quickly prepare. I'm going. Good night. See you next time. That man wiped the sweat off his face and walked out of the room. It was the big man, Lao Zhang. He took two steps forward. 要问个详细。Come down here, get ready. We are not afraid of their superficial appearance, but there is no need to deliberately ignore them. Just get ready, and I will leave. See you another day. The man wiped the sweat from his face and walked out. It's the boss. Lao Zhang hurriedly took two steps to ask for details. 新到任的那个，反正得预备，改天见。那个人说着，已走出院外。老张自己冷静了几秒钟，把脑中几十年的经验匆匆的读了一遍，然后三步改做两步跑进北屋。
小三 The newly arrived one. Anyway, I have to prepare. See you another day. The man said and walked out of the hospital. Dot. Lao Zhang calmed down for a few seconds, hurriedly read through the decades of experience in his mind, and then changed his three steps to two steps and ran into the north room. Dot. Mistress. 去叫你师娘预备一盆茶，放在杏树底下。快，小四，去请你爹。说学务大人就来，请他过来陪陪，叫他换上新鞋。听见没有？小三、小四一溜烟似的跑出屋外。你们把《三字经》Go and ask your mistress to prepare a pot of tea and place it under the apricot tree. Quick. Little four, go and ask your father to come and ask him to come and keep you company. Tell him to put on new shoes. Do you hear me? Little three and little four ran out of the house like smoke. You take the three-character classic. 百家姓收起来，拿出国文，快！周幽呢？废话，旧书全收。快！这时，老张的一双小猪眼睁的却比猪眼大多了。今天把国文忘了带来，老师，该死，不是东西。Put away hundred family surnames and take out Guo Wen quick. What about the doctrine of the mean? A waste of words. All old books collected. Quick. At this time, Lao Zhang's piggy eyes were indeed whiter than pig eyes. Dash! I forgot to bring my Chinese language today, teacher. Damn! Not a thing. 不到要命的时候，你不忘。修身也成，算数成不成？成。有新书的，就是我爸爸。老张似乎有些急了的样子。王德，去拿扫帚，把杏树底下的叶子都扫干净。李英，你是好孩子。Don't forget until it's time to die. Cultivation is also done. Is arithmetic successful? Dot become. The one with the new book is my dad. Lao Zhang seemed a little anxious. Wang Da, go get a broom and sweep all the leaves from under the almond tree. Li Ying, you are a good boy. 拿条湿手巾把这群墨猴的脸全擦一把。快，拿书的拿书，扫地的扫地，擦脸的擦脸，成吉会吐舌头的吐舌。挤眼睛的挤眼，乱成一团，不亚于遭了一个小地震。Take a wet hand towel and wipe all the faces of these ink monkeys. Quick. The person holding the book picked up the book. The person sweeping the floor swept the floor. The person wiping the face wiped the face. The person took the opportunity to stick out his tongue. The person winked. The chaos was no less than a small earthquake. 老张一手摘黑板上挂着的军帽往头上戴，一手掀着一本国文，找不认识的字。王德，你的字典，书桌上那本红皮子的就是。你瞎说，该死，我怎么找不着？那不是我的书桌。Lao Zhang took off the military cap hanging on the blackboard with one hand and put it on his head. With the other hand, he opened a book of Chinese language and looked for words he didn't recognize. Wang Da, your dictionary. That's the red leather book on the desk. You're talking nonsense. Damn it! Why can't I find it? That's not my desk. 如何找得到？王德提着扫帚跑进来。把字典递给老张，你们的书怎样
，预备好了，都出去站在树底下。王德快走，老张一手按着字典，向窗下看了一眼，哈哈，叫你扫兴业。How to find it? Wangda ran in with a broom and handed the dictionary to Lao Zhangda. How are your books? When you are ready, go out and stand under the tree. Wangda, scan quickly. Lao Zhang pressed the dictionary with one hand and glanced under the window. Ha! -ha. I asked you to sweep the apricot leaves. You stole my shoes. Okay. 现在没功夫，等事情完了咱们算账。不是我有意，是树上落下来的。我一抬头，正落在我嘴里。不是有心，老师，你该死！快扫，你一万个该死！你要死了。You stole my apricots. Good. We don't have time now. Let's settle the score when the matter is over. I didn't mean it. It fell from the tree. When I looked up, it fell right into my mouth. It's not intentional, teacher. You deserve to die. Scan quickly. You deserve to die ten thousand times. You are going to die. 我把杏子都吃了，王德自己嘟囔着说。王德扫完了。茶叶放在杏树下，而且摆上今年不用的豆绿茶碗十二个。小四的父亲也过来了，果然穿着新缎鞋。老张查完字典。I ate all the apricots. Wang De muttered to himself. After Wang De finished sweeping, he placed the tea under the apricot tree and placed twelve bean green tea bowls that had not been used for many years. Xiaoxi's father also came over, and he was indeed wearing a new satin shoes. Lao Zhang finished looking up the dictionary. 专等学务大人驾到，心里越发的不镇静。王德，你在门口去了望，看见轿车或是穿长衫骑驴的，快进来告诉我。脸朝东，就是有黄蜂，是你的后脑海。也别回头，听见没有 ？As I waited for the academic master to arrive, I felt increasingly uneasy. Wang Da, you looked at the door. If you see a car or a man wearing a long coat riding a donkey, come in and tell me. Face east. Even if a wasp stings the back of your head, don't look back. Do you hear me? 反正不是你脑袋，王德心里说：“李英，你快跑到西边冰窖去买一块冰，要整的，不要碎块。钱呢？你衣袋里是什么？小孩子一点宽宏大量没有。”老张显示着做先生的气派。It's not your head anyway, Wang De said in his heart. Dot, Li Ying. You run quickly and go to the West Ice Cellar to buy a piece of ice. You want it whole, not broken. Where's the money? What's in your pocket? Children have no magnanimity at all. Lao Zhang showed his magnanimity as a writer. Dot. Li Ying 看了看老张，又看了看小四的父亲、孙八爷，一语未发，走出去。这时候，老张才想起让孙八爷屋里去坐，心里七上八下的，勉强着和孙八爷闲扯。Li Ying looked at Lao Zhang, then at Xiao Si's father, Mr. Sun Ba, and walked out without saying a word. Only then did Lao Zhang think of asking Mr. Sun to sit in his room. He was so nervous that he reluctantly chatted with Mr. Sunday. 孙八爷看着有四十上下的年纪、矮矮的身量、圆圆的脸，一走一耸肩、一高提脚肿，为的是显着比本来的身量高大而尊严。两道西眉
一双永远发困的睡眼。Sun Bei looked to be about forty years old, with a short stature and a round face. When walking, he shrugged his shoulders and raised his heels to appear taller and more dignified than his original stature. Two thin eyebrows, a pair of sleepy eyes that are always sleepy. 幸亏有只高而正的鼻子，不然真看不出脸上有一应俱全的构造。一嘴的黄牙板，好似安着磨光褪色的金牙，不过上唇的几根短须遮盖着，还不至金光普照。Fortunately, I have a high and upright nose. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to see the all-in-one structure on my face. The yellow dental plate in one mouth seems to be equipped with polished and faded gold teeth. However, a few short whiskers on the upper lip cover it, so that the golden light does not shine all over. 一件天蓝阳缎的长袍罩着一件铜纽宽边的米色坎肩，童叟无欺。一看就知道是乡下的土绅士。不大的功夫，李英提着一块雪白的冰进来。老张向孙八说 ：“Wearing a sky blue satin robe, covered with a beige waistcoat with wide edges and copper buttons, he looks like a childlike boy, and you can tell he is a country gentleman at a glance.” After a short while, Li Ying came in carrying a piece of snow white ice. Lao Zhang said to Sun Ba, "Ba, 也来看看这一手，只准说好，不准发笑。”孙八随着老张走进教室来。老张把那块冰接过来，又找了一块木板，一起放在教室东墙的洋火炉里，打着炉口。Master Ba came to see this hand, and he was only allowed to say yes, and he was not allowed to laugh. Sun Ba followed Lao Zhang into the classroom. Lao Zhang took the piece of ice, found a piece of wood, and put them together in the foreign stove on the east wall of the classroom, beating the mouth of the stove. 一阵阵的往外冒凉气。八爷，看这一手妙不妙？洋炉改冰箱，冬暖夏凉，一物两用。老张挑着大拇指，把眼睛挤成一道缝，那条笑的虚线从脸上往里延长，直到心房上。Waves of cold air came out. Bay, see how wonderful this move is. The foreign stove is converted into a refrigerator, which can be warm in winter and cool in summer. It can be used for both purposes. Lao Zhang raised his thumb, squeezed his eyes into a slit, and the dotted line of smile went from his face to it extends until it reaches the upper atrium. 壮的心上痒了一痒，才算满足了自己的得意。原来老张的洋炉炉腔内并没有火瓦，冬天摆着，看一看就觉得暖和；夏天遇着大点，放块冰就是冰箱。孙八看了，止不住的夸奖。I felt an itch in my heart before I was satisfied with my pride. It turns out that Lao Zhang's foreign furnace did not have fire tiles in the furnace cavity. Put it up in winter, and you will feel warm just by looking at it. When there is a big ceremony in the summer, put a piece of ice in the refrigerator. Sun Ba couldn't stop praising him. 到底你喝过墨水，肚子里有货。正在说笑，王德飞跑得进来，堵住老张的耳朵，霹雳似的嚷了一声：“来了！”同时，老张、王德一人出了一身情感不同而结果一样的冷汗。第三 ，After all, you have drank ink, and you have something in your stomach. While they were joking, Wang De ran in. Blocked Lao Zhang's ears and shouted like a thunderbolt, "Here we come!" At the same time, Lao Zhang Wangda broke into a cold sweat with different emotions, but the same result. Third. 门外拍拍的掸鞋的声音
。孙八忙着迎出来，老张扯开喉咙叫着：“立正！”五十多个学生七长八短的排成两行。小三把左脚收回，用力过猛，把脚踵全放在小四的脚趾上。哎呦，老师 ！There was the sound of shoes being dusted outside the door, and Sun Ba rushed to greet him. Lao Zhang shouted at the top of his lungs, "Stand at attention!" More than fifty students lined up in two rows. Xiao San pulled back his left foot too hard and put his heel on Xiao Si's toes. Ouch! Teacher. Xiao San 立正，立在我脚上了。向左转，摆对向，迎，号令一下。学生全把右手放在眉边，小四痛得要哭，又不敢哭，只把手遮着眼睛，隔着眼泪往外看。前面走的他认识是衙门的李武。The mistress stood at attention, standing on my feet. Dot. To the left. Make a team appearance. Welcome. After giving the order. The students all put their right hands to their eyebrows. Xiao Si was in so much pain that he wanted to cry, but he didn't dare to cry. He just covered his eyes with his hands and looked out through the tears. The person walking in front he knew was Li Wu from the Yamen. 后面的自然是学务大人了，不用行礼，把手放下，放下，放下。学务大人显着一万多个不耐烦的样子，学生都把手从眉边摘下来。老张补了一句：“李、毕、李武递过一张名片。” The person behind is naturally the academic affairs master. No need to salute. Put your hands down. Put them down. Put them down. The academic affairs master looked more than ten thousand impatient. The students all took their hands off their brows. Lao Zhang added, "Ceremony finished." Dash. Li Wu handed over a business card. Lao Zhang 低声问，怎样？李武偷偷的应道，好说话。大人东屋坐，还是到讲堂去？老张向学务大人行了个举手礼。李先生。你等我一等，我大概看看就走。行家一过眼 ，Lao Zhang asked in a low voice, "How is it?" Li Wu responded secretly, "It's easy to talk." Sir, please sit in the east room, or should you go to the lecture hall? Lao Zhang raised his hand and saluted the academic affairs master. Mister Li, just wait for me. I'll probably take a look and then leave. Experts will just pass by. 站在学堂外边五分钟就知道办的好坏，那算门里出身。学务大人耸着肩膀，紧着肚皮，很响亮的嗽了两声，然后鼓着双腮，只转眼珠，不扭不向的往寺外一看。If you stand outside the school for five minutes. You can tell whether something is going well or not. That means you are from a good background. The academic affairs master shrugged his shoulders, tightened his belly, coughed loudly twice, then puffed out his cheeks, rolled his eyes, and looked around without twisting his neck. 把一口痰用舌尖卷成一个滑腻的圆蛋。好似有小鸡桶喷出来的，拓在杏树底下。拿出小手巾擦了擦嘴，又顺手擦擦鼻凹的汗，然后自言自语地说：“哼，不预备痰盂，那么老五。” Roll a mouthful of phlegm into a smooth round ball with the tip of your tongue, like spittle sprayed from a small pump under the apricot tree. He took out a small hand towel and wiped his mouth. Then wiped the sweat from the hollow of his nose. Then he said to himself, "Ha!、Huh, don't prepare a spittoon." Then Lao Wu. 八爷
你们哥俩个东屋里坐，我伺候着大人。”老张说：“不用大人，大人的，先生就好。新办法，新称呼，比不得七八年前。把学生领到屋里去。”是，到讲堂去。讲堂就是屋里。Mr. Ba, you two brothers can sit in the east room while I wait on you. Lao Zhang said. Dot, there is no need for adult or adult. Just sir. The new methods and new names are no better than they were seven or eight years ago. Lead the students into the room. Dot, yes. Go to the lecture hall. The lecture hall is inside the room. 屋里就是讲堂。学务大人似乎有些不满意老张的问法。是，老张又行了一个举手礼，向左转，入讲堂。学生把脚抬到过膝，用力跺着脚踵，震得地上咚咚的山响，向讲堂走来。The room is a lecture hall. The academic affairs master seems to be a little dissatisfied with Lao Zhang's question. Yes. Lao Zhang raised his hand again. Turn left. Enter the lecture hall. The student raised his feet above his knees, stomped his heels hard, making the sound of winter mountains on the ground, and walked towards the lecture hall. 老张在讲台上往下看，学生们好似五十多根小石桩。俏皮一点说，好似五十多尊小石佛，瞪着眼，努着嘴，挺着脖子，直着腿。也就是老张教授有年，学务大人经验宏富。Lao Zhang looked down from the podium. The students looked like more than fifty small stone piles. To put it more playfully. They look like more than fifty small stone Buddhas. Their eyes are wide open. Their mouths are pursed. Their necks are straightened, and their legs are straightened. That is to say, Professor Zhang has many years of experience, and the academic affairs master has a lot of experience. 不然谁吃得住这样的阵势？五十多个孩子，真是一根头发都不动。就是不幸有一根动的，也听得见响声。学务大人被屋里浓厚的叹气堵得，一连打了三个喷嚏。Otherwise, who can afford such a formation? Not even a hair of the fifty or so children could move, and even if one of them moved, the noise could be heard. The academic affairs master was choked by the thick charcoal gas in the room and sneezed three times in a row. 从口袋里掏出日本的保单，连气的往鼻子里吸，又拿出手巾，不住的擦眼泪。老张利用这个机会，才看了看学务大人。学务大人约有四十五六岁的年纪，一张黑黄的脸皮。He took out the Japanese precious pill from his pocket, breathed it into his nose angrily, and took out a handkerchief to wipe his tears. Lao Zhang took advantage of this opportunity and looked at the academic affairs master. The academic affairs master is about forty-five or six years old. A black and yellow face. 当中镶着白多黑少的两个琉璃球，一个中部高质的鹰鼻，鼻下挂着些干黄的穗子，遮住了嘴。穿着一件就灰色官纱袍，下面一条河南绸做的洋式裤，系着裤脚。Inlaid with two colored glaze balls are white and black. An eagle nose with a high middle part, with some dried yellow tassels hanging under the nose, covering the mouth. Wearing an old gray official gauze robe, underneath a pair of Western-style trousers made of Hunan silk, tied at the trousers. 足下一双短筒半新羊皮鞋，露着本地蓝氏不加做的袜子，乍看使人觉着有些光线不调
，看惯了更显得新旧嫌疑、陨直绝中，或者也可以说是东西文化调和的先生。Underneath her feet were a pair of short-cut, used foreign leather shoes, revealing socks made by a local blue market cloth shop. At first glance, people feel that the light is a bit out of tune. Once you get used to it. It seems that it is appropriate for both old and new, and allows to hold on to the right. Or it can be said to be the harbinger of the reconciliation of Eastern and Western cultures. 老张不敢细看，打开早已预备好的第三册国文，开始献祭。新国文第三课，找着没有？找着了。学生都用最高的调子喊了一声。听着，现在要提示注意。Lao Zhang didn't dare to take a closer look, so he opened the third volume of Chinese literature that he had prepared and started to perform his skills. Lesson three of New Chinese Language. Can you find it? Found it. The students shouted in the highest pitch. Listen. Now it's time to pay attention. Dot. 老张顺着教授书的程序往下念，王德，把腰挺起来，那是体育，懂不懂？王德不懂，只好从已然板直的腰往无可在直里挺了一挺，听着，现在要输入概念。Lao Zhang read along the instructions in the professor's book. Wang De, stand up straight. That's sports. Do you understand? Wang De didn't understand, so he had no choice but to straighten his waist, which was already straight, to a point where it could no longer be straight. Listen. Now it's time to enter the concept. This lesson is about the yen. The yen is the old bird. Old bird is the old bird. Do you understand? Do you understand? 老师，学生又起喊了一声，小三差一点把舌尖咬破，因为用力过猛。不叫老师，叫先生，新是新称呼。This lesson is about swallows, which are also migratory birds. Migratory birds are one type of bird. Do you understand? I understand. Teacher. The students shouted in unison again. The mistress almost bit the tip of her tongue because she used too much force. Don't call me teacher. Call me sir. New things, new names. 昨天告诉你们的，为何不记着？该该记着。老张接续讲下去。燕子自北海道飞过小吕宋。渡印度洋而至特尔齐斯坦，此其所以为候鸟，明白不明白？明白。老师啊啊，先生。Why don't you remember what I told you yesterday? Should should remember. Lao Zhang continued. Swallows fly from Hokkaido through Little Luzon, cross the Indian Ocean, and arrive at Turkestan. Do you understand why they are migratory birds? That clear, teacher. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, sir. 这一次喊的不甚齐整。徐武大人把一支铅笔插在嘴里，随着老张的讲授，一一记在小笔记本上。写完一节，把舌头吐在唇边，预备往铅笔上沾唾液，再往下写。This time the shouting was not quite coherent. The academic affairs master put a pencil in his mouth and wrote everything down in his small notebook along with Lao Zhang's lecture. After writing a section, stick your tongue to your lips and prepare to dip the pencil in saliva before writing further. 写的时候是铅笔在舌上触两下，写一个字。王德偷着眼看，他以为大人正害口疮，而小三。学务大人正站在他的右边，却以为大人的铅笔上有是双糖。张先生
When writing, touch the pencil on the tongue twice to write a word. Wang De glanced secretly, thinking that the master was suffering from a mouth sore, but the mistress, the academic affairs master was standing on his right, thought that the master's pencil had persimmon sugar on it. Mr. Zhang 到放学的时候不到，老张正待往下讲书，学务大人忽然发了话：“差二十分钟，是，你早些下堂，拍一个大学生看着他们，我有话和你说。”“是，李英，你看着他们念书。”“李正，行，李。”Not until school is over. Lao Zhang was about to continue his lecture when the academic affairs master suddenly spoke. Twenty minutes to go, yes. You come down to class early and send a college student to watch them. I have something to tell you. Dut, yes. Li Ying, watch them study. Stand at attention. Salute. 学生们都立起来，又把手摆在眉边，多数乘着机会抓了抓鬓边的热汗。学务大人一些也没注意，大摇大摆地走出讲堂。谁要是找死，谁就乘着大人没走以前吵闹。The students all stood up and put their hands to their brows. Most of them took the opportunity to scratch the sweat on their temples. Some of the academic leaders did not pay attention and swaggered out of the lecture hall. If anyone is looking for death, he should make a noise before the adults leave. Lao Zhang yan xiang wai, yan xiang li, shou fu zhe wu men, yao zhe ya gen, di sheng er shen tong de shuo. Da ren lai dao dong wu, li wu, sun ba li qi lai. Sun ba di guo yi wan cha, shuo, xin ku. 多辛苦！大热的天，跑这么远，官事没法子。贵姓？Lao Zhang looked outward and inward, holding the door of the house with his hand, and said in a low and deep voice through gritted teeth. The adults came to the east room. Li Wu and Sun Bali stood up. Sun Ba handed over a bowl of tea and said, "It's hard work." How hard it is, running so far on a hot day. There's nothing we can do about official matters. What's your surname? 大人呷了一口茶，咕噜咕噜的漱口，漱了半天，结果咽下去了。孙八爷，本地的绅士。老张替孙八回答，又接着说：“今天教的好坏。”你老多原谅，教授的还不错，你的外国地名很熟。The adult took a sip of tea and rinsed his mouth. I coughed for a long time and finally swallowed it. Master Suanba, a local gentleman. Lao Zhang answered for Suanba and then said, "You will forgive me for the quality of my teaching today. The professor is pretty good." And you are very familiar with foreign place names. 不过不如写在黑板上好，大人很郑重地说。不瞒先生说，那些洋字是跟我一个蒙兄学的，他在东郊名巷做六国翻译。据他说，念外国字只要把平仄念掉了，准保没错。But it's not as good as writing it on the blackboard. My lord said solemnly, "Dash, to be honest, sir, I learned those foreign words from an ally of mine. He worked as a translator from six countries in Dongjiao Mingxiang. According to him, as long as you adjust your reading of Chinese characters in Chinese characters, you will be right." Lao Zhang 又一急眼，自外而内的一笑，何必你蒙兄说？那个入过学堂的不晓得中西文是义理。大人掏出烟斗，拧上了一袋烟，一面接着问：“一共有多少学生？”“五十四名。”“是。”Lao Zhang winked again and smiled from the outside in. 
Why do you need your ally to say that the person who went to school doesn't know that Chinese and Western languages are the same? The adult took out his pipe and put on a pack of cigarettes, and then asked, How many students are there in total? 54. Yes. 今天有两个告假的,一个家里有丧事,一个出轨风筝。大人写在笔记本上。一年近多少学费?近的好呢,一年一百五十元,不好呢,约合一百元的光景。大人写在笔记本上。There are two people asking for leave today. One has a funeral at home and one has ghost rubella. The adult wrote in the notebook. How much tuition fee does it cost per year? If the income is good, it's 150 yuan a year. If it's not good, it's about 100 yuan. The adults wrote in the notebook. 然后问,怎么较近的好不好? 教科书用那一家的,商务的还是中华的。中华书局的。是。then asked, How can I call you in? Lao Zhang rolled his eyes and replied, Some people drop out of school halfway. If the tuition fees don't come in, it will be considered a loss. Ugh. Which textbook is from the business school or the Chinese school? From Zhonghua Book Company. Yes. 大人写在笔记本上。把铅笔含在口内,像想起什么事似的。慢慢地说,还是用商务的好啊,城里的学堂已经都换了。是。明天就换。明天就换。不是我多嘴,按理说。The adult writes in the notebook. Hold the pencil in your mouth as if thinking of something. He said slowly, it's better to use business. All the schools in the city have been changed. Yes. Change it tomorrow. Change it tomorrow. It's not me who talks too much, it stands to reason. 中华这个字眼比商务好听。前几天在城里听宣讲,还讲中华大强国, 怎么现在又不实心了呢？孙八侃侃地说着，你怎能比大人懂得多？那一定有个道理。老张看看孙八。The word China sounds better than business. I listened to a lecture in the city a few days ago and talked about China's great power. Why is it not fashionable now? Sun Ba said eloquently. How can you know more than adults? There must be a reason. Lao Zhang looked at Sun Ba. 又看了看大人。大人咳嗽了两声,把手巾掩着嘴像要打哈欠,不幸却没打成。官事随时变,李武成机会表示些当差的经验,现在不实心,过二年就许又复原。He looked at the adults again. The adult coughed twice and covered his mouth with his handkerchief as if he was about to yawn, but unfortunately he failed. Official matters change at any time, Li Wu took the opportunity to express some of his experience as an official, it is not fashionable now, but it will be back to normal in two years. The errands have to follow the new trends. That's right, isn't it? Grown ups. Dut, yes. That's great. Mr. Zhang. It's not that I'm showing off in front of you, but you've missed me. Do you, 
who is studying learning all over the world, have any ideas for the teachers. The emphasis on studying is to look at the flaws of gentlemen. 破绽，大人高明，李武、孙八一起说。不过，大人提高了嗓子说：“张先生，有一件事我不能不挑你的错。”李武、孙八都替老张着急，老张却还镇静说：“是，先生指教。” Flaw. My lord is wise, Li Wu and Sun Ba said together. However, the lord raised his voice and said, "Mr. Zhang, there is one thing I cannot help but find fault with you." Li Wu and Sun Ba were both anxious for Lao Zhang, but Lao Zhang remained calm and said, "Yes, sir, give me advice." Your lecture, why is it so in the west? 那是白虎台，主房客学生家长，教育乃慈善事业，怎能这样办呢？大人一字一板地说：“前任的大人说什么教室取走光，所以我把讲台砌在西边。” Why is your podium built in the west? It is the White Tiger Terrace, which is intended to harm students and their parents. Education is a charity. How can we do this? The adult said word for word. Dash. The previous adult said that the classroom should have left light, so I built the podium on the west side. 实在说，我还懂一点风水阴阳。上司的命令不敢不遵，先生还得多原谅。不用说前任的话，他会办事还不至撤了差。不过我绝不报上去。要是有心跟你为难。To be honest, I also know a little bit about the yin and yang of feng shui. If you dare not disobey your boss's orders, you must forgive me, sir. Don't say anything about my predecessor. He can do things well, and he won't have to withdraw from his job. But I will never report it. If I have the intention to embarrass you, 我就不和你当面说了。是不是？大人笑了，李武、孙八也笑了。大人又呷了一口茶，立起来。李武、孙八也立起来，只是老张省事，始终就没坐下。天热，多休息休息。孙八说：“不 ，I want to talk to you face to face, right?” The adults laughed, and Li Wu and Sun Ba also laughed. Dot. The adults took another sip of tea and stood up. Li Wu and Sun Ba also stood up, but Lao Zhang saved the trouble and never sat down. Dot. It's hot. Take more rest. Sun Ba said. Dot. No. 下午还打算赶两处，李先生，大人，李武脸笑得像小酒醉螃蟹似的。我们上午李敦还是黄鱼店，大人请便，守备派我护送大人，全听大人的吩咐。老五，好好伺候大人。There are two more places I plan to visit in the afternoon, Mr. Li. Duck grown-ups. Li Wu smiled like a drunken crab. Should we go to Wulatan or the Yellow Croaker Shop? Your Majesty, if you please, I will be sent by the guard to escort you. I will obey your orders. Lao Wu, serve your master well. 我都得请你喝茶，不用说大人。老张要说，又吞回去了。黄鱼店罢，大人似乎没注意老张说什么。大人多美言，老五。你领着大人由王家村川东大屯由吴千总门口走。I have to treat you to tea. Needless to say, sir. Lao Zhang was about to say it, but swallowed it back. Let's go to the Yellow Croaker Shop. My lord, it seems that he didn't pay attention to what Lao Zhang said. What kind words, 
Sir. Lao Wu, you lead the adults from Wang Jiakin through Dongdutan and through the gate of Mr. Wu Qian. There were willow trees all the way, which was a bit obscured, and the sunlight was too harsh. Lao Zhang said. The master walked in front, and Sun Ba couldn't help but said, Thank you. Li Wu secretly pulled Lao Zhang's sleeve and stretched out his thumb, and Lao Zhang smiled. Fourth. Sun Ba said goodbye and went home. Lao Zhang Li Zai Men Wai, Jidang Xu Wu Da Ren He Li Wu Zou Jin Shu Lin, Tai Shin Shen the Chuan Le Yiko Chi Zou Jin Lai. Xu Sheng Men Zai Shu Di Xia Ji Re Yang Shi the Chang Je He Cha. Wu Li Ji Ge Da Xu Sheng Tou Je Za Yang Lu Li Yao Hua Wan the Na Kui Bing. Ha ha. Lao Zhang stood outside the door and waited until the academic affairs master and Li Wu walked into the woods before taking a deep breath and walking in. The students rushed to drink tea like hot sheep under the tree. Several college students in the room secretly smashed the ice that was about to melt in the foreign stove. Ha ha! Lao Zhang Zhao Ding Zhang Cheng Jiu Da. Lao Shi, Bu Shi Wo De Zhu Yi, Shi Xiao Si Tou Yi Ge Yao He Da. Zhang Cheng Yong Shou Zhe Zhe Tou Shuo. Xiao Si Yao He. Ta Na Duo Shao Xue Qian, Ni Na Duo Shao. Ta Chi Da Mi, Ni Chi Bang Zi Mian. He Cha. Whose idea was it to drink my tea? Lao Zhang decided to beat Zhang Qingqing Da, teacher. It wasn't my idea, it was the fourth one who wanted to drink it. Zhang Qing covered his head with his hands and said, Xiao Si wants to drink? How much tuition fee does he get, and how much do you get? He eats rice, you eat stick noodles. Have tea? 不怕伤了你的胃,都给我走进去。老张看了看茶盆, 可怜大半已被喝去。老张怒冲冲地走进教室,学生又小时装,一般地坐好。王德的嘴还满塞着冰渣。小三,小四,补缝,王春。Not afraid of hurting your stomach. Come in, everyone. Lao Zhang looked at the teapot, but unfortunately most of it had been drank. Lao Zhang walked into the classroom angrily, and the students sat down like small stone piles. Wang De's mouth was still full of ice slag. Mistress, Xiao Si, Bu Feng, Wang Chun. You go home to eat. 该拿多少拿多少。大人查的是你们的学问,老师不能干赔钱。You go home and have dinner. Tell the family that the academic master is here, and the teacher has prepared tea and snacks for the adults and made small leaf tea for the students, and ask the family to take care of it and take as much as they should. The adults are inspecting your knowledge, and the teacher cannot make you lose money. 听明白没有? 去吧! 小三们夹起书包, 小野路似的飞跑去了! 你们怎么样? 是认打, 认罚! 回家对父亲说, 多少送些东西给老师! 七八个学生一起说, 说个准数, 别含糊着, 亲是亲! Do you understand? Go! The mistresses picked up their school bags and ran away like wild deer. How are you doing? Are you admitting to beating or punishment? Go home and tell your father, give some things to the teacher. 
seven or eight students said at the same time. Speak accurately, don't be vague, a kiss is a kiss. 才是才。老师，我们要是说了，父亲遇上一时不方便呢？几个大学生说，不方便。起初就别送学生来念书，要念书又要省钱，做老师的怎那么天生的该饿死？不用废话。Wealth is wealth. Duck teacher. What if we told him that his father was in a moment of inconvenience? Several college students said. Dash, inconvenient? Don't send students to study in the first place. You have to study and save money. How can a teacher be so born to starve to death? No need to waste words. 怕打的说个数目，身上发痒的，板子现成。老张把军帽摘下来，照旧挂在挂黑板的帽钉上，脱了长袍，把小汗衫的袖子高高挽起，一手拿起教鞭，一手从讲桌深处扯出大竹板。
，吃不下东西，省一两碗饭也未可知。于是，学生们的万一之望敌不过哲学家万一之望，而要冲光棍的少年们苦矣。学生们纷纷擦拳磨掌，增高温度。If you can't eat, you won't be able to save a bowl or two of rice. Therefore. The student's hope for the eventuality is no match for the philosopher's hope for the eventuality, and the young men who want to be bachelors are miserable. The students were gearing up and raising the temperature. 已被抵抗冰凉铁硬的主板，有的干干的落泪，却不哭喊出来。老张更怒了。好，你是不服我呀、啊？于是多打了三板。有的还没走到老张跟前，早已痛哭流涕的央告起来。老张更怒了。To prepare against the cold iron hard bamboo board, some shed tears but did not cry out. Lao Zhang became even more angry. Okay, you are disobeying me. So he played three more boards. Some of them were already crying and complaining before they even came to Lao Zhang. Lao Zhang became even more angry. 好，你拿眼泪软我的心，你是有意骂我。于是多打了三板，有的低声的哭着，眼泪串珠般的滚着。老张更怒了。好，你想半哭半不哭的骗我，狡猾鬼。于是又打了三板。Good. You used your tears to soften my heart. You meant to scold me. So I played three more times. Some were crying in a low voice, with tears rolling down their cheeks. Lao Zhang became even more angry. Okay. You want to lie to me, half crying, half crying, you cunning devil. So he hit three more boards. Dot. 老张和其他的哲学家一样，本着他独立不倚的哲学，无论如何设想是不会矛盾的。学生们随打随走，现在只剩下李英和王德二个。李英想，我是大学长，自然不会挨打。Lao Zhang, like other philosophers, adheres to his independent philosophy. No matter how he imagines it, there will be no contradiction. The students were beaten and left, and now only Li Ying and Wang Dou were left. Li Ying thought, "I am the president of the university, so naturally I will not be beaten." 何况我已给他买了一块冰。王德呢，自知吃杏子、吃冰等罪案是无可幸免的。把手搓得鲜红，专被迎敌。李英，你怎样？老张放下主板，舒展着自己的手腕。我不知道。李英低着头说。Besides, I already bought him a piece of ice. As for Wang Da, he knew that eating apricots, eating ice, and other crimes were inevitable, so he rubbed his hands bright red in preparation for facing the enemy. Li Ying, how are you? Lao Zhang put down the bamboo board and stretched his wrists. Dot, I don't know. Li Ying lowered his head and said, "Dot." You think I don't beat university students? Do 理直气壮地说：“哈哈！”老张狂笑了一阵。Do you think I won't hit the college president? Isn't it your fault that you didn't stop them from drinking tea or eating ice cream? I was supposed to drink the tea, and I bought the ice. I don't know whether it was wrong or not. Li Ying blushed and said confidently, "Ha!" Lao Zhang laughed wildly for a while. 这回却是由内而外的笑，唯其自内而外，是最难测定是否真笑，因为哲学家的情感是与常人不同的。
：“你不错，我错，我要打你。”老张忽然停住了笑声，又把竹板拾起来。This time it is indeed a smile from the inside out. But it is the most difficult to determine whether it is true laughter from the inside out, because the emotions of philosophers are different from ordinary people. You're good. I'm wrong. I'm going to beat you. Lao Zhang suddenly stopped laughing and picked up the bamboo board again. 我要是告退不念呢？叔父不允许。李英自己想，叫他打呢，有什么脸去见人？我告退不念了。李英想来想去，觉得叔父怎样也比老张好说话。什么？不念了？你要不念就不念。If I want to resign, my uncle won't allow it. Li Ying thought to himself, "I'm asking him to beat me. How can I have the face to meet people? I don't want to give up." Li Ying thought about it and thought that his uncle could be easier to talk to than Lao Zhang. Dot. What? Don't read it any more. If you don't want to read it, don't read it. 我叔父不叫我念书了。李英明知自己说谎，可是舍此别物，搪塞老张的话。你叔父？哦，你叔父？去。叫你叔父把咱老张的钱连本带利今天都还清，你是爱念不念？李英明白了。My uncle stopped asking me to study. Li Ying knew he was lying, but he had nothing to say to stop Lao Zhang. Your uncle? Vomit. Your uncle? Go and ask your uncle to pay off our Lao Zhang's money today, including the principal and interest. You miss me so much. Li Ying understands. 明白一切的关系，眼泪止不住的流下来，哭，会哭就好。老张用板子转过去，指着王德：“你怎么样？”看着办，好在谁也没吃板条的瘾。王德笑嘻嘻地说。王德慢慢的走过去。Understand the relationship between everything. The tears couldn't stop flowing. Crying. As long as you can cry. Lao Zhang turned around and pointed at Wang Da with his board. How are you? Let's figure it out. Fortunately, no one is addicted to eating laughs. Wang Da said with a smile. Wang Da walked over slowly. 老张却把板子放下了。王德道吃了一惊，心里说：“老手要是走运，老屁股许要糟糕。”继而又想到：“好在一家人，也该叫老屁股替老手一回了。反正你们挨打，疼都在我心上。” Lao Zhang put the board down. Wang De was surprised and said in his heart, "If the veteran is lucky." The old but may be in a worse situation. Then he thought, fortunately, as a family, it's time to ask the old but to replace the veteran. Anyway, you will be beaten and it will hurt in my heart. 乐得不换换地方呢？王德永远往宽处想，一这样想，心里立觉痛快，脸上就笑出来。于是他笑了。王德。你跟我到东屋去，我倒不挑选地方挨打，也别说东屋，也许比西屋凉爽一些。I'm so happy that I don't want to change places. Wang Da always thinks about the bright side. As soon as he thinks like this, he feels happy in his heart and smiles on his face, so he laughs. Wang Da, come with me to the east room. I don't pick a place to get beaten. Not to mention, the east room may be cooler than the west room. Wang De 说毕，随着老张往东屋走。老张并没拿着板子。王德，你今年十几岁？老张坐下，仰着脸，把右手放在鬓边。我、哦
，大概十九岁，还没娶媳妇，好在不忙。不要说废话，我和你说正经事。After Wang De finished speaking, he followed Lao Zhang to the east room. Lao Zhang was not holding the board. Wang Da, how old are you this year? Lao Zhang sat down, raised his face, and put his right hand on his temple. Me? I'm about nineteen years old. I haven't married a wife yet. Fortunately, I'm not busy. Don't talk nonsense. I'm talking to you about serious matters. 老张似乎把怒气全消了。娶媳妇比什么也要紧，也正经。要是说娶妻是废话，天下就没有一句正经话。王德一面说着，一面找了一条凳子坐下。你知道李英的家事，不知道。Lao Zhang seemed to have lost all his anger. Marrying a wife is more important than anything else, and it is also serious. If you say that marrying a wife is nonsense, there is no serious word in the world. As Wang De said, he found a stool and sat down. You know Li Ying's family affairs, don't you? Lao Zhang 闭着一只眼问：“我知道他叔父也姓李，别的呢，我还没研究过。”王德说完，哈哈的笑起来。他想起二年前在国文上学了研究两个字，回家问他父亲：“咱们晚饭。” Lao Zhang asked with one eye closed. I know his uncle's surname is also Li. What about others? I haven't studied it yet. Wang De said and laughed. He remembered that he had learned the word research in Chinese literature two years ago. He went home and asked his father, "Let's have dinner." 研究得了没有？被他父亲一掌打在脸上，至今想起来还觉得干啦啦的发烧。父亲不明白，儿子说研究，你说可笑不可笑？王德月发笑的声音高了，你是非打不可。Study okay? Being slapped in the face by his father. I still feel a burning fever when I think about it. My father didn't understand whether his son's word "research" was ridiculous or not. Wang Duya laughed louder and louder. Dot, you must fight. 有什么可笑呢？是可笑。人要把鼻子倒长着，下雨的时候往嘴里灌水，难道不可笑？人要把胡子长在手掌上。长成天然小毛刷子，随便刷衣裳，难道不可笑？挨打是手上疼。What's so funny? That's ridiculous. Isn't it ridiculous for people to grow their noses upside down and pour water into their mouths when it rains? Isn't it ridiculous that people want to grow beards on their palms and grow them into small natural hair brushes to brush their clothes casually? The hand hurts after being beaten. 管不着，心里笑。你不知道李英家里的事。老张早知道王德是宁挨打不止笑的人物，不如听着他笑。我不知道。好，你今年十九，李英也十九，他可以做大学长，你为何不可以 ？I can't help but laugh in my heart. You don't know what's going on in Li Ying's family. Old Zhang had known that Wang De would rather laugh after being beaten than just listen to him laugh. Dot. I don't know. Dot. Good. You are nineteen this year, and Li Ying is also nineteen. He can be the president of the university. Why can't you? 假如我要派你做大学长，你干不干？王德和李英是最好的学友，他只有一件事不满意李英，就是李英做大学长。王德以为凡是老人都可恨，他的父亲因为他说研究。If I want to appoint you as university dean, will you do it? Wang De and Li Ying are the best academic friends. 
He is dissatisfied with Li Ying for only one thing, that is, Li Ying is the college president. Wang De thinks that all old people are hateful, and his father because he said, research. 就打得他脸上开花。老人在王德想，就是专凭势力不懂人情的老古董。除了老人要算年轻而学老人行为的为可恶，揭访批三年轻轻的当军官。It made his face bloom. The old man, in Wang De's mind, was an old man who only relied on power and did not understand human feelings. Except for the elderly, it is abominable to be young and imitate the behavior of the elderly. My neighbor Pai San became a military officer at a young age. 打不下的兵丁比父亲打儿子还毒狠。城里的前六才二十多岁，就学着老人娶两个媳妇。P三，前六该煞。至于李英呢，岁数不大。the soldiers who beat his subordinates were more vicious than a father beating his son. Xian Lu in the city was only in his twenties, so he imitated the old man and married two wives. Pai San, Xian Lu should be killed. As for Li Ying, he is not very old and he has a stern face and disciplines his classmates by blowing his beard and glaring his eyes for Lao Zhang. 如今老张要派王德做大学长,他自己笑着说,王德,还没娶媳妇,就做大学长,未免可笑,而且可杀。王德于是突然立起来,往外就走。你别走。老张把他拦住。有你的好处。now Lao Zhang wanted to appoint Wang De as the university president. He said with a smile, Wang De, to become the university president before you have married a wife is ridiculous and can be killed. Wang De suddenly stood up and walked out. Don't leave. Lao Zhang stopped him. It's good for you. 有什么好处? 你听着,我慢慢对你说。老张把王德又推在小凳上。你要当大学长,我从此不打你。可是,你得帮我算铺子的账。王德滴溜溜地转着两只大眼睛,没有回答。What are the benefits? Listen, I will tell you slowly. Lao Zhang pushed Wang De on the stool again. You want to be the president of the university, and I won't beat you from now on. But you have to help me settle the accounts of the shop. Wang De rolled his big eyes and didn't answer dot. 还有好处。你现在拿多少学钱,每天领多少点心钱。学钱每月六掉,点心钱不一定,要看父亲的高兴不高兴。是啊。你要是做大学长,听明白了,可是帮我算账. There are benefits. How much study money do you get now, and how much snack money do you get every day? Study money is six cents a month, snack money is not necessarily, it depends on whether my father is happy or not. Dut, yes. If you are the dean of the university, I understand, but you can help me settle the score. 我收你四吊钱的学费。给父亲省两吊钱。你不明白,你不用对你父亲说,每月领六吊钱,给我四吊,那两吊你自己用,你看好不好。不告诉父亲。他要是知道了,你替我挨打。I charge you four ounces of tuition. Save your father two ounces of money? You don't understand. You don't need to tell your father that you receive six slings a month, give me four slings, and you can use the two slings yourself. Do you think that's okay? Don't tell your father. If he finds out, will you take the beating for me? Wang De 
，是若父亲照打我一般的打老张一顿，多么有趣！你我都不说，他怎会知道？不说就是了，嘴里不说，心里难过，不会不难过。白天不说，要是夜里说梦话呢？你废话。Wang De laughed again. It would be fun if my father beat Lao Zhang just like he beat me. How could he know if you and I don't tell him? Just don't tell him. If you don't say anything, you will feel sad in your heart. Aren't you sad? If you don't talk during the day, what if you talk in your sleep at night? You're talking nonsense. Bu fei hua. 你们老人自然不说梦话，理应也许不说，可是我夜夜说，越是白天不说的，夜间越说的欢。少吃饭，多喝水，又省钱，又省梦，省什么？省梦。你看你师母，永远不做梦。No nonsense. Of course, you old people don't talk in your sleep. Li Ying may not. But I do it every night. The more you don't talk about it during the day, the more fun you talk about it at night. Eat less, drink more water, save money and dreams. Save what? Save dream. Look at your wife; she never dreams. He 饿了的时候，我就告诉他喝点水。王德止不住，又高声笑起来。他想，要是人人这样对待妇女，过些年妇人不但只会喝水，而且变成不会做梦的动物。哦、oh, ，想起来了。When she's hungry, I tell her drink some water. Wang De couldn't help laughing loudly again. He thought, if everyone treats women like this. In a few years, women will not only only know how to drink water, but also become animals that cannot dream. Vomit. Remembered. 父亲常说，男孩有人头鱼，富人头鱼身子。不用说，就是这种训练的结果。可是人头鱼做梦不做？不知道。父亲，也许不知道。哼。还是别问他，问老人不知道的事情。My father often said that there are human-headed fish in the South China Sea. Women have human heads and fish bodies. Needless to say, they are the result of this kind of training. But does the human-headed fish dream? Have no idea. Father, maybe don't know. Snort. It's better not to ask him. Ask him things that the old man doesn't know. 结果是找打嘴巴。王德，我没工夫和你废话，就这么办。去，家去吃饭。老张立起来。这里问题太多，王德屈指一一的算。当大学长，假充老人，骗父亲的钱，帮你算账，多喝水，少吃饭。The result is a slap in the mouth. Wang Da, I don't have time to talk nonsense with you, so I'll just do it. Go home and have dinner. Lao Zhang stood up. There are too many problems here. Wang Da counted them out one by one: being a college president, pretending to be an old man, defrauding your father of money, helping you settle accounts, drinking more water, and eating less. 省钱省梦，变人头鱼，不明白，我不明白，明白也这么办，不明白也这么办，去，滚！王德没法子，立起来往外走。忽然想起来，李英呢？你管不着，我有治他的法子。去，第五 ，Save money, save dreams, and become a mermaid. I don't understand. I don't understand. If you understand, do it this way. If you don't understand, do it this way. Go. Roll. 
Wang Da had no choice but to stand up and walk out. Suddenly he remembered, where is Li Ying? You can't control it. I have a cure for him. Go. Fifth. Lao Zhang Ba Li Ying, Wang De De Shi, Do Zhi Pei Ting Tuo, Xia Le Yi Kou Liang Cha. Cha Zou Xia Qu, Du Li Gu Lu Lu De Xiang Le Yi Zhan. Lao Zhang Ni E Le. 他对自己说：“肚子和街上的乞丐一样，永远是虚张声势，故作丑态。” Lao Zhang arranged everything for Li Ying and Wang Da and took a sip of herbal tea. As the tea went down, there was a rumbling sound in my stomach. Old Zhang, you are hungry. He said to himself, "Your stomach is like a beggar on the street, always bluffing and pretending to be ugly." 一饿就吃，以后他许一天想七八十次。他按了按肚皮，讨厌的东西，不用和我示威。老张有老张的办法。命令一下，他立刻觉得精神胜过肉体，开始计划一切。今天那两句 ：Eat whenever you feel hungry, and from now on he promises to ring seventy or eighty times a day. He rubbed his belly and said. No need to protest with me, you annoying thing. Lao Zhang has his own methods. After giving the order, he immediately felt that the spirit was stronger than the body and began to plan everything. Today's two sentences. Li Zheng, 叫的多么清脆，那些鬼子地名说的多么圆熟。老张，总算你有本事。一百四，加节里三十，就是一百七。小三的爹还不送几斗谷子，够吃一两个月的。Stand at attention. What a crisp cry! How skillfully those Japanese place names were spoken. Lao Zhang. Finally, you have what it takes. One hundred and four plus the Boxing Day thirty. It's one hundred and seventeen. Xiao Song's father didn't even give him a few bushels of millet, enough to last him for a month or two. Xu Wu 大人看今天的样子总算满意，一报上去奖金又是三十，一百七加三十就是二百，二百整。铺子绝不会比去年赚的少，虽然还没结账。李英的叔父欠的债算是无望。The academic affairs master was finally satisfied with today's appearance, and once the report came up, the bonus was another thirty. One hundred and seventeen plus thirty is two hundred. Two hundred. The shop will definitely make less than last year, even though the accounts haven't been settled yet. The debt owed by Li Ying's uncle is hopeless. 辞了李英，叫他去调寻机。住调寻机，当寻机兵，因当兵要经过挑选，习称调寻机。坐地扣，每月扣他饷银两块，一年又是二十四。李英走后，王德帮咱算账，每月少要他两吊钱。After he resigned, Li Ying asked him to go to Chao Sun Shang, note Chao Sun Shang, to be a patrol soldier. Because soldiers have to go through selection, the custom is called Chao Sun Shang. He sat on the ground and deducted two pieces of silver from him every month. Another year is twenty-four. After Li Ying left, Wang Da helped us settle the accounts and asked him for at least two slings of money every month. 可是省找一个小徒弟呢，狠心吧。舍两吊钱，他越想越高兴，越高兴肚子越想，可是越觉得没有吃饭的必要。于是他跑北屋，拿起学务大人的那张名片，细看了一看。But save yourself the trouble of finding a young apprentice. Be cruel. Give up two pennies. The more he thought about it, the happier he became. And the happier his stomach became, 
but the more he felt there was no need to eat. So he ran to the north room, picked up the business card from the academic affairs master and looked at it carefully. 那张名片是红纸金字两面印的。上面印的字太多，所以老张有几个不认识。他并不计较那个，又不是造字的圣人，谁能把字典上的字全认的？名片的正面。教育讲习所。The business card was red paper with gold characters printed on both sides. There were too many characters printed on it. So Lao Zhang didn't recognize some of them, but he didn't care about that. He wasn't a saint who invented characters, so who could recognize all the characters in the dictionary? The front of the business card. Educational workshop. 修业四月,参观昌平县教育,三等英美烟公司银质奖章,前十一师二十一团炮营见习生,北京自治研究会会员。in April of his studies, he visited Changping County Education. He received the third class British and American Tobacco Company Silver Medal. He was a trainee in the artillery battalion of the 21st Regiment of the 11th Division. He was a member of the Beijing Autonomy Research Association, a member of the Beijing Youth Association and the acting academic inspector of the northern suburbs of the capital. Shanghai, Xiao Xian Wan Bao, Tong Xin Yuan. Nan Fei Sheng, Pang Bian Zhu Zhe Ying Wen Zi, Nang Fa Shen. Bei Mian Shi. Zi Yun Qing, Hao Ruo Ting, Tou Gao Shu Ming, Yi Yu Shan Ren. Jie Yong Dian Hua Dong Ju, Yi Qian Ling Yi Shu. Bai Fang Zhuan Yong. Correspondent of Shanghai Leisure Evening News. Nan Feisheng, with the English word next to it, Nan Feisheng. On the back is. The courtesy name is Yunqing, the nickname is Ruazhou, and the signature of the submission is also from Yushan. Borrow the telephone number 1015 of the East Bureau. Visiting only. 这小子有些来历。老张想，就凭这张名片，印一印不得一块多钱。老张，你也得往政界上走走啊。有钱无势力，是三条腿的牛，怎能立得稳？哼，有来历的人可是不好斗。This guy has some background. Lao Zhang thought, just for this business card, it doesn't cost more than one yuan to print it. Lao Zhang, you also have to go into politics. If you have money but no power, you are like a three-legged cow. How can you stand firm? Snort. People with good background are not aggressive. 别看他嬉皮笑脸地说好话,也许一肚子鬼胎。书用的不对,讲台是白虎台,院里没痰鱼。照实的抱上去,老张你有些吃不住啊。老张越想越悲观,白花花的洋钱。Even if he says nice things with a smile on his face, he might be full of ghosts. The book is not used correctly, the podium is the White Tiger Terrace, there is no spittoon in the courtyard, report it truthfully, Lao Zhang, you are a little overwhelmed. The more Lao Zhang thought about it, the more pessimistic he became. Foreign money was wasted. 一块挤着一块雪片似的从心里往外飞，抱上去了。白虎台就叫科书，奖金三十块飞了。公文下来，一切办法有违定章，这急停办，学生们全走了，一百四家节里三十。Snowflakes flew out of my heart like a bunch of them. Reported. By who Terrace, old textbooks, 30 yuan bonus is gone. The official document came down, all methods are against the rules and will be discontinued immediately. The students all left, 104 plus boxing ceremony 30. 
，一百七飞了。老张满头冷汗，肚里乱想，把手猛地向桌上一拍，喊：“飞了，全飞了，没有就飞了一只。”窗外一个女人有气无力地说：“什么飞了？我在屋里给你做饭，老鹰拿去了一只。” One hundred and seventy flew. Lao Zhang was covered in cold sweat and his stomach was pounding. He slammed his hand on the table and shouted, "It's flying!" All flew. No, just one flew. A woman outside the window said feebly, "Dot, what flew away?" I was cooking for you in the house, and the eagle took one. 窗外的声音低微的，好似梦里听见的怨鬼悲叹。一只什么？小鸡！窗外呜咽咽的哭起来。小鸡，小鸡就是命，命就是小鸡。我今天晚上回娘家，把我哥哥的小鸡拿两只来，成不成 ？The voice outside the window was as low as the lamentation of a resentful ghost heard in a dream. What? Chicken! Someone cried outside the window. Chicken! Chicken is life. Life is chicken. I will go back to my parents' house tonight and bring two of my brother's chicks. Can it be done? You have a brother. You threaten me. Okay. The Master of the Universe threatens me. You are afraid. You are afraid. I cannot feed you. You are afraid. 吃我，喝我的死母猪！老张跑出来，照定那个所谓死母猪的腿上就是一脚。那个女人像灯草般的倒下去。Do you have a brother? Are you threatening me? Good, sir. You dare to bully me. Get out of here. I cannot keep. Eat me. Drink my dead sow. Lao Zhang ran out and kicked the so-called dead sow in the leg. The woman fell down like a lamp grass. 眼睛向上翻，黄豆大的两颗泪珠嵌在眼角上，避过气去。这时候，学生吃过午饭，逐渐的回来，看见师母倒在地上，老师换着左右腿往她身上踢，个个白瞪着眼。Turning his eyes upward, two soybean-sized tears were embedded in the corners of his eyes, and he closed his breath. At this time, the students had finished their lunch and gradually came back. They saw the teacher's wife lying on the ground, and the teacher kicked her with his left and right legs. They all stared blankly. 想看父亲打母亲。哥哥打嫂子一样的不敢上前解劝，王德进来了，后面跟着李英，他们并没回家吃饭，只买了几个烧饼，在学堂外面一边吃一边商议他们的事。It's like watching your father beating your mother or your brother beating your sister-in-law, and you don't dare to step forward to try to persuade them. Wang De came in, followed by Li Ying. They did not go home for dinner. They only bought a few sesame seeds and ate them outside the school while discussing their matters. Wang De 一眼看见倒在地下的是师母，当时止住了笑，上前就要把她扶起来。王德，你敢？老张的薄片嘴紧得像两片猴筋似的。师母死了，王德说：“早就该死。” When Wang De saw his wife lying on the ground, he immediately stopped laughing and stepped forward to help her up. Wang De, how dare you? Lao Zhang's mouth was as tight as two monkey tendons. Master's wife is dead. Wang De said, "Dead a long time ago. This stinking piece of land is dead." 王德珍要和老张宣战了，然而他是以笑为生活的，对于打架是不大通晓的。他浑身颤着，手也抬不起来，腿在裤子里转
，而且裤子像比平日肥出一大块，甚至话也说不出。Wang Dishan is going to declare war with Lao Zhang, but he lives by laughing and doesn't know much about fighting. His whole body was shaking. He couldn't lift his hands. His legs were spinning in his pants, and his pants seemed to be a lot fatter than usual. I couldn't even speak. 舌头顶着一口唾沫，一节一节的往后缩。王德正在无可如何，只听“拍”的一声，好似从空中落下来的一个红枫叶，在老张向来往上扬着的左脸上印了五条半紫的花纹。The tongue held a mouthful of saliva and retracted one section at a time. Wang Dijing was helpless. He just heard a clapping sound, like a red maple leaf falling from the sky, and five half-purple patterns were printed on the left side of Lao Zhang's face, which was always raised. Li Ying. That is Li Ying. Wang De started to understand. 用拳头往别人身上打，而且不必挑选地方的位置打架。于是用尽全身力量喊了一声“打”，老张不提防，脸上热辣辣的挨了一掌。That's Li Ying. Wang De began to understand. Hitting others with your fists without having to choose the place is called fighting. So he yelled with all his strength, "Hit!" Lao Zhang accidentally received a hot slap on his face. 于是，从历年的经验和天生来的防卫本能，施展全身武艺，和李英打在一处。王德也抡着拳头扑过来。王德，李英一边打一边嚷：“两个打一个不公道，我要是倒了。” So, based on years of experience and innate defensive instincts. I used all my martial arts skills to fight Li Ying. Wang Da also rushed over with fists in hand. Wang Da. Li Ying shouted while beating, "It's not fair for two to fight one. If I fall." 有胆子你再和他干。王德身上不颤了，脸上红的和树上的红杏一样。听见李英这样说。一面跑回来把师母搀起来，一面自己说：“两个打一个不公道，男人打女人公道吗 ？”If you have the guts, fuck him again. Wang De stopped trembling, and his face was as red as the red apricots on the tree. Hearing Li Ying say this, he ran back and helped his wife up, and said to himself, "It's not fair for two to fight one man. Is it fair to hit a woman?" 小三、小四全哭了，大些的学生都立着发抖。门内站满了闲人，很安详而精细的看着他们打成一团。多辛苦，多辛苦！李英放开手，孙八爷从外面飞跑过来，舍命的分解。王德 ，The junior and senior students all cried, and the older students stood trembling. The door was filled with idlers, very peaceful and attentive, watching them huddle together. What a hard work! What a hard work! Li Ying let go. Sun Bei ran over from outside and risked his life to decompose him. Wang Da. 过来劝，不，我等打接应呢。王德拿着一碗冷水。把几粒人丹往师母嘴里灌，好，打得好。老张从地上爬起来，掸身上的土。李英握着拳，一语不发。李英，过来灌师母，该我和他干。Come and persuade. Dot. No. I'm waiting for a call. Wang De took a bowl of cold water and poured a few pills of benevolence into the wife's mouth. Okay. Well played. Lao Zhang got up from the ground and dusted off the dirt on his body. Li Ying clenched his fists without saying a word. Li Ying.
Come here to fuck the teacher's wife. It's my turn to fuck him. Wang De Xiang Li Ying Dian Shou. Lao Zhang Ting Wang De Zhang Shou Dao Xiao Le. Sun Ba Ye Bu Zhi Dao Wang De Shen Me Yi Si. Zhi Jian Ta Zheng Zhe Shen Zi Pu Gu Le. Wang De Ni Yao Zuo Shen Me. Sun Ba Lan Zhu Ta. Da Jia. Wang De Shou. Liang Ge Da Yi Ge Bu Gong Dao. Wang De Nodded to Li Ying. Lao Zhang laughed when he heard what Wang De said. Sun Bei didn't know what Wang De meant, so he rushed over with his full body. Wang De, what are you going to do? Sun Ba stopped him. Fight. Wang De said, it's not fair for two to fight one. Sun Ba ba Wang De lian tui dai bao de lan guo qu. Yow hui tou dui lao Zhang shuo, Zhang xian sheng ni jing wu li qu, bu yong sheng qi, xiao hai zi men bu zhi shi wu. One after another. Wagon war is not fair. How hard you all work. Sun Ba pushed and hugged Wang De lian to stop him. Then he turned back to Lao Zhang and said, Mr. Zhang, please go into the house. Don't be angry. Children don't know what's going on. 然后他又向看热闹的人们说：“诸位，多辛苦！先生责罚学生，没什么新奇，散散吧。”老张进西屋去，看热闹的批评着老张那一脚踢的好，李英那一捏脖子捏的妙，纷纷的散去。Then he said to the people watching the fun, everyone, how hard it is. Sir punishing the students, there is nothing new, just go away. Lao Zhang went into the west room, watching the excitement and criticizing Lao Zhang's good kick and Li Ying's wonderful pinch on the neck, and they all dispersed. Sun Ba yu pao dao Zhang Shi Mu gen qian shuo, Da Sao. Bu yong sheng qi, Zhang Xian Sheng Shi Yi Shi Xin Ji. Zhang Shi Mu Yi Xing Guo Lai, Liang Yan Dai Dai Da Kan Zhao Di, Yi Shou Fu Zhe Wang De, Yi Shou Tuo Zhe Zi Ji Da Tou, Chan Zuo Yi Tuan. Ba Ye, Bu Yong He Ta Fei Hua. Sun Ba ran to Mrs. Zhang again and said, Sister-in-law, Don't be angry, Mr. Zhang is just impatient. Mrs. Zhang had woken up, staring blankly at the ground. She was supporting Wang Do with one hand and her own head with the other, trembling. Master Ba. No need to waste words with her. Li Xiaozi, you 算有胆气。你，你叔父一个跑不了。你十九，我四十九，咱们睁着眼看。老张在屋里嚷，闭着眼看得见。废话。王德替李英反抗着老张，好王德，你赤里爬外，两头汉奸。Lee boy, you are brave. You, your uncle, can't escape. You are nineteen and I am forty-nine. Let's watch with our eyes open. Lao Zhang shouted in the room. Dash, can you see with your eyes closed? Nonsense. Wang De resisted Lao Zhang on Li Ying's behalf. Good Wang De, you are a traitor on both sides. You also can't run. Bill Zhang. Li Ying sat on the bed and said, "I'm the one who taught you the Tang. I'm the one who saved your life. Let's go and see." Bill Zhang said, "The bed is better than the fire. Li Ying." Wang De raised his gun. He restored his laughter to the life of a child. You can't run away either. The surname is Zhang. Li Ying leaned against the apricot tree and said, "I am the one who demolished your school, and I am the one who wants to kill you. Let's go and see. It's better to set fire to the house than to demolish it." Li Ying. Wang De replied. He resumed his laughing life. 一来见师母醒过来，没真死了
。二来看，理应并没被老张打伤；三来觉得今天这一打，实在比平日学生挨打有趣的多。你们都辛苦，少说一句行不行？孙八遮五盖六的劝解。Firstly, he saw that his wife had woken up and was not really dead. Secondly, he saw that Li Ying was not injured by Lao Zhang. Thirdly, he felt that today's beating was much more interesting than the usual beatings given to students. You all have worked hard. Can you please stop saying a word? Sun Baz tried to persuade her. 大嫂，你回家住一半天去，王德你送你师母去，李英你暂且回家。你们都进屋去写字。孙八把其余的学生全叫进教室去。王德、李英扶着师母，慢慢的走出去。第六 ，Sister-in-law, go home and stay for half the day. Wang De, send your wife to you. Li Ying, please go home for now. You all go inside and write. Sun Ba called all the other students into the classroom. Wang De and Li Ying supported the teacher's wife and walked out slowly. Sixth dash. 第二天早晨，王德欢欢喜喜领了点心钱，夹起书包上学来。他走到已经看见了学堂门的地方，忽然想起来，老张忘了昨天的事没有？老张怎能忘？ The next morning, Wang Dehuan happily received the snack money, picked up his school bag, and went to school. He walked to the place where he saw the school door and suddenly remembered, "Have Lao Zhang forgotten what happened yesterday? How could Lao Zhang forget?" He found a shelf in which a pile of old clothes was sitting. The pile was filled with a big blue bag that was flying away from him. He carefully handed the seat to Wang De. 王德也没心看，只顾想回家。父亲不答应。上学，老张不好惹。师母，也许死了。He found a broken stone pile leaning against a willow tree and sat down. A soybean green moth flew gracefully from the stone pile and humbly gave his seat to Wang De. Wang De didn't care to watch. He just thought. Go home. Father won't agree. Go to school. Lao Zhang is not easy to mess with. Master's wife. Maybe she's dead. 不能，师母是好人，好人不会死的那么快。王德平日说笑话的时候，最会想到别人想不到的地方。做梦最能梦见。别人梦不到的事情，今天脑子却似枯黄的麦茎。Cannot. Master is a good person. Good people will not die so quickly. When Wang De tells jokes on weekdays, he is most likely to think of places that others would not think of. When dreaming, he is most likely to dream of things that others cannot dream of. Today. His brain is like a withered yellow wheat stalk. 只随着风的煽动，向左右的摆，半点主意也没有。柳树上的鸣蝉一声声的知了，知了，可是不说知道了什么。他于是立起来坐下，坐下又起来。路上赶早市和进城做生意的人们。Just following the blowing of the wind. It swayed left and right without any idea. The cicadas on the willow tree shouted, "Cicada!" Got it. But don't say no anything. Then he stood up and sat down, sat down, and got up again, walking along the way to the morning market and people going to the city for business. 匆匆地由王德面前过去，有的看他一眼，有的连看也不看。好像王德与那块破时装同样的不惹人注意。平日无事的时候，王德心里说：“鸟也跟你说话，花草也向着你笑。” They hurried past Wang De. Some glanced at him, 
and some didn't even look at him, as if Wang Da and the broken stone pile were equally unnoticed. When there is nothing else on weekdays, Wang Da said in his heart, the birds talk to you, and the flowers and plants smile at you. 极致你要主意的时候,什么东西也没用,连人都算在其内。对,找理应去,他有主意。万一他没有。不能,他给我出过几回主意都不错。王德利起来,嘴里嘟嘟囔囔地向西走去。When you need ideas, nothing is useful, not even people. Yes, go to Li Ying, he has an idea. What if he didn't? No, he gave me several good ideas. Wang Da stood up and walked westward muttering. 平日从学堂到李英家里,慢慢地走有十分钟也到了,今天王德走了好似好几十个十分钟,越走像离着越远。而且不住地回头,老觉着老张在后面跟着他。他走来走去。on weekdays, it takes ten minutes to walk slowly from the school to Li Ying's house. Today Wang Da walked for what seemed like dozens of ten minutes, and the further he walked, the further away he seemed. And he kept looking back, always feeling that Lao Zhang was following him. He walked around. 看见了, 王德一定绕过李英的背后,悄悄地用手盖上李英的眼,叫他猜是谁,直到李英猜急了才放手。今天王德没有那个兴�u。Saw it, Li Ying was sitting on the broken millstone outside the door. Normally, Wang De would have gone around Li Ying's back, quietly covered Li Ying's eyes with his hand, and asked him to guess who it was. He didn't let go until Li Ying got anxious. Wang Da didn't have that interest today. 从远远的就喊,李英,李英,我来了。李英向王德点了点头,两个人彼此看着,谁也想不起说话。王德,你进来看看叔父好不好。倒是不爱说话的李英先打破了这个沉寂。he shouted from a distance, Li Ying. Li Ying. I'm coming. Li Ying nodded to Wang Da, and the two looked at each other, neither of them thinking of talking. Wang Da, can you come in and see your uncle? Li Ying, who didn't like to talk, broke the silence first. Li Ying 堂屋靠墙,摆着一张旧主椅,孤独的并没有别的东西陪衬着。东里间是李英和他叔父的卧室,顺着前沿一张小矮土炕。Li Ying's home only has three rooms in the north, one with light and two with darkness. There is an old bamboo chair placed against the wall of the main room, which is lonely and has nothing else to accompany it. The east room is the bedroom of Li Ying and his uncle. There is a small earthen bed along the front eaves. 对面放着一条旧楠木条案,岸上放着一个官窑五彩瓶和一把银胎的水烟袋。炕上堆着不少的旧书籍。西里间是李英的姐姐的卧室,也是厨房。东西虽少,百列的却十分整洁。Opposite there is an old nanmu table with a colorful vase from the official kiln and a silver hookah. There are many old books piled on the kong. The west room is Li Ying's sister's bedroom and the kitchen. Although there are few things, they are arranged very neatly. Wu Wai Weija Duan Li, Li Gen Zhong Zhe Xie Hua Cao. Li Ying de Jie Jie, Zai Cheng Li Gu Mu Jia Zhu de Shi Hou Duo, 所以王德不容易看见他。李英的叔父有五十多岁的年纪,看着立像七八十岁的老人。黄黄的脸。There is a short fence around the house, and some flowers and plants are planted at the root of the fence. 
Li Ying's sister lived with her aunt in the city most of the time, so it was not easy for Wang Da to see her. Li Ying's uncle was in his fifties and looked like an old man in his seventies or eighties. Yellow face. 虽洗得干净，只是照着一层暗光。两只眼睛非常光锐，显出少年也是精干有为的。穿着一件就竹布大衫，洗得已经褪了色。他正卧在炕上。见王德进来，微微抬起头，让王德坐下。Although it was washed clean, it was only covered with a layer of dark light. The two eyes are very sharp, showing that the young man is also capable and capable. He was wearing an old bamboo cloth shirt, the color of which had faded after washing. He was lying on the kong when he saw Wang Da come in and raised his head slightly to ask Wang Da to sit down. 待了一会儿，他叫李英把水烟代递给他，李英替他染着纸捻，他坐起来一气吸了几袋烟。王德，李英的叔父半闭着眼，说话的声音像久病的人一样的微细。我明白你们的事。After waiting for a while. He asked Li Ying to hand him the hookah. Li Ying lit the paper and twisted it for him. He sat up and smoked several bags of cigarettes at once. Wang Da, Li Ying's uncle, half closed his eyes and spoke in a thin voice like a person who has been ill for a long time. I understand what's going on with you. I do understand. However, yesterday we were very irregular. Mr. Zhang is wrong. 王德说：“有理无理不成问题。昨天的事我都明白，不必再说。只是此后应该怎样对付？现在这个事有几层？你们的师母与老张。”I understand, but we were really justified yesterday, but Lao Zhang was wrong. Wang De said, "Dash reasonable or unreasonable, it's not a problem." I understand what happened yesterday, and there is no need to say it again. Just how to deal with it from now on. Now there are several layers to this matter: your teacher's wife and Lao Zhang. 我与老张，你们两个和老张。李英的叔父喘了一口气。我的事我自有办法。你们的师母我也替他想了一想。至于你们两个。你们自然有你们自己的意见。Me and Lao Zhang, you two and Lao Zhang. Li Ying's uncle took a breath. I have my own way of doing things. I also thought about your master's wife. As for you two, you naturally have your own opinions. 我不便强迫你们听我的嘱咐。他的声音越说越弱，像对自己说一样。王德、李英十分注意的听着。李英，你和王德出去，告诉他我昨天告诉你的话。王德起来要往外走，回来。I cannot force you to obey my instructions. His voice became weaker and weaker as he spoke to himself. Wang Da. Li Ying listened very attentively. Li Ying. You and Wang to go out and tell him what I told you yesterday. Wang to got up and wanted to go out. Dot. Come back. 你们也商议商议你们的事，回来我或者可以替你们决定一下。他说完，慢慢的卧下。两个少年轻轻的走出去。两个走出来，坐在磨盘上。你知道我叔父的历史？李英问。You should also discuss your matters, and I might be able to make a decision for you when you come back. After he finished speaking, he slowly lay down. The two teenagers walked out gently. The two came out and sat on the millstone. Do you know the history of my uncle? Li Ying asked. Dot. He did a cross. I know, because he lost his license. 对，以后呢？我不知道，我也不知道
。可是昨天叔父告诉我了，叔父自从丢了官，落得一贫如洗。他心灰意冷，无意再入政界。I know that he once served as a county magistrate. He lost his official position because he argued with his superior. Dot. Right. What next? Dot. I have no idea. I don't know either. But my uncle told me yesterday that he has been penniless since he lost his official position. He was disheartened and had no intention of entering politics again. 于是，想经营一个买卖，自食其力的挣三顿饭吃。后来经人介绍，和老张借了二百块钱，又借了一百，共总三百。这是叔父与老张的关系。介绍人是城里的卫四，理应停顿了一会。So I wanted to run a business and earn three meals a day by myself. Later, after being introduced by someone. I borrowed two hundred yuan from Lao Zhang and another one hundred yuan for a total of three hundred yuan. This is the relationship between Uncle and Lao Zhang. The introducer is Wei Si from the city. Li Ying paused for a while. 接着说，魏四后来就自荐帮助叔父经理那个小买卖。后来魏四和老张沟通一气。把买卖拆到他自己手里去，于是叔父可是无法逃出老张的债。叔父是个不爱钱的人。Then he said, Wei Si later volunteered to help his uncle manage the small business. Later, Wei Si and Lao Zhang communicated and took the business into his own hands, so the uncle could not escape Lao Zhang's debt. The uncle was a person who did not like love. Money man. 因为不爱钱，就上了人家的暗算。我和我姐姐自幼跟着叔父，我的父母，我甚至于想不起他们的面貌。李英说着，把嘴唇接着泪珠往嘴里咽。Because I don't love money, I fell into someone's trap. My sister and I have been with my uncle and my parents since we were children. I can't even remember their faces. Li Ying said. Putting the tears on his lips and swallowing them. 叔父绝不会把我送在老张的学堂去读书，要不是欠老张的债。老张拿我当奴隶，现在我才知道，那是他强迫叔父答应他的。叔父昨天哭得说不出话，他明白。然而他，他老了。My uncle would never have sent me to study in Lao Zhang's school if it weren't for the debt he owed to Lao Zhang. Lao Zhang used me as a slave, and now I know that he forced his uncle to agree to him. My uncle cried so much yesterday that he could not speak. He understood, but he he was old. 打不起精神去抵抗一切了。这是他最痛心的事，也就是他只求一死的原因。前几天，老张又和叔父说，叫我去挑寻鸡，他的意思是把我送在那个腐败衙门里。I can't muster the energy to resist everything. This is what saddens him the most, and the reason why he only wants to die. A few days ago, Lao Zhang told his uncle that he wanted me to go on patrol. He meant to send me to that corrupt yamen. He 好从中扣我的钱。叔父明白这么一半，不亚如把我送入地狱。可是他答应了老张。他只求老张快离开他。他宁可死了，也不肯和老张说话。他不惜断送一切，求老张快走。He can deduct my money from it. My uncle knew that doing this would be as good as sending me to hell. But he agreed to Lao Zhang. He just begged Lao Zhang to leave him quickly. He would rather die than talk to Lao Zhang. He was willing to sacrifice everything and beg Lao Zhang to leave quickly. 叔父是明白人，是好人。然而老了，我明白了，我们怎么办？
王德脸又涨红。不用说，我们王德，你与老张没恶感，何苦加入战团？我绝不是远待你。李英，我爱你，爱你叔父。My uncle is a sensible and good man, but he is old. Dot. I see. What should we do? Wang Da's face turned red again. Dot. No need to say we, Wang Da. You and Lao Zhang have no bad feelings, so why bother joining the battle group? I will never stay away from you, Li Ying. I love you and your uncle. 不能不加入。我父亲是受了老张的骗。他见了父亲，总说：“快复辟了，王德的旧书可是不能放下。要是放下，将来恢复科考，中不了秀才，可就悔之晚矣。”我早就想不在那里念书。Can't help but join. My father was deceived by Lao Zhang. When he met his father, he always said, "The restoration is about to happen, but Wang Da's old books cannot be put down." If he puts them down, it will be too late to regret if he resumes the scientific examination in the future and fails to become a scholar. I have long thought about not studying there. 然而没有机会。现在我总算和老张闹破了脸，乐得乘机会活动活动。我有我的志愿，我不能死在家里。我明白你的志愿。可是我不愿你为我遭些困苦，我们先不必争执这一点。But there was no chance. Now that I have finally broken up with Lao Zhang, I am happy to take the opportunity to do some activities. I have my own ambitions, and I can't die at home. I understand your wishes, but I don't want you to suffer some hardships because of me. We don't need to argue about this yet. 我问你，你打算做什么？我进城去找事。只要我能挣钱，叔父的命就可以保住。找什么事？王德问。不能预料。老张放你走不放？不放，拼命。好，我跟你进城，跟父亲要十块钱。Let me ask you, what are you going to do? I went to the city to find something. As long as I can make money, my uncle's life can be saved. What are you looking for? Wang Da asked. Dot can't predict. Will Lao Zhang let you go? Don't let go. Fight with all your strength. Dot good. I'll go into town with you. Ask your father for ten dollars. Wang De 以为有十块钱是可以在城里住一年的。我一定要进城，你不必。我有我的志愿，我进城不是为你，还不成？两个人重新想了许多方法，再没有比进城找事的好。Wang De thought that with ten yuan he could live in the city for a year. I must go to the city. But you don't have to. I have my own aspirations. I didn't go to the city for you, so why not? The two of them thought of many new ways, and there was no better way than to go to the city to find trouble. Li Ying 不愿意同王德一起进城，王德死说活说才解决了。他们一同进来见李英的叔父。第七。叔父，我们决定进城一同找事。王德首先发言：“我要看看世界是什么样子。” Li Ying was unwilling to go into the city with Wang Da, and Wang Da settled the matter by talking life and death. They came in together to see Li Ying's uncle. Seventh, uncle, we decided to go to the city to look for trouble together. Wang De spoke first. I want to see what the world is like. Li Ying 有找事的必要，两个人一同去呢，彼此有个照应。好
。李英的叔父笑了一笑：“我所不放心的是，老张不放李英走。我是怕我走后，老张和叔父你混闹。你们都坐下。” Li Ying had the need to look for trouble. The two of them went together, taking care of each other. Duck, good. Li Ying's uncle smiled. What I'm worried about is that Lao Zhang won't let Li Ying go. I'm afraid that after I leave, Lao Zhang and uncle will cause trouble. You all sit down. You 们还是不明白这个问题的内容。老张不能不叫李英走，他也不能来跟我闹。现在不单是钱的问题，是人，自然我们都是人。王德笑着说：“我所谓的人是女人。” You still don't understand the content of this question. Lao Zhang had to tell Li Ying to leave, and he couldn't come to make trouble with me. Now it's not just about money; it's about people. Of course, we are all human beings. Wang De said with a smile. Dot, what I call a person is a woman. 自然，张师母是女人。王德，此刻我不愿意你插嘴，等我说完，你再说。李英的叔父怕王德不高兴，向王德笑了一笑，然后他燃着纸捻，连气吸了几口烟，把烟袋放下。Of course, Mrs. Zhang is a woman. Wang Da. I don't want you to interrupt at the moment. You can talk after I finish speaking. Li Ying's uncle was afraid that Wang Da would be unhappy, so he smiled at Wang Da. Then he lit the paper, twisted it, and took a few puffs of cigarette. He put down the pipe. 又和李英要了一碗冷水，漱了漱口，立起来，把水吐在一个破瓦鱼内，顺手整了整大山的折缝。王德、李英、李英的叔父看了看那两个少年。I asked Li Ying for a bowl of cold water and rinsed my mouth. He stood up and spit the water into a broken tile bowl, then straightened the folds of his shirt. Wang Da, Li Ying. Li Ying's uncle looked at the two teenagers. 好像用眼光帮助他表示，从言语中表示不出来的感情。现在的问题是一个女人，李英，就是你的姐姐。李英不由得立起来，被叔父眼光的引领，又一语未发的坐下。不用暴躁。It was as if his eyes helped him express feelings that could not be expressed in words. The problem now is a woman, Li Ying. She is your sister. Li Ying couldn't help but stand up. Under the guidance of his uncle's eyes, he sat down again without saying a word. Don't be angry. 听我慢慢的说，那位老人接续着说。张师母是他哥哥卖给老张的，这是十几年前的事。他欠老张的债，所以他就做了折债的东西。他现在有些老丑。Listen to me slowly. The old man continued. Miss Zhang was sold to Lao Zhang by her brother more than ten years ago. He owed Lao Zhang a debt, so she made a debt exchange tool. She is a bit old and ugly now. 于是老张想依法炮制买你的姐姐，因为我也欠他的钱。他曾示意几次，我没有理他。我不是处理应。拿碗冷水来。他把头低的无可再低，把一碗冷水喝下去，把碗递给李英。So Lao Zhang wanted to buy your sister according to the law, because I also owed him money. He signaled several times. But I ignored him. I'm not a beast, Li Ying. Get a bowl of cold water. He lowered his head as low as possible, drank a bowl of cold water, and handed the bowl to Li Ying. 始终没抬头，可是现在
，这正是你们的机会，因为在我不允许他的亲事以前，他绝不会十分毒辣，致使亲事不成。那么，理应你进城，我管保老张不能不放你走。至于你们的师母 ，He never looked up. But now this is your chance, because before I don't allow his marriage. He will never be so vicious that it will fail. Then, Li Ying, if you go to the city, I, Mr. Zhang, will have to let you go. As for your master's wife, 等老张再来提亲的时候，我要求他先把他释放，然后才好一婚。我想他一定要谢个赎金。果然，他吐这样的口气，那么就是我们夺回你师母自由的机会。那个吴彩萍。When Lao Zhang came to propose marriage again, I asked him to release her first and then discuss the marriage. I think he must demand some ransom, and if he utters such a tone, then this is our chance to regain your master's wife's freedom. That colorful bottle. 他并没抬头，只用手大概的向桌上指了一指。是我宁挨饿而未曾卖掉的一件值钱的东西，李英，那是你父亲给我的。你明天把那个瓶拿进城去，托你姑父卖出去。He didn't raise his head, but pointed roughly towards the table with his hand. It's a valuable thing that I would rather go hungry than sell. Li Ying, your father gave it to me. You take the bottle to the city tomorrow and ask your uncle to sell it. 大概至少也卖一百块钱。你拿二十元在城里找事，其余的存在你姑父那里。等老张真要还你师母自由的时候，我们好有几十元钱去赎他。他以后呢，自己再冻饿而死。It probably costs at least a hundred yuan. You use twenty yuan to look for trouble in the city, and keep the rest with your uncle. When Lao Zhang really wants to free your wife, we will have dozens of yuan to ransom her. In the future, she will die of cold and hunger. We have no power to control. Of course, we want to control. But when we let her die, she is a free woman, and not a slave to Lao Zhang. We can no longer control it, so of course we want to. But we let her understand when she died that she was a free body, not Lao Zheng's slave. If your wife regains her freedom, Lao Zheng 一定强迫我写字句卖我的侄女。李英的叔父停住了话，把水烟袋拿起来，没有吸烟。只不错眼珠的看着烟袋，死是不可免的。我怕老张的笑声，然而不怕死。叔父 ，Lao Zhang must have forced me to write a letter to sell my niece. Li Ying's uncle stopped talking and picked up the hookah. He didn't smoke, but just looked at the pipe with his eyes open. Death is inevitable. I am afraid of Lao Zhang's laughter. But I am not afraid of death. Dot uncle. Li Ying 打断他叔父的话：“你不用说，死成不成？”老人没回答。老张，你个王德不能再忍，立起来握着拳头向东边摇着，好像老张就站在东墙外边似的。王德，坐下。Li Ying interrupted his uncle. You don't have to say die. Is it possible? The old man didn't answer. Old Zhang, you, Wang De couldn't bear it any more. He stood up and shook his fists toward the east, as if Lao Zhang was standing outside the east wall. Wang De, sit down. Li 老人呆呆地看着岸上的吴彩萍。王德坐下了，用拳头梆梆的撞着炕沿。我对不起人，对不起老张，欠债不还，以死搪塞，不光明，不英雄。
老人声音更微细了，好像秋夜的细雨。Old man Li stared blankly at the colorful bottles on the case. Wang Da sat down and banged his fist against the edge of the Kong. I'm sorry for people. I'm sorry for Lao Zhang. I don't repay my debts. I'm trying to deal with it with death. I'm not bright. I'm not a hero. The old man's voice became softer, like the drizzle on an autumn night. 一滴一滴的冷透那两个少年的心情。你们，王德、李英，记住了，好人便是恶人的俘虏。假如好人不持着正义和恶人战争，好人便是自杀的砒霜。假如好心只是软弱、阴循、怯懦。Drop by drop, the coldness penetrated the mood of the two teenagers. You, Wang Da, Li Ying. Remember, good people are prisoners of evil people. If good people do not hold justice and fight against evil people, good people are arsenic for suicide. If good intentions are just weakness, conformity, and cowardice. 我自己无望了。我愿意你们将来把恶人的头切下来，不愿意你们自己把心挖出来给恶人看。至于金钱，你们切记着，小心得钱，小心花钱。我自己年少的时候有一片啥好心。I am hopeless myself. I would like you to cut off the heads of evil people in the future, but I don't want you to dig out your hearts and show them to evil people. As for money, you must remember: be careful about how you get money and be careful about how you spend it. When I was young, I had a silly and kind heart. 左手来钱，右手花去，落得今日不能不死。死，我是不怕的，只是死了还对不起人，至少也对不起老张。以前的我是主张以德报怨，现在以之报怨。以前我主张钱可以乱花。Money came in with the left hand and spent with the right hand. And today I have to die. I'm not afraid of death, but if I die, I will be sorry to others, at least to Lao Zhang. In the past, I advocated repaying evil with kindness, but now I advocate repaying evil with straightness. I used to believe that money can be spent carelessly. 不准苟得，现在钱不可苟得，也不可乱花。王德，你用不着进城。李英去后，老张正需人帮助，他绝不至于因为你和他打架而慢待你。你要是天天见老张 ，Don't be greedy. Now you can't be greedy for money, and you can't spend it recklessly. Wang Da, you don't need to go into the city. After Li Ying leaves, Lao Zhang is in need of help. He will never treat you lightly just because you fight with him. If you see Lao Zhang every day, 至少也可以替我打听他对于我的摆布。不过，你的志愿我不敢反对，进城与否还是你自己决定。从事实上看，好似没有进城的必要。我的话尽于此，对不对？我不敢说。你们去吧。At least he can ask me about his manipulation of me. However, I dare not object to your wish. It is up to you to decide whether to go to the city or not. In fact, it seems that there is no need to enter the city. That's all I have to say. I dare not say whether it's right or not. You go. 不必怀念着我的死，我该死。李老人舒展了舒展大山，慢慢的卧下去，随手拿起一本书，遮住自己的脸，周身一动也不动，只有肩部微微的起伏，趁着他短促的呼吸。No need to miss my death. I deserve to die. Old man Li stretched out his coat, slowly lay down, picked up a book, and covered his face. His whole body remained motionless. 
with only the slight rise and fall of his lapels, reflecting his short breathing. 舍若，你能还老张的钱，你还寻死吗，叔父？王德问。我怎能还他的钱？我回家对父亲说，他借予你钱，将来理应再慢慢的还我父亲。傻孩子，你父亲那是有钱的人，他有。If you could repay Lao Zheng's money, would you still seek death, uncle? Wang De asked. How can I pay him back? I went home and told my father that he lent you the money, and Li Ying will pay it back to my father slowly in the future. Silly boy, your father is a rich man. He has. 一收粮就有好几十块，几十块，那是你们一年的用度。傻孩子，我谢谢你。哦、oh,。王德疑惑了，原来几十块钱不算富人，那么多少才可以算富足呢？多么难堪夏日午时的境际。Once the grain is collected, there are dozens of yuan. A few dozen yuan. That's what you spend for a year. Silly boy, thank you. Dut vomit. Wang De was confused. It turns out that you are not rich if you have a few dozen yuan. So, how much can you be considered wealthy? What an embarrassing summer noon silence. 树上的红杏，田中的晚麦，热的都不耐烦了。阵阵的热风吹来城内的喧闹，困得睡了，不睡的听着听着哭了。这时，王德和李英又坐在破磨盘上。王德看着那翎毛凋落的丑老鸭。The red apricots on the trees and the late wheat in the fields are so hot that I can't even bear it. The hot wind brought with it the noise in the city. The sleepy ones fell asleep, while the restless ones cried as they listened. At this time, Wang De and Li Ying sat on the broken millstone again. Wang De looked at the ugly old crow with withered feathers. 左顾右盼的摇着秃头脑，要偷吃树上的红杏。李英低着头注视着地上的群蚁，围攻一个翠绿的嫩槐树丛。老鸭轻快的一点头，衔起一个圆红杏，拍着破翅，擦着篱笆飞去。He looked around and shook his bald head. Wanting to steal the red apricots on the tree, Li Ying lowered his head and watched the ants on the ground besieging a green tender locust tree insect. The old crow nodded briskly, picked up a round red apricot in his mouth, flapped his broken wings, and flew away against the fence. Wang De 随着老鸭把眼睛转到东边的树上。那面丑心田的老鸭把杏递进巢内，呀呀的一阵小鸭的笑声，布散着普美的爱情。Wang De followed the old crow as he turned his eyes to the tree to the east. The old crow, with an ugly face and a sweet heart, handed the apricots into the nest. The crow's hoarse laughter spread out the simple and beautiful love. Li Ying 不知不觉的。要用手拨在那条绿虫身上盯着的小黄蚁，他忘了他的手被王德紧紧地握着。他一抽手，王德回过头来，李英，啊，王德，两个人的眼光遇在一处。Li Ying unknowingly used his hands to scatter the little yellow ants biting on the green insect. He forgot that his hand was held tightly by Wang De. He pulled out his hand, and Wang De turned around. Li Ying, ah, Wang De. The two people's eyes met at the same place. 触动了他们的泪腺的酸苦，他们毫不羞愧的、毫不虚伪的哭起来。对哭，对着知己的朋友哭，和对笑，是人类仅有的两件痛快的事。你哭完了没有？我完了。
。王德抹着红眼。The bitterness that touched their tear ducts. They cried without shame or hypocrisy. Crying, crying to a close friend, and laughing are the only two happy things for human beings. Are you done crying? I'm done. Wang De wiped his red eyes. 不哭了，好，该笑了。今天这一哭一笑，在这张破磨盘上，是我们事业的开始。李英，你看前面，黑影在我们后面，光明在我们前头。下，王德珍笑了。李英莫名其妙，不觉得也一乐。Stop crying. Duck, good. It's time to laugh. Today's crying and laughing on this broken millstone is the beginning of our career. Li Ying, look ahead. The shadow is behind us, and the light is in front of us. Laugh. Wang Dijun laughed, and Li Ying was also happy for no reason. 这一乐才把他眼中的泪珠挤净。王德，我还是不赞成你进城，非去不可。我有我的志愿。王德停顿了一会儿。李英，你姐姐怎样呢？她的脸红了。有我姑父姑母照应着她，是吗 ？This joy squeezed the tears out of his eyes. Wang De. I still don't agree with you entering the city. I have to go. I have my wish. Wang De paused for a while. Li Ying, how is your sister? He blushed. My uncle and aunt are taking care of her. Yeah. Wang De 没有说别的。你该回家吃饭。老人家要是不准你进城，不必顾着。父亲管不了，我有我的志愿。王德说着，往四下一看，李英，我的书包呢？放在屋里了吧？进来看看。Wang De didn't say anything else. You should go home to eat. If the old man doesn't allow you to enter the city, don't be stubborn. Father can't control it. I have my own aspirations. Wang De said and looked around. Li Ying, where is my school bag? Is it in the house? Come in and have a look. 两个人轻轻地走进去，李老人似乎昏昏地睡去。李英爬上炕去拿王德的书包。老人微微地睁开眼。王德呢？在这里。王德。不用和别人说咱们的事，你过来。王德走过去。The two people walked in gently, and old man Li seemed to have fallen asleep. Li Ying climbed onto the kong to get Wang De's school bag. The old man opened his eyes slightly. Where's Wang De? Here. Wang De. You don't need to tell others about us. Come here. Wang De walked over. 老人拉住他手，叹了一口气。王德不知说什么好，只扭着脖子看李英。王德，少年是要紧的时候。我我完了，去吧。告诉你父亲，没事的时候过来谈一谈。王德答应了一声。The old man took his hand and sighed. Wang De didn't know what to say, so he just twisted his neck and looked at Li Ying. Wang De, this is a critical time for a young man. I, I'm done. Go. Tell your father that when you have nothing to do, come and talk. Wang De agreed. 夹起书包往外走。老人从窗上镶着的小玻璃往外望了王德一望，自言自语地说：“可爱，可爱的少年。”第八，乡下人们对于城里挂着龙旗、五色旗或日本旗是毫不关心的。
pick up your school bag and walk out. The old man looked out at Wangda through the small glass on the window and said to himself, Cute. Cute boy. Eighth. People in the countryside don't care at all about the dragon flag, five-color flag, or Japanese flag hanging in the city. 对于皇帝, 总统, 城里的人们却大不同了，他们走在街上，坐在茶肆，睡在家里，自觉的得着什么权柄似的。有学堂出身的人们坐在公园的竹椅上。Little attention is paid to the emperor, president, or queen being in power, but the people in the city are very different. They walk on the streets, sit in tea shops, and sleep at home. As if they have some kind of authority consciously. People with school backgrounds sit on bamboo chairs in the park. Naja Bauji, Sibu Jodanye, Gungsh Hau Yi Hode, Zirin Wei Guja the Ju Ren Wong. Zirin Yi Wu Chesian Buyong Shu, Fan Zheng Guja the Ju Ren Wong, Shio Fa Tai Sheng Guan the Ji Hui, Shio Tai Shang Jia Tai, Guan Shang Jia Guan the Ji Hui. Holding a newspaper and reading four or six sentences, he believed himself to be the master of the country without any doubt. Let's not talk about responsibilities and obligations. Anyway, the masters of the country have the opportunity to get rich and get promoted. They have the opportunity to increase their wealth and increase their official position. <laughs> 谁敢说我没的权柄? Oh, 你更贵了, 兵更多了, 税更重了, 管他做甚? 那是乡下人的事, 那是乡下人的事. 他们不但这样想, 也真的结党集社的争自治, 要民权. Who dares to say that what I think is wrong, and who dares to say that I don't have authority? Vomit. Rice is more expensive. There are more soldiers, taxes are heavier, no matter what. That's a country thing, that's a country thing. Not only did they think this way, they actually formed a party group to fight for autonomy and demand civil rights. Those who utter words and see the words start to work. Not only are they in full swing in the city, they also go to the countryside to spread the gospel zealously. Beijing Autonomy Discussion Committee, Beijing Autonomy Co-organizer Committee, Beijing Autonomy Listening Committee, Beijing Autonomy Self-Promotion Committee. 黑牌白字，白牌绿字，绿牌红字，不亚如新批市场里的王麻子、万麻子、汪麻子，一起在通衢要巷灿烂辉煌地挂起来。乡间呢，虽不能这样五光十色。The black signs with white letters, the white signs with green letters, and the green signs with red letters are just like the Wang Matsi, Wan Matsi. And Wang Matsi in the newly opened market, all hung up brilliantly in the main alley. The countryside, though, cannot be so colorful. 却也村头村尾选起郊外自治干城会的大牌。乡民虽不认识字，然而会猜。二哥，又招兵了。村头竖起大牌，看见没有？一个这样说。不，听说围起三顷地，给东郊民巷英国人做坟地。But at the beginning of the village and at the end of the village, there was a big sign of the Suburban Autonomous Association. Although the villagers don't know the words, they can guess. Second brother, we are recruiting troops again. A big sign has been put up at the head of the village. Do you see it? One said. No. 
I heard that three hectares of land were enclosed as a cemetery for the British in Dongjio Mingxiang. This is a description. One like this. Two, three, four, five. This is the mark. One of them answered like this. Two, three, four, as for the seven or eight, I can't tell whether they are recruiting soldiers or setting up foreign graveyards. But they have a way of masturbating. One of these seven or eight people, Carpenter Yang. 断定了那块写着“不可捉摸”的黑字的牌子是杨槐木做的。王老叔起初还争执是柳木，经几次的鉴定，加以对于杨木匠的信仰，于是断定为杨槐木，然后满意的散去。It was determined that the sign with the elusive black characters was made of acacia wood. Uncle Wang initially argued that it was willow wood. After several appraisals and his belief in poplar carpenters, he concluded that it was acacia wood and then left with satisfaction. 过了几天，二郎镇上的人们惊异而新奇的彼此告诉，观礼二郎庙明天开会。老张、孙八、衙门的官人都去。还有城里的有体面的人不计其数，老张、孙八就是咱们这里的代表。A few days later, people in Erlang town told each other in surprise and novelty, the Erlang temple in Guanli will hold a meeting tomorrow. Lao Zhang, Sun Ba, officials from the Yamen will all go, as well as countless decent people in the city. Lao Zhang. Sun Ba is our representative here. This news has become the most popular information in the Erlang village after the Erlang meeting of the Yamen Temple. Wang Lao Shu told Sun Ba that Lao Zhang is very surprised. He said, "Is it really the person who is the representative of the Yamen Temple? Is it really the person who is the representative of the Yamen Temple? Is it really the person who is the representative of the Yamen Temple? Is it really the person who is the representative of the Yamen Temple? Is it really the person who is Uncle Wang said with great respect to Sun Ba and Lao Zhang. After all, gentlemen and gentlemen should wear watches only when they have a watch to wear. What can we wear? Chu Zan 却撇着嘴，把头上的青筋都长起来，冷笑着说：“王老叔，楚三虽不曾玩过表，可是拿手比表还准。不论阴天晴天，永不耽误事。” But Chu San curled his lips, the veins on his head swelled, and said with a sneer, "Uncle Wang, although Chu San has never played with a watch, he can tell the time more accurately than a watch. No matter it is cloudy or sunny, he will never delay things. Those who have a watch can't sleep late and get up late." And they will delay things. 没表的也可以试试战先。王老叔也赞成楚三的意见。于是大家商议着，明天到关里看看热闹。太阳渐渐地向西山后面游戏去，大地上轻轻地锁上一袋晚烟，那是无表可戴。Those who don't have a watch can also take advantage of everything. Uncle Wang also agreed with Chu San's opinion, so everyone discussed going to Guanli tomorrow to see the excitement. The sun gradually moved behind the western mountain, and a line of evening smoke was lightly locked on the earth. It was no expression can be brought. The 乡民们就寝的时候了。第二天，真的二郎庙外老早的立上几个巡缉兵，老张、孙八都穿了下部大衫、新缎鞋，走出走入。老张仰着脸，足下用力压着，才抹上没油的红皮鞋底。It's time for the villagers to go to bed. The next day, several patrols were posted early outside Erlang Temple. 
Lao Zhang and Sun Ba both wore linen shirts and new satin shoes as they walked in and out. Lao Zhang raised his face and pressed hard on the red leather soles that had been smeared with kerosene. 做出假假的庆祥，前面的是孙八，后面的是老张。庙外立着的乡民指指点点地说，然后两个人又走出来，乡民们又低声的彼此告诉，这回前面是老张，后面的是孙八。Make a crackling sound. The one in front is Sun Ba, and the one behind is Lao Zhang. The villager standing outside the temple pointed and said. Then the two people came out again, and the villagers whispered to each other. This time it's Lao Zhang in front and Sun Ba in the back. Lao Zhang 轻扭脖项，左右用眼一扫，好似看见什么，又好似没看见什么。和兵马大元帅检阅军队的派头一样，城里的人们陆续着来到，巡缉兵不住的喊：“闪开，闪开！”这里挤。Lao Zhang gently twisted his neck and glanced left and right, as if he saw something, but also as if he didn't see anything, just like the general of the army reviewing the army. People from the city came one after another. And the patrolman kept shouting, "Get out of the way! Get out of the way! It's crowded here." 有爱代表的出入，家去看看，死了人没有？开自治会与你们何干？去，去！乡民们也哑然自笑，明白过来。可说自治会又不给咱一斗米，何苦在这里充义务站街员？ It hinders the representatives' access. Go home and see if anyone is dead. What does holding a self-governing meeting have to do with you? Go. Go. The villagers also laughed to themselves and understood. It can be said that the autonomous association will not give us a bucket of rice. So why bother to serve as volunteer street workers here? 于是逐渐的散去，只剩下一群孩子们，还争着赏识各路代表的风光。开会的通知定的是九点钟开会，直到十二点钟，人们才到齐。只听一阵铃声。Then they gradually dispersed, leaving only a group of children, still vying to appreciate the scenery of representatives from all walks of life. The notice for the meeting was scheduled for nine o'clock. But it wasn't until twelve o'clock that everyone arrived. Just listen to a ringtone. 大家都坐在二郎庙的天棚底下，算是开会。重要人物是北郊学务大人南飞生、城北旧市军军官龙树谷、退职守备孙占元、孙八的叔父、城北商会会长李山东和老张、孙八。Everyone was sitting under the canopy of Erlang Temple, and it was considered a meeting. The important figures are Nan Feisheng, the academic leader of the northern suburbs; Long Shugu, an officer of the Salvation Army in the north of the city; Sun Zhanyuan, Sun Ba's uncle, a retired guard; Li Shandong, president of the Chamber of Commerce in the north of the city; and Lao Zhang and Sun Ba. 其余的大概都是各路代表的埋伏兵。听说在国会里管埋伏兵叫做政党，在公民团里叫做捧角。有些不体面的北京人也管捧角的叫做捧臭脚。要知 ，The rest were probably ambush soldiers of representatives from various walks of life. I heard that in the National Assembly, ambushes are called political parties. And in the Citizens League, they are called supporting the corner. Some disgraceful Beijingers also call those who support the corner as supporting the bad feet. Want it? 埋伏者即听某人之指挥，以待有所动作于团体运动者也。大家坐下，彼此交头接耳，家事、国事、天下事一齐说。
，谁也想不起怎样开会。倒是孙守备有些忍不住立起来说道 ：“An ambush is someone who listens to someone's command and waits for something to happen in a group sport. Everyone sat down and whispered to each other, talking about family affairs, state affairs, and world affairs at the same time. No one can remember how to hold a meeting.” However, Sun Shobei couldn't help it, stood up and said, 诸位，该怎么办？办啊！别白瞪着眼费光阴。南飞生部下听了孙守备说的不好听，当时就有要说闲话的。南飞生递了一个眼神，于是要说话的又整个的把话咽回去。Everyone, what to do? What to do? Don't waste your time staring in vain. When Nan Feisheng subordinates heard what Sun Shobei said was unpleasant, they immediately wanted to gossip. Nan Feisheng gave him a look, so the one who wanted to speak swallowed his words completely. Nan Feisheng 却立起来说，我们应当推举临时主席讨论章程。南先生说的是，据我看，我们应当。应当举孙老守备做临时主席。老张说：“诸位多辛苦，家书有些耳聋。” Nan Feisheng stood up and said, “We should elect an interim chairman and discuss the charter. What Mr. Nan said is that, in my opinion, we should should elect Sun Lao Guard as interim chairman.” Lao Zhang said, “Thank you for your hard work.” My uncle is a little deaf. These writings are not as good as the scholarly people know. Still, Nan 先生多辛苦辛苦。孙八说完，南飞生部下全拍着手喊：“赞成，赞成。”其余的人们还没说完家事、国事、天下事，听见鼓掌才问 ：“These civilized things are not as well known as the academic affairs, master.” But Mr. Nan has worked so hard. After Sun Ba finished speaking, Nan Feisheng's subordinates all clapped their hands and shouted, "Agree, agree." The rest of the people had not finished talking about family affairs, national affairs, and world affairs. They heard the applause and asked, "Now, what are they doing?" They had not heard the answer. 只见南飞生早已走上讲台，向大家深深鞠了一躬。鄙人，今天那么无才无德，何堪当此重任？台下一阵鼓掌。孙老手被仰着长长的指甲。What to do now? Before they could find out, Nan Feisheng had already stepped onto the podium and bowed deeply to everyone. My lord, today. If you have no talent and no virtue, how can you bear this important responsibility? There was a burst of applause from the audience, and Mr. Sun maintained his long nails. 不便鼓掌，立起来扯着嗓子喊叫了一声：“好！”一个临时主席有什么重任？废话！台下右脚一个少年大声地说。南飞生并未注意。他的部下却忍受不住，登时七八个立起来。It was inconvenient to applaud, so he stood up and shouted at the top of his lungs, "OK! What important responsibilities does an interim chairman have?" Nonsense! A young man from the right corner of the audience said loudly. Nan Feisheng didn't pay attention, but his subordinates couldn't bear it and immediately stood up. 摇着头，瞪着眼，把手插在腰间，问：“谁说的？这是侮辱主席！谁说的？快快走出去，不然没他的好处。”龙树谷部下也全力起来，那个说话的少年也在其中，也都插着腰怒目而视。Shaking his head, staring, he put his hands on his waist. Ask. Who said that? This is an insult to the chairman. 
Whoever said that, get out quickly, otherwise it will not benefit him. Nagarjuna's subordinates also all stood up, including the young man who was speaking, and they all had their hands on their waists and glared angrily. 诸位，请坐。我们为公，不是为私，何苦争执，小端。主席依然提着高调门，两个字一句地说。左右两党又莫名其妙地坐下，然而嘴里不闲着，打死你！你敢？你爸爸不是好人。Everyone, please sit down. We are doing this for public reasons, not for private reasons. So why bother, argue, and end up being petty? The chairman still spoke in a high-profile manner, saying two words at a time. Dot. The left and right parties sat down again inexplicably, but they kept saying, I'll beat you to death. You dare. Your father is not a good man. Your father is not a good person. Everyone. Sun Shobei was really angry. My uncle and nephew from the Sun family are local gentlemen. We were the ones who borrowed the temple as the meeting place. We were the ones who notified the local area to send troops to suppress them. We were the ones who prepared the refreshments. Want to fight? This is clearly an insult to my son family's face. 讲打我当守备的是拿打架当作吃蜜,有不服气的,跟我老头子干干。孙守备气得脸像个切开的红肉西瓜,两手颤着,一面说一面往外走,八爷,走,会不开了,走,孙八要走。Those who talk about beating me as a guard are treating fighting as a way to get honey. If you are not convinced, do it with me, old man. Sun Shobei's angry face looked like a cut red meat watermelon. His hands were trembling as he walked out, Bai? Walk. The meeting is closed. Walk. Sun Ba is leaving. 恐怕开嘴于大众。不走,又怕老人更生气。正在左右为难,老张立起来说。今天天气很热,恐怕一不出什么结果,不如推举几位代表草定会章。四下埋伏喊了一声赞成。I'm afraid I might offend the public. If I don't leave, I'm afraid the old man will be even more angry. In the midst of a dilemma, Lao Zhang stood up and said, It's very hot today. I'm afraid the discussion won't produce any results. It's better to nominate a few representatives to draft the constitution. Everyone in ambush shouted, agree. 然后左脚上说,我们举南飞省。右脚上,龙树谷。一次,张明德、孙占元、孙定、李富彩,大概带有埋伏的全被举为旗草委员。主席听下面喊一声,他说一声通过。Then the left corner said, Let's lift Nan Feisheng. The right corner said, Nagar Shugu, followed by Zhang Mingda, Sun Zhan Yuan, Sun Ding, and Li Futsai, all of them who probably had an ambush were raised as drafting committee member. The chairman heard a shout from below and he said, Passed. People who were lifted up. 全向着大众笑了笑。只有孙老守备听到大家喊孙占元,他更怒了。孙占元,家里坐着如同小皇帝,代表算什么东西。主席吩咐姚灵散会,大众没心听孙守备说话,纷纷往外走。Quan smiled
Only Sun Lao Bei heard everyone shouting, Sun Zhan Yuan, and he became even more angry. Sun Zhan Yuan, sitting at home like a little emperor, what does it mean to represent? The chairman ordered the bell to ring to adjourn the meeting, but everyone was not interested in listening to Sun Shobei's words and walked out one after another. They conveniently wrapped their snacks in handkerchiefs and ate them while walking. Later, Sun Ba checked the utensils and heard that two tea bowls were missing. Ninth. Sun Ba put his uncle into the car and was about to enter the temple. Lao Zhang came out and gave Sun Ba a look. Sun Ba ba er duo di gei lao zhang. Lao ren jia jin tian jiu he de duo dian. Lao zhang wai zhe tou xi sheng xi qi de shuo, hui chang shang you xie nao pi qi. Ni hao dai he ta men jin cheng dao jiu he ju zuo yi zuo, ya ya ta men de huo qi, hao zai ren bu duo. Sun Ba handed the ear to Lao Zhang. Old man, I drank a lot today, Lao Zhang tilted his head and said in a low voice, there were some tantrums at the meeting. You can go to the city with them and sit down at Jioha residence to suppress their anger. There are not many people there. I'll go home for dinner and rush back to prepare some tea for you. I'll probably have the rest of the day to sort out the regulations. If you want to treat us, you are indispensable. Sun Ba said. You're welcome, I'll have more days to eat you, I don't care about today. Lao Zhang laughed a little. Don't be afraid, go along, it's too hard. Sun Ba took Lao Zhang to the temple. The Nanfei Sheng was waiting in the temple to take the great mountain to the great mountain. Lao Zhang looked at them and said, 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 Lao Zhang looked at them Lao Zhang smiled. Stop messing around, let's go together, how hard it is. Sun Ba pulled Lao Zhang into the temple, while Nan Feixing was waiting under the ceiling to take off his coat to cool off. Lao Zhang nodded to them and said, Everyone, I'll show you my respect to Grandpa's son and come to Juheju to have something to eat. 好在不远，吃完了回来好商议一切，还是先商议。龙树谷说：“既是八爷后裔，不可不凑个热闹。”南飞生显出特别亲热的样子，捻着小黄胡子说：“张先生，你叫兵们去雇几辆洋车。” Fortunately, it's not far. I'll come back after eating so we can discuss everything. Let's discuss it first," Nagarjuna said. "Dash, since it is the eighth master's kindness, we must join in the fun." Nan Feisheng showed a particularly affectionate look, twirling his little yellow beard, and said, "Mr. Zhang, tell the soldiers to hire some foreign cars." Sun Ba 对老张说，我有我的包车。龙树谷说。说完，绕着圆圈看了看大众。洋车雇好，大家压着四方步，宁叫肚子受屈，不露忙着吃饭的态度，往庙外走。众人上了车。Sun Ba said to Lao Zhang, "I have my chartered car." Nagarjuna said, then walked around the circle and looked at the crowd. After the rickshaw was hired. Everyone walked out of the temple with their stomachs aching rather than showing off their busy eating attitude. Everyone got in the car. 
。老张还立在门外，用手向庙里指着，对一个巡缉兵说话。路旁的人，那个不信老张是自治会的大总办。车夫们一梳腰，已到德胜门。进了城，道路略为平坦。Lao Zhang was still standing outside the door, pointing towards the temple with his hand and talking to a patrolman. The man on the roadside didn't believe that Lao Zhang was the general manager of the autonomous association. The coachmen stretched their backs and arrived at Dishan Gate. After entering the city, the road is slightly flat. 几个车夫各不相下的加快速度。贪图多得一两个铜元，路旁没有买卖的车夫们喊着：“开呀、啊，开，开过去了。”于是这几个人行而受面的，更觉得非卖命不足以争些光荣。Several car drivers speeded up each other, trying to get one or two more copper coins. The rickshaw pullers who were not doing business on the roadside shouted, "Let's go!" Let's go. Let's go. So these few people looked like beasts, and they felt that they had to work hard to win some glory. Sun Ba is trying to get to the restaurant first to show the owner of the restaurant. The Lao Zhang is asking the road crews to show his glory, as he is running too fast. The Nan Fei is driving a fast car, but he is not very fast. Long Shu Gu is going to get a bus. 自然不会拦阻车夫。Sun Ba wanted to go to the restaurant first to show that he was the master. Lao Zhang was begging the passersby to appreciate his majesty, but he was only dissatisfied that the driver was running too slowly. Nan Feixing was used to riding express trains, so it was no surprise. Nagarjuna wanted to show off his chartered carriage, so naturally he would not stop the driver. 李山东是饿得要命，只恨车夫不长八条腿。有车夫的争光好胜，有坐车的娇慢与自私。于是烈日之下，几个车夫像电器催着似的飞腾。到了德胜桥，西边一湾绿水。李山东 was very hungry and wished that the driver did not have eight legs. There are drivers who are eager to win glory. And there are drivers who are arrogant and selfish. So under the scorching sun, several drivers are soaring as if driven by electricity. Arrive at Dishing Bridge. There is a bay of green water to the west. 缓缓地从静夜湖住静夜湖及金积水潭向东流来，两岸青石上几个赤足的小孩子低着头。持着长细的竹竿钓那水里的小麦穗鱼，桥东一片荷塘，岸际围着青青的芦苇。Slowly flowing from Jingye Lake, note Jingye Lake, now Jishui Lake, to the east, several barefoot children on the blue stones on both sides lowered their heads and fished for wheat ears in the water with slender bamboo poles. Fish. There is a lotus pond to the east of the bridge, with green reeds surrounding the shore. 几只白鹭静静地立在绿荷丛中，优美而残忍地等候着劫夺来往的小鱼。北岸上一片绿瓦高阁，青摄政王的府邸依旧存着天皇贵胄的尊严气象。一阵阵的南风。A few egrets stand quietly among the green lotuses, beautiful and cruel, waiting to rob the small fish that come and go. On the north bank, there are green tiles and high pavilions. The residents of the Qing region still retains the dignity of the nobles of Tianhuang. A gust of south wind. 吹着岸上的垂杨，池中的绿盖。摇成一片无可分析的绿浪，像柔柔的震荡着诗意。就是瞎子，还可以用嗅觉感到那荷塘的甜美，有眼的由不得要停住脚沾染一回。Blowing the weeping poplars on the shore, 
the green cover and the pond shook into an incomprehensible green wave, and the fragrance softly shook the poetry. Even the blind can still feel the sweetness of the lotus pond with their sense of smell. Those with eyes can't help but stop and take a look. 甚至于老张的审美观念也浮泛在脑际，幻之欲出了。不过，哲学家的美感与常人不同一些。设若那白鹭是银铸的，半夜偷偷捉住一只，要值多少钱？那青青的荷叶。Even Lao Zhang's aesthetic concepts are floating in his mind, ready to come out. However. The philosopher's sense of beauty is somewhat different from that of ordinary people. Suppose that egret is made of silver, and you secretly catch one in the middle of the night. How much is it worth? That green lotus leaf. 要都是住着袁世凯脑袋的大钱，有多么中用？不过荷叶大的钱拿着不大方便。好在有钱，还怕没法安置吗？大家都观赏着风景。How useful it would be if it were all the big money that was used to cast you on Shirkai's head. However, money as big as a lotus leaf is not very convenient to hold. Fortunately, if you have money, are you afraid that you won't be able to settle it? Everyone was admiring the scenery. 谁还注意拉着活人飞跑的活人怎样把车叶上那又长又斜的石桥？那些车夫也惯了，一切筋肉运动好像和猫狗牛马一样的凭着本能而动作，弯着腰把头差不多低到膝上。Who pays attention to how the living people dragging the car onto the long and sloping stone bridge? Those coachmen were also used to it. And all muscle movements seem to be based on instinct, just like cats, dogs, cows, and horses. Bend over and lower your head almost to your knees. 努着眼珠向左右分着看，如此往斜里一口气把车提到桥顶。登时一挺腰板，换一口气，片刻不停的把两肘压住车把，身子向后微仰。He strained his eyes to look left and right, then lifted the car diagonally to the top of the bridge in one breath. Immediately, he straightened his back, took a breath, pressed his elbows on the handlebars for a moment, leaned back slightly, and slid down with his heel scraping against the rough stones on the bridge. 忽然一声咯喳，几声哎呦。只见龙君观一点未改做的姿势，好似有个大人把他提起，稳稳当当的扔在桥下的土路上。老张的车紧随着龙树骨的，见前面的车倒下。Suddenly there was a chirp and several ouch s, and Officer Long did not change his sitting posture at all, as if an adult had picked him up and dropped him firmly on the dirt road under the bridge. Lao Zheng's car followed Nagarjuna's car, and he saw the car in front of him fell down. 车夫紧往横里一闪，而老张因保持力量平衡的原因，把重力全放在下部，脊背离了车厢，左右摇了几摇，于是连车带人顺着桥的倾斜，随着一股干尘土滚下去。The driver stepped aside. In order to maintain the balance of strength, Lao Zhang put all the gravity on the lower part, turned his back away from the car, and shook it left and right. Then the car and the people rolled down along the inclination of the bridge, along with a stream of dry dust. Lao Zhang's head touched the driver's back, the driver's head was just on the Long Jun Guan's back. So the Long Jun Guan was changed to Wu Fu. 后面的三辆车，车夫手疾眼快，拼命往后倒，算是没有溜下去。Lao Zheng's head was on the driver's buttocks, and the driver's head was hitting Officer Long's back. So Officer Long was changed from a seated statue to a reclining Buddha. 
The drivers of the three cars behind were very quick and rushed backwards, trying not to slip away. Long Shu Gu by Yi Jian Guan Sha Da Shan, Dia Cheng Tu Se Ma Dai, Chi Bu Yu Yi Chu Chi, Pa Chi Lai Ben Guo Che Fu Lai. Ke Lian Ta De Che Fu, Zhao Si, Shou Li, Wo Zhe Ban Jie Che Ba, Zhi Ting Ting De Heng Wo Zai Lu Shang, Zuo Tui Shang Jin Jin De Liu Zhe Ren Xie. Nagarjuna dropped an official gauze coat into an earth-colored sack. He couldn't help but get angry. He got up and ran past the coachman. The pitiful driver, Zhao Si, was lying on the road with half of the handlebar in his hand, his left leg soaked in human blood. Long Jun Guan ye xia dai la. Lao Zhang zhi ba shou zhang de pi cuo qu yi kuai. 本想卧在地上等别人过来掺，无奈烈日晒热的粗石和火炉一样热，他无法只好自己爬起来，嘴里无所不至的骂车夫。Officer Long was also stunned. Lao Zhang only rubbed off a piece of skin from his palms. He wanted to lie down on the ground and wait for others to come and help him, but the rough stones heated by the scorching sun were as hot as a stove. He had no choice but to get up by himself and scolded the coachman for everything. The coachman only thought he was being scolded for everything. The coachman only thought he was being scolded for everything. The coachman only thought he only looked around to see if his car was damaged. And had no intention of understanding Lao Zhang's poetic criticism. The rest of the coachmen put their cars under the bridge, wiping their sweat, nodding to each other, and saying with half a smile, "Dash, tell him to run." I guarantee Lao Bing Quan Da Cong is not his fault. The road of the driver was suddenly turned into a circle. That was the road of the coachmen. 只等人们围好，才提着铁片刀的刀把，撇着钉着铁掌的皮鞋。It's none of his business to take care of the pancake rolls and green onions. Pedestrians on the road immediately formed a circle naturally. The patrolmen standing on the bridge waited until people had formed a circle before holding up the target of the iron knife and wearing the leather shoes nailed with iron palms. 一扭一扭的过来，先问了一声：“坐车的受伤没有？捂了衣服还不顺心，还受伤？”龙军官气昂昂地说：“一年三百六十五天，天天坐车，就没挨过这样的苦子。今天咱有钱买花。” Come here, twisting and turning. First he asked, "Is the person in the car injured?" You're not satisfied with your clothes being stained, and you're still injured," Officer Long said angrily. "Three hundred and sixty-five days a year, I ride in the car every day, and I have never experienced such hardship. Today we have money to buy flowers." 没钱买盆，栽在这块了。你们巡警是管什么的？老张发着虎威。一半向巡警，一半向观众说：“这个车夫怎么办？”巡警问：“我叫龙树谷，旧市军的军官，这是我的名片。” If you don't have money to buy a pot, plant it here. What do you patrol officers do? Lao Zhang was showing off his might, speaking half to the patrolman and half to the audience. What should I do about this coachman? The patrolman asked, "Dash, my name is Nagarjuna, an officer of the Salvation Army. This is my business card." You 打电话给旧市军事医院，自然有人来抬他。但是，不用。但是，龙树谷有个名姓，除了你这个新当差的，谁不晓得咱？叫你怎么办就怎么办。北京的巡警是最服从民意的。You call the Salvation Army Hospital, and someone will come and carry him. But 
No need for, but, Nagarjuna has a name, and no one except you, the new errand, knows about us. Just do whatever I tell you. The patrol police in Beijing are the most obedient to public opinion. 只要你穿着大山,拿出印着官衔的名片,就可以命令他们,丝毫不用顾忌警绿上怎怎么吗。假如你有势力,你可以打电话告诉警察厅什么时候你在街心拉屎,一点不错。As long as you wear a big shirt and take out a business card with an official title printed on it, you can order them without worrying about the police. If you are powerful, you can call the police and tell the police when you poop in the middle of the street, which is true. 准有巡警替你境界。龙树谷明白这个,把名片递给巡警,真的巡警向他行了一个举手里,照办一切。龙军官们又顾上车,比从前跑得更快到九合居去了。第十。There will be patrolmen cleaning the streets for you. Nagarjuna understood this and handed his business card to the patrolman. The real patrolman raised his hand to him and complied with everything. Officer Long got into the car again and ran faster than before to Juheju. Tenth. Zhonghua Minzu shi gu jing er yong gan de. He yi jian de. Yu fan guan zheng zhi. Yi jin fan guan, ying mian huo yan san chi, yu xing luan jian. Fei ru pan guan, e si sha shen de chu yi, 持着直径尺二,秉长三尺的大铁勺,酱醋油盐,鸡鱼鸭肉。The Chinese nation is ancient and brave. How can you see it? Proof at the restaurant. As soon as I entered the restaurant, I was met with three feet of flames and oil stars flying everywhere. The cook, who was as fat as a judge and as evil as an evil god, was holding a large iron ladle with a diameter of two feet and a handle three feet long, containing soy, vinegar, oil, salt, chicken, fish and duck meat. 与拓星烟灰影使猪毛一视同人的下手。煎炒的时候,摇着油锅,三尺高的火焰往锅上扑来,耍个珍珠到卷帘。烧而盛着肉片,用万一衬, Treat them equally with spitting soot, fly excrement, and pig hair. When frying, shake the oil pan, and the three-foot-high flames will rush to the pan, making a pearl-inverted curtain. The ladle holds the slices of meat, and with a flick of the wrist, the long tongue catches the slices of meat from the air. Treat them equally with spitting soot. Fly excrement and pig hair. When frying, shake the oil pan, and the three-foot-high flames will rush to the pan, making a pearl-inverted curtain. The ladle holds the slices of meat, and with a flick of the wrist, the long tongue catches the slices of meat from the air. 尝尝滋味的浓淡，尝试之后，把肉片又吐到锅里。像着炒锅猛虎扑食般的打两个喷嚏,火候祭足,少而和铁锅撞的山响,二里之外叫长鬼听着垂涎一丈。这是入饭馆的第一关。Taste the intensity of the flavor. After trying it, he spit the meat slices into the pot again and sneezed twice like a tiger pouncing on the pot. When the heat is sufficient, the ladle and the iron pot make a loud clang, which makes greedy ghosts salivate two miles away. Taste the intensity of the flavor. After trying it, he spit the meat slices into the pot again and sneezed twice like a tiger pouncing on the pot. When the heat is sufficient, the ladle and the iron pot make a loud clang, which makes greedy ghosts salivate two miles away. This is the first step into the restaurant. 走进几步几个年高站堂的一个一句,老爷来了,老爷来了, 
，然后年轻的挑着肩嗓几声：“看座呀、啊！”接着一阵拍拍的提琴协灰，梆梆的开汽水，嗖嗖的飞手巾吧，嗡嗡的赶苍蝇。After walking a few steps, several young people standing in the hall said one by one, "The master is here." The master is here. Then the young ones raised their voices and shouted, "Look at your seats!" several times. Then there was a burst of slapping of shoe dust, popping of soda pop, swishing of handkerchiefs, buzzing of flies. 饭馆的苍蝇是冬夏常青的，咕噜咕噜的扩充范围的漱口。这是第二关，主客坐齐。不点菜饭，先唱二黄。胡琴不管高低，嗓子无论好坏，有人唱就有人叫好，有人叫好就有人再唱。Flies in restaurants are evergreen in winter and summer. Gula Gula's expanded range of mouthwash. This is the second level. The host and guest are seated together. No dishes or meals are ordered. And Er Huang is sung first. Regardless of whether the Hu Qin is high or low, or whether the voice is good or bad, if someone sings it, someone will applaud it, and if someone applauds it, someone will sing it again. 只管嗓子受用，不管别人耳骨受伤。这是第三关。二黄唱罢，点酒要菜。价码小的吃着有意也不点，价钱大的吃了亵渎也非要不可。九幺外买老字号的原风。Just care about your throat, not other people's eardrums. This is the third level. After the Er Huang song, we order wine and food. We don't order the small ones, even if they are beneficial. We don't order the expensive ones, even if we eat them to make us feel dizzy. The wine must be bought in original form from a time-honored brand. 茶要泡好，镇在冰箱里。冬天要吃鲜瓜绿豆，夏天讲要隔碎的炸年糕。酒菜上来，先猜拳行令，迎面一掌，声如狮吼，入口三杯，气管长虹。请客的酒菜屡禁，唯恐不足。The tea should be brewed and stored in the refrigerator. In winter, we eat fresh melons and mung beans, and in summer, we eat fried sticky cakes. When the food and drinks are served, first give the order by guessing the game, then give a slap in the face. The sound is like a lion's roar. Take three cups, and the energy will flow through the rainbow. The food and drinks for the guests are often brought in, lest they are insufficient. 做客的酒到杯干，烂醉如泥。这是第四关。压阵的烧鸭或焖鸡上来，饭碗举起，不知往那里送，更迟到拿，斜着往眉毛上插，然后一阵恶心，几阵呕吐。吃的时候并没尝出什么滋味。The guest's wine is dry, and he is as drunk as mud. This is the fourth level. When the roasted duck or stuffed chicken comes to the table, the rice bowl is raised, and I don't know where to send it. I hold the spoon upside down and stick it diagonally on my eyebrows. Then there were bouts of nausea and bouts of vomiting. I didn't taste anything when I ate it. 吐的时候，却节节品着回甘。人单灌下，扶上洋车，风一吹，渐渐清醒，又复哼哼着：“先帝爷，黄骠马，已被晚上再会。”此事第五关，由此五关而居然斩关落锁，驰骋如入无人之地。When I vomited, I tasted the sweetness every time. I drank Rendan and helped me get on the cart. When the wind blew, I gradually woke up and hummed again. The late emperor, the yellow gelding horse, in preparation for meeting again in the evening. This is the fifth level. With these five passes, 
you can actually cut them off and lock them down, and gallop as if you are entering a deserted land. This is called eat and be brave. Happy communication is based on a healthy appetite. Of course it is a difficult motto. When Sun Ba arrived at Chuheju, of course he had to go through the five levels of the restaurant in sequence. Nagarjuna refused to drink alcohol due to religious reasons. Jing Lao Zhang Zai San Chen Shu, Pi Jiu, Shi Yu Wai Guo Lai De, Ye Su Jiao Ye Shi Wai Guo Lai De, He Yi Dian, Dang Ran Ye Mei Yu Chong Tu. Jia Yi Sun Ba Kou Kou Sheng Sheng, Fei Gei Long Jun Guan Ya Jing Bu Ke, Yu Shi Ta He Le San Ping Wu Xing Pi Jiu. Jiu Guan Xia Chu. Jing Lao Zhang repeatedly said, Beer comes from foreign countries. And Christianity also comes from foreign countries. Of course, there is no conflict if you drink a little. In addition, Sun Baku kept insisting that he must scare Officer Long, so he drank three bottles of five star beer. Drink down the wine. He started to talk with the people very warmly. He talked about the fact that the Lord 赵四早晨忘了祈祷上帝，怎能不把腿撞破？平日跑得比今天快得多，为何不出危险呢 ？He started talking cordially with the crowd. Speaking of the coachman Zhao Si, Officer Long made a firm conclusion. Zhao Si forgot to pray to God in the morning. How could he not break his leg? He usually runs much faster than today. So why was he not in danger? We still go back to the Deng Gate. Now it is already three o'clock. Sun Ba asked, "I see no need to go back." Lao Zhang said, "You ate the food for the evening. You can't stop the food for the evening. One cup is not enough. Go out and run around." Let's go back to the Sheng Men, or it's almost three o'clock now. Sun Ba asked. I don't see the need to go back," Lao Zhang said sincerely. "I've eaten you for breakfast, and I won't spare you for dinner. I won't bother you as a guest. Let's go for a walk outside the city. Stroll." 改日再议章程，兄弟们，那是容易聚在一处的。章程并不难拟，有的是别处自治会的。借一份来，天天改改也成了。南先生向孙八说：“南先生，你分神就去找一份。” Let's discuss the charter another day. It's easy for brothers to get together. The articles of association are not difficult to draw up. Some of them are from autonomous associations elsewhere. You can just borrow a copy to make additions and changes. Mr. Nan said to Sun Ba, "Mr. Nan, if you are distracted, go find one." 修改修改，就算交卷。好在人还能叫张成捆住吗？龙树谷显着很有办事经验的这样说。那么，南先生你多辛苦。孙八向南飞生做了一个揖，不算什么。八爷，我们上那里去？ If you revise and revise, you will submit the paper. Fortunately, can people still be tied up by the regulations? Nagarjuna said with obvious experience. So, Mr. Nan, how hard you have worked! Sun Ba bowed to Nan Feisheng. It's nothing, Master Ba. Where shall we go? Nan Feisheng said, "Li Shandong ate too much." 已昏昏的睡去，忽然依稀的听见有人说：“出城。”由桌上把头搬起来，掰开眼睛说：“出城去听戏。”小香水的三上吊，不用说听，说着就过瘾。
Zol. Xiao Xiang Shui. Nan Feixing asked. Li Shandong ate too much and fell asleep. Suddenly I vaguely heard someone talking about the city. He lifted his head from the table, opened his eyes and said, I'm going out of the city to listen to a play. Xiao Shangxiang's Three Hangings No need to talk, just talk and enjoy. Let's go. Xiao Shangxiang Sun Shang Biao Lao Zhang Xiang Lai Bu Ziji Hua Qian Ting Xi Du Yu Xi Ju the Chi Shi Zi Ran Chi Fa Bu Zhi Xiao Xiang Shui Shi Na Yi Zhong Xiang Shui Sun Shang Biao Yu Shi Na Ma Yi Jian Guai Shi Zui Li Bu Bian Wen Xin Li Shu Dao Yao Kan Kan Zhe Jian Guai Shi Hang Yourself Three Times Lao Zhang Never Paid His Own Money To Listen To Plays So He Naturally Lacked Knowledge About Dramas I don't know what kind of perfume Xiaoxiang is, and hanging himself three times is such a strange thing. I couldn't ask in my mouth, but I said in my heart, let's take a look at this strange thing. There is probably no way to escape being forced to hang for debt. Hanging yourself for not paying your debts is not something you were born with. He stood up and patted Sun Ba on the shoulder. Shopkeeper Lee is the best at commenting on operas. What he said is definitely right. Mr. Ba, your request will wait until you marry your concubine. 我和老李送你一台大戏。真的八爷要那小星。几时娶？南飞生眉飞色舞的吹着小黄干胡子问：“辛苦。”南先生，听老张的，我何尝要娶妾？娶妾是个人的事。Lao Li and I will give you a big show. Is it true that Mr. Ba wants to marry Xiaoxing? When will you marry? Nan Fei asked, blowing his little yellow mustache with lively eyebrows. Thank you for your hard work. Mr. Nan. Listen to Lao Zhang. Why should I take a concubine? Marrying a concubine is a personal matter, and listening to a play is everyone's business. Ba Ye Ni Chu Bu Chu Ni Bu Chu, Wo Ke Yao Zou La Li Shan Dong Ban Xing Ban Shui De Shuo Dui, Li Zhang Gui, Ni Qing Wo, Zan Men Zou Lao Zhang Gen Zhe Jiu Chuan Da Shan Duo Xin Ku, Yi Tong Chu, Wo De Qing Long Jun Guan Yi Ding Bu Ken Chu Mr. Ba, are you going? If you don't go, I have to leave. Li Shandong said half awake and half asleep. Yes. Shopkeeper Li, please invite me, let's go. Lao Zhang followed suit and put on a big shirt. What a hard work. Come along, my please. Officer Long must have refused to go, so he said goodbye and left. Sun Ba paid the meal bill. Tong Zhe Lao Zhang Deng, Yi Qi Chu Cheng Qu Yu Le. Di Shi Yi. Wei. Li Ying. Jin Tian Zen Yang. Jin Tian Hai Neng Yu Shi Ma Hao Chu. Qian Shi Yan Kan Jiu Hua Wan, Shi Qing Zhao Bu Dao, Zhen Ji Si Wo. Wo Jue Ding Qu Dang Xun Jing La. 什么？当巡警？你去，我不去。I went out to the city with Lao Zhang and others to have fun. Eleventh. Hey, Li Ying. How are you today? What else can I do today? I'm going to spend all my money and I can't find anything. I'm so anxious. I decided to become a patrol officer. What? 
be a patrol officer? You go, I won't. 我有我的志愿。你可以回家，要是找不到事做，我回家。驾着尾巴回家。我不能。喂，理应。城里的人都有第二个名字，我遇见好几个人，见面问我台府，我们也应当有台府才对。I have my ambition. You can go home. If you can't find anything to do, I go home. Go home with your tail between your legs. I can't. Hello. Li Ying. Everyone in the city has a second name. I met several people who asked me Taipei when they met. We should also have a Taipei. 找不到事，有一万个名字又管什么？也许一有台府登时就有事做。这么着，你叫李文景，我叫王不景。意思是你要当巡警，我不愿意当。你看好不好？你呀，空说笑话，不办正事。If you can't find anything, what does it matter if you have ten thousand names? Perhaps there will be something to do as soon as there is a famous person. So, your name is Li Wenjing, and my name is Wang Bujing. It means, you want to be a patrolman, but I don't want to be. Do you think it's good? You. Just telling jokes and not doing anything serious. I don't have to say anything to you. Today, you and I are going to go. 也许比在一处多得些消息。不，我一个人害怕。王德撅着嘴说：“晴天白日可怕什么？呵，那马路上荷枪的大兵，坐摩托车的洋人，白脸的。” I don't have time to talk nonsense with you. Today you and I are going our separate ways, and maybe we can get more news than if we were together. Dot. No. I'm scared alone. Wang De said with a pout. Dot. What's so scary about a sunny day? Dot. Drink. The soldiers with guns on the road, the foreigners on motorcycles, the white-faced ones. 黑脸的，那庙会上的大姑娘，父亲说过，他们都是老虎。你不会躲着他们走，大兵和洋人我能躲，可是他们我又害怕又爱看。李英和王德自从进城就住在李英的姑母家里。Black face. The big girls at the temple fair, my father said, they are all tigers. You won't hide from them. I can hide from soldiers and foreigners, but I am afraid of them and love to see them. Li Ying and Wang Da have been living in Li Ying's aunt's house since they entered the city. 饭食是他们自备，白天出去找事，晚上回来睡觉。两个人住着李英的姑母的一间小北房。饭容易吃，钱容易花，事情却不容易找。李英急得瘦了许多，把眉头和心孔皱在一处。They prepared their own meals. Went out to look for work during the day and came back to sleep at night. The two of them lived in a small north room of Li Ying's aunt. Food is easy to eat, money is easy to spend, but work is not easy to find. Li suddenly lost a lot of weight, and his brows and heart were wrinkled together. Wang De 却依然抱着乐观。李文景。我叫李英，好，李英，你往那里去？不一定。我呢？王德把两只眼睁得又圆又大。随便，不能随便。你要往东，我也往东，不是还走到一路上去 ？Wang De is still optimistic. Police Li Wan. My name is Li Ying. Okay, Li Ying. Where are you going? Uncertain. 
What about me? Wang Da opened his eyes wide and round. Casual. You can't just do it casually. If you want to go east, I will go east too. Shouldn't we go all the way? 至少你要往东，我就往西。王德从袋中掏出一枚铜元，伏放在大拇指指甲上，预备向空中弹。要头要尾，头是往东，尾是往西。王德，王德，你的世界里没有仇视。李英微微露着惨笑。At least if you want to go east, I will go west. Wang Da took out a copper coin from his bag, floated it on his thumbnail, and prepared to flick it into the air. Want the head or the tail? The head is to the east, and the tail is to the west. Wang Da. Wang Da. There is no trouble in your world. Li Ying smiled slightly. Dot. Shuo. Yao tou yao wei. Tou. 砰的一声，王德把钱弹起。他瞪着眼，蹲在地上，看着钱往地上落。头，你往东。再见，李英。祝你成功。王德把钱捡起，笑着往西走。李英的姑母住在护国寺街上。Explain. First and last. Dot head. With a bang. Wang Da bounced the money up. He squatted on the ground with eyes wide open and watched the money fall to the ground. Dot. Head. You go east. Goodbye, Li Ying. I wish you success. Wang Da picked up the money and walked west with a smile. Li Ying's aunt lives on Huguosi Street. Wang Da 出了护国寺西口。又犹豫了，往南呢，还是往北？往南，是西四牌楼。除了路旁拿大刀杀活羊的，没有什么鲜明光彩的事。往北，是新街口西直门，那里是穷人的住处。Wang Da walked out of the west entrance of Hugua Temple and hesitated again. Should he go south or north? To the south. It's the Shisi Archway. Except for the man killing the live sheep with a big knife on the roadside, there is nothing distinctive and glorious about it. To the north, it's Zinjiku Zizimen. That's where the poor live. 那能找得到事情。王德想了半天，往北去，也许看见些新事。他往北走了不远。看见街东的一条胡同，墙上蓝牌白色写着“百花深处”。北京是好，看着胡同名多么雅。他对自己说 ：“That can help you find something.” Wang Da thought for a long time. Go north. Maybe you will see some new things. He walked a short distance north and saw an alley on the east side of the street. A blue sign on the wall said, "Depth of hundreds of flowers, written in white." Beijing is great. Look at how elegant the name of this alley is," he said to himself. 不用说，这是隐士住的地方，不然那能起这么雅致的名字？他一面想着，一面不知不觉地把腿挪进巷口来。那条胡同是狭而长的。两旁都是用碎砖砌的墙，南墙少见日光。Needless to say, this is the place where the hermit lives. Otherwise, it would have such an elegant name. While he was thinking, he unknowingly moved his legs into the alley. Dot. The alley is narrow and long. There are walls made of broken bricks on both sides. The south wall rarely gets sunlight. 薄薄的长着一层绿苔，高处有隐隐的几条蜗牛爬过的银轨。往里走，略觉宽敞一些，可是两旁的墙更破碎一些。在路北有被雨水冲倒的一堵短墙
There is a thin layer of green moss, and there are a few faint silver tracks crawling across the high places. It feels slightly more spacious as you walk in, but the walls on both sides are more broken. On the north side of the road, there is a short wall that was washed away by the rain. 由外面可以看见院内的一切，院里三间矮屋，房檐下垂着晒红的羊角胶，街上堆着不少长着粉色苔的玉米棒子，东墙上懒懒地爬着几万牵牛花，冷落地开着几朵浅蓝的花。Everything in the courtyard can be seen from the outside. There are three low houses in the courtyard with reddish red peppercorns hanging from the eaves. There were many corn cobs covered with pink moss piled on the steps. A few vines of morning glories lazily crawled on the east wall, and a few light blue flowers bloomed indifferently. 院中一个妇人蓬着头发蹲在东墙下，嘴里哼哼唧唧地唱着儿曲，奶着一个瘦小孩，瘦得像一个包着些骨头的小黄皮包。王德心里想。In the courtyard, a woman with disheveled hair squatted under the east wall, humming and singing children's songs, nursing a skinny child as thin as a small yellow leather bag wrapped with some bones. Wang De thought to himself, "This must be the hermit's wife." Yin Shi 夫人听说是不爱梳头洗脸的。他立在南墙下，希望隐士出来，见识见识隐士的真面目。等来等去，不见隐士出来。院内一阵阵孩子的啼声，隐士的少爷哭了。I heard that Mrs. Hermit didn't like to comb her hair and wash her face. He stood under the south wall, hoping that the hermit would come out and see the true face of the hermit. After waiting and waiting. The hermit did not come out. There were bursts of children crying in the courtyard. The hermit's young master is crying. 继而妇人够骂那个小孩子，隐士夫人骂人了。等了半天，王德转了念头：隐士也许死了，这是他的孤儿寡妻，那就太可怜了。人们都要死的，不过隐士许死的更快。Then the woman scolded the child. The hermit's wife is scolding. After waiting for a long time, Wang De changed his mind. The hermit may be dead, and this is his orphan and widow. That would be so pitiful. People are all going to die. Yes, but the hermit died faster. Because he waited for his wife, he first lost his heart. People are a strange thing. 生来还死，死了还用小木匣抬着在大街上示威。王德探身，偷偷的向院里望了望。那个妇人已经进到屋里去。Because he has not yet reached the point of death, so he must die first. Humans are strange things, born and dead. Even after he died, he was carried in a small wooden box and demonstrated on the street. Wang De leaned forward and looked secretly into the courtyard. The woman had already entered the house. 那个小孩睡在一块小木板上，他于是怅然走出百花深处来。公里报、民事报，看看这儿子杀父亲的新闻。从南来了一个卖报的，卖报的。王德迎面把卖报的拦住。The child was sleeping on a small wooden board. Then he walked out of the depths of flowers in despair. Zi Zhi Bao, Min Min Bao, look at the news that this son killed his father. A newspaper seller came from the south. The newspaper seller. Wang De stopped the newspaper seller head on. 有隐士的新闻和招人做事的广告没有？你买不买？卖报的不看报。王德买了一张，夹在腋下。他想，卖报的不看报，卖报可有什么好处
。奇怪，想不出道理。Are there any news about hermits or advertisements for people to work? Do you want to buy it or not? Newspaper sellers don't read newspapers. Wang De bought one and put it under his arm. He thought, if the newspaper seller doesn't read the newspaper, what's the benefit of selling it? Strangeness. Can't think of a reason. 城里的事大半是想不出道理的。王德坐在一家铺壶外面，打开报纸，先念小说。后看新闻，忽然在报纸的背面夹缝上看到：“县虚书记一人，文理通顺，字体清楚，月薪面议。” Most things in the city make no sense. Wang Da was sitting outside a shop, opening the newspaper and reading a novel first, and then reading the news. Suddenly, he saw on the back of the newspaper, "We need a secretary." Who is fluent in writing and science, and whose handwriting is clear? Monthly salary negotiable. 财政不揭张宅。当人找事而找不到的时候，有一些消息便似有很大成功的可能。王德也是一个。他立起来，便向东城走。走得满头是汗，到了财政部街一所红楼。Zhang's house on Treasury Street. When people are looking for something but can't find it, there is some news, and there seems to be a great possibility of success. Wang Da is also the same dot. He stood up and walked towards Dongcheng. His head was covered with sweat as he walked, arriving at Treasury Street. There is a red building. 门口绿色的铁栅栏。悬着一面铜牌，刻着张宅。王德上了台阶，跺了跺鞋上的灰土，往里探视。门房里坐着一个老人，善眉善眼，像是船当仆人的样子。握着一个少年，脸洗得雪白。There is a bronze plaque hanging on the green iron fence at the door, engraved with Zhang Zhai. Wang De went up the steps. Stomped the dust off his shoes and looked inside. There was an old man sitting in the concierge with kind eyebrows and good eyes, as if he were a servant from generation to generation. A young man was lying there, his face washed white as snow. 头油的漆黑，王德轻轻推开门，道了一声辛苦，又一个。广告比苍蝇纸还灵，一天粘多少？那个少年的说：“你是看报来的吧？没希望，趁早回家。我没见着你们主人，怎见得没希望 ？”The head oil is pitch black. Wang Da gently opened the door and said, "Thank you." Another one. Advertisements are more powerful than flypaper. They stick to you in a day," the young man said. "Are you here to read the newspaper? There is no hope. Go home as soon as possible. I haven't seen your master. How can it be that there is no hope?" Wang De 一点不谦虚地说，我们上次还没起来，就是起来也不能先见你，就是见你。凭你这件大衫，遇上上次心里不痛快。好不好许判你五年徒刑？我要是法官。Wang De said without any humility, "Our boss hasn't gotten up yet, and even if he gets up, he won't be able to see you first. Even if he sees you with your big shirt, he will feel unhappy when he meets his boss. So I might as well sentence you to five years in prison. I wish I were a judge." 为你这一头黑油漆就恢复凌迟。王德从与老张决裂后学的颇强硬。你怎么不说人话？你才不说人话，先生！那个年老的一把拉住王德，我去给你回一声去。Because of your black paint, Ling Chi will be restored. 
Wang Dekong learned to be tough after breaking up with Lao Zhang. Why don't you speak human language? You don't speak human words. Duh, gentlemen. The old man grabbed Wang Da. I'll call you back. We old man really hasn't woke up. I'll call you back. Wang Da our master really hasn't gotten up yet. I'll go with you to see our eldest young master. Come. Wang Da followed the old man into the courtyard. He passed through the corridor and walked to the three cabins behind the building. The old servant asked Wang Da to wait, and he went in and reported back. Dot. Go in. 老仆向王德点手。王德进去，看屋里并没什么陈设，好像不是住人的屋子。靠墙一张杨石卧椅，斜躺着一个少年，拿着一张消闲录，正看得入神。那个少年戴着金丝眼镜。The old servant nodded to Wang Da. Wang Da went in and saw that there were no furnishings in the room and it seemed that it was not a house for people to live in. There is a foreign-style couch against the wall, with a young man reclining on it. He was holding a copy of Leisure Records and was looking at it intently. The boy wore gold-rimmed glasses. 王德也无从看见那个人的金牙,手上戴着十三四个金戒指,脚下一双镶金边的软底鞋。The upper and lower gold teeth in the mouth hold a half-foot long Luzon cigarette, as thick as a small yam with a gold hoop in the middle. It's not that thick, and Wang De couldn't see the man's gold teeth. He wore thirteen or four gold rings on his hands and a pair of soft-soled shoes with gold rims on his feet. 胸前横着比老葱还粗的一条金表链,对金小挂上一串蒜头大的金钮,一共约有一斤十二两重。你来就是。那个少年人把报纸翻了翻,并没看王德。是。今年多大。十九岁。好。there is a gold watch chain thicker than an onion across the chest, and a bunch of gold buttons as big as garlic heads are on the opposite front of the coat, weighing about one pound or twelve tails in total. Are you here to do something? The young man flipped through the newspaper without looking at Wang Da. Yes. How old are you this year? Nineteen years old. Good. 明天上工吧。请问我的报酬和工作。早八点来，晚八点走，事情多，打夜工。扫书房，抄文件。姨太太出门伺候着战汽车。府上是找书记。广义的书记。薪金。一月四块钱。Let's go to work tomorrow. May I ask about my salary and work? Come in at eight in the morning and leave at eight in the evening. There are many things to do, so I work at night. After sweeping the study and paying for documents, my concubine went out to wait on the bus. Are you looking for a secretary? Secretary in a broad sense. Salary? Four dollars a month. 那个少年始终没看王德,王德一语未发地走出去。王德走出大门,回头望了望那座红楼。这样的楼房就会养着这样相近的畜生。王德太粗鲁。Wait and play cards to share some change. The young man never looked at Wang Da, and Wang Da walked out without saying a word. 
Wang De walked out of the door and looked back at the red building dot. A building like this will support people like this. The golden crusted beast. Wang De is too rough. 第十二，王德从财政部接一气，跑回李英的姑母家。李英的姑父开着一个小铺子，不常在家。姑母今天也出去。Twelfth, Wang De ran back to Li Ying's aunt's house from Treasury Street. Li Ying's uncle runs a small shop and is not at home often. My aunt is also going out today. 王德进到院内，垂头丧气的往自己和李英同住的那间小屋走。王德，回来的早，事情怎样？李英的姐姐隔着窗户问。姑母没在家，没有。进来告诉我你的事情。进来，看院中多么热。Wang Dijin entered the courtyard and walked dejectedly to the small house where he and Li Ying lived. Wang Da, you came back early. How is the matter? Li Ying's sister asked through the window. And is not at home. No, come in and tell me your story. Come in and see how hot it is in the courtyard. Wang Da 才觉出满脸是汗，一面擦着，一面走进上房去。静姐，叔父有信没有？王德好像把一肚子气消散了，又替别人关心起来。你坐下，叔父有信问李英的事。Wang Dezai felt that his face was covered with sweat, and while wiping it, he walked into the upper room. Sister Jing, do you believe Uncle? Wang De seemed to have dissipated his anger and became concerned about others again. Sit down. Uncle has a letter asking about Li Ying. Xin Wei 提着老张，无意许张师母的自由。王德、李英和李静，李英的姐姐是一同长起来的，无日不见面。当他们幼年的时候，李静自从他叔父事业不顺，进城住在他姑母家里。At the end of the letter. Lao Zhang had no intention of granting Mrs. Zhang's freedom. Wang Da, Li Ying, and Li Jing, Li Ying's sister, grew up together and saw each other every day when they were young. Li Jing has been living in the city since her uncle's career was not going well. Her aunt's house. 白天到学堂念书，晚间帮着姑母做些家事。现在她已经毕业。不复升学，她比李英大两岁，可是从面貌上看，她是妹妹，她是哥哥。她轻轻的两道眉，圆圆的一张脸。She went to school during the day and helped her aunt with housework at night. Now she has graduated and no longer wants to go to school. She is two years older than Li Ying, but judging from her appearance, she is the younger sister and he is the older brother. She has two gentle eyebrows and a round face. Two eyes are deep and bright, showing calm and gentle. He was a little boy when he loved Wang De more than Li Ying. He loved Wang De's jokes, his funny smile, his smile like a bowl of soup, and his dark eyes with their dark eyes. Wang De loved her from the environment. Her two eyes are exceptionally bright and moist. Showing her calmness and elegance. When she was a child, she loved Wang De more than she loved Li Ying. She loved Wang De's naughtiness, his humor, his smile, his dimples, and his dark, sparkling eyes. Wang De's love for her comes from the environment. 全村里再没有一个女子比她清秀的，再没有一个像她那样爱护她的。再没有一个比他念的书多的。他们年幼的时候，他说笑话给他听。There is no other woman in the village who is more beautiful than her, no one who loves and protects him as much as she does, and no one who has read more books than her. When they were young, she told him jokes. 
他转转眼珠，又把他的笑话改编一回，说给他听。有时编的驴唇不对马嘴。他们一天不见不见，也见几次；他们一天真见不着，他们在梦里见几次。他们见不着的时候 ，He rolled his eyes and adapted her jokes again and told them to her. But sometimes they were completely wrong. They don't see each other a few times a day. They don't really see each other a day, but they see each other a few times in dreams. When they can't see you. 想把心挖出来，抛在沙漠里，烈风吹着，飞沙打着，热日炙着，他们的心碎了，焦了，化为飞灰了。他们见着，安慰了。快活了，他们的心又爱情缝在一处了。Like digging out their hearts and throwing them into the desert, where they are blown by strong winds, beaten by flying sand, and scorched by the hot sun, their hearts are broken, burnt, and turned into ashes. When they saw it, they were comforted and happy, and their hearts were sewn together with love. 他们还似幼年相处的那样亲热，然而他们不自觉地在心的深处多了一些东西，多了一些说不出的情感。幼年的时候彼此见不着，他们哭，苦真安慰了他们。They were still as affectionate as when they were young, but they unconsciously had something more in their hearts, some more unspeakable emotions. When they were little, they cried when they couldn't see each other. Crying really comforted them. Now they don't see each other. They sit quietly, sad, sad, and think. They wish to kill themselves, but they don't dare to go near each other. They don't know why. It's like a white rabbit chasing a white rabbit. They don't know why. Now they can't see him. They think they can't see him. They sit blankly, sad, 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 They would rather kill themselves than be isolated. They don't know why, just like a yellow butterfly chasing a white butterfly. Their love is increasing as the years go by. They are guessing at the time when they can see each other, and they have a little light, a little life, they are laughing at each other, and they are laughing at each other. Their love is growing as the years go by. They are guessing at the time. Their love continues to increase with age. When they were lonely, they had a little bit of starlight and a little vitality, covering each other and stirring. Their deep inner fragrance spans three thousand worlds. 好像终究可以连成一线，浮泛在晴天爱海之中的。他们遇见了，毫不羞愧的谈笑；他们遇不见，毫不羞愧的想着彼此。以至于毫不羞愧地愿意坐在一处，住在一处，死在一处。It seems that they can finally be connected and float in the sea of love. When they meet, they talk and laugh without shame. When they meet, they think about each other without shame, so much so that they are willing to sit together, live together, and die together without shame. 静姐。张师母的历史你知道，一点。现在的情况我不知道。你，你与，王德，你又要说什么笑话？今天笑话都气跑了。你与老，老什么？王德，静姐，你有新小说没有？借给我一本。Sister Jing, do you know Mrs. Zhang's history? One thing. I don't know the current situation. You, you and Dash, Wang Da, what kind of joke are you going to make? The joke is all gone today. You and the old. What is the old man, Wang Da? Sister Jing, do you have any new novels? Can you lend me a copy? You 告诉我你要说的话，我告诉你你要哭呢。我不哭，得了，王德，告诉我。老张要。王德说到这里，听见街门响了一声，姑母手里拿着大包小罐走进来，两个人忙着赶出去。
you tell me what you want to say. I tell you, are you going to cry? I won't cry, come on, Wang Da, tell me. Lao Zhang wants it, Wang Da said. He heard the street door ring, and his aunt came in with big bags and small cans in her hands. The two people rushed out. 接他手中的东西，姑母看了王德一眼，没有说什么。王德把东西放在桌上，脸红红的到自己的小屋里去。李静的姑母有六十来岁的年纪，身体还很健壮。她的面貌、身材、服装。After taking the thing in her hand, her aunt glanced at Wang Da and said nothing. Wang Da put the things on the table and went to his hut with a blushing face. Li Jing's aunt is in her sixties and is still in good health. Her face, figure, clothes. 那一样也不比别人新奇。把它放在普通中国妇女里，叫你无从分别，那是他，那是别人。你可以用普通中国妇人的一切形容他。或者也可以用它代表他们。That's no more novel than others. Put her among ordinary Chinese women, so that you can't tell which one is her and which one is someone else. You can describe her with everything about ordinary Chinese women, or you can use her to represent them. 他真爱李英和李静，他对他的兄弟李英的叔父真负责任，看护李英们。他也真对于李氏祖宗负责任，不但对于一家，就是对于一切社会道德、家庭纲纪。She really loves Li Ying and Li Jing, and she is really responsible for taking care of Li Ying and her brother, Li Ying's uncle. She is also really responsible for the Li family ancestors, not only for the family, but also for all social morals and family disciplines. 他都有很正气而自尊的负责的表示，他是好妇人，好中国妇人。姑娘，你可不是七八岁的孩子，凡事你自己应当知道谨慎。你明白我的话，姑母，你大概不愿意我和王德说话。She has a very upright and self-respecting and responsible attitude. She is a good woman, a good Chinese woman. Girl, you are not a child of seven or eight years old. You should be cautious in everything. Do you understand what I say? And you probably don't want me to talk to Wang Da. Wang Da and I are the same as my brothers. I love him and Li Ying. Girl, girl, I have lived for over sixty years. 就没看见过女人爱男人不怀着坏心的，姑娘你可真脸大，敢说爱他？姑母说爱又怕什么呢 ？Wang Da is like my brother, and I love him as much as I love Li Ying. Dot girl, girl, I have lived for almost sixty years, and I have never seen a woman love a man without evil intentions. Girl, you are so brave. Dare to say you love him. Aunt, what are you afraid of when you say love? Li Jing 笑着问，姑娘，你今天要跟我顶嘴？好，好劲儿。我老婆子就不许你说，你不懂爱字什么讲。别看我没念过书。得了，姑母，以后不说了，成不成？ Li Jing 上前拉住姑母的手。Li Jing asked with a smile, "Girl, you want to talk back to me today, okay?" So Jinger, my old lady won't allow you to talk. What can you say if you don't understand the word love? Don't think I haven't studied. Come on, Aunt, let's not talk any more. Is that okay? Li Jing stepped forward and took her aunt's hand. 一上一下的摇着，为是讨姑母的喜欢。啊，好孩子，从此不准再说。去泡一壶茶
，我买来好东西给你们吃。”好夫人如释重负，欢欢喜喜把买来的水果点心都放在碟子里。She was shaking it up and down to please her aunt. Ah, good boy. Don't say that again from now on. Go and make a pot of tea. I will buy you good things to eat. The good woman was relieved and happily put all the fruit snacks she bought on the plate. Li Jing 把茶泡好，李英也回来了。姑母把王德叫过来，把点心水果分给大家，自己只要一个烂桃和一块挤碎了的饽饽。姑母，我吃不了这么多，分给你一些。Li Jing made the tea, and Li Ying came back. The aunt called Wang Da over and distributed the snacks and fruits to everyone. She only wanted a rotten peach and a crushed piece of pastry. Aunt, I can't eat so much, so I'll give you some. Li Ying 看姑母的点心太少，把自己的碟子递给她。不，李英。姑母一心一意，愿意看着你们吃，只要你们肥头大耳朵的，就是我的造化。阿弥陀佛，佛爷保佑你们。Li Ying saw that her aunt's snacks were too little, so she handed her his own plate. No, Li Ying, my aunt is wholeheartedly willing to watch you eat. As long as you have fat heads and big ears. You are my creation, Amitba. Buddha bless you. 有钱除了请高香献佛，就是给你们买吃的。好夫人不说谎，真的这样办。李英，你的事怎样？李静故意避着王德，有些眉目。等姑父回来，我和他商议。你见着他？姑母问。是。If I have money besides offering incense to the Buddha, I will also buy you food. A good woman doesn't lie; she really does this. Li Ying, how is your matter? Li Jing deliberately avoided Wang Dida. I have some clues. When my uncle comes back, I will discuss it with him. You saw him? And asked, yes. 姑父晚上回来吃饭，李英，快去打搅。你姑父没别的嗜好，就是爱喝杯咸菜酒。好孩子，快去。李英才回来，叫他休息一会，我去打搅。王德向那位好夫人说：“好，王德，你去，你去。” My uncle will come back for dinner in the evening. Li Ying, go get a drink. Your uncle has no other hobby except drinking a glass of pickle wine. Good boy, go. Li Inkai came back and told him to rest for a while while I went to get a drink. Wang Da said to the good woman, "Good Wang Da, you go, you go." 好妇人从一尺多长的衣袋，越快而越慢的往外一个一个的掏那又热。又亮的铜钱，你知道那个酒店？出这条街往南，不远，路东挂着五个金葫芦，要五个铜子一两的二两。The good woman quickly and slowly took out the hot and shiny copper coins one by one from her footlong pocket. Do you know that hotel? Go out of this street to the south. Not far away. On the east side of the road, there are five gold gourds hanging. They cost five coppers, one tail and two tails. 把酒瓶拿直了，不怕摇荡出来。去的时候不必听明白没有？快去，好孩子，回来。酒店对过的猪肉铺，看有猪耳朵，跳后的买一个。他就是爱吃个脆脆的酱耳朵，会不会？我不放心。Hold the bottle straight. Don't worry about it swinging out. You don't have to when you go out. Do you understand? 
Go quickly. Good boy. Return. The pork shop across from the hotel has pig ears, so I picked a thick one and bought one. He just loves to eat crunchy soy ears, right? I'm not worried. 你们年轻的办事不可靠。把酒瓶给我，还是我去？上回李英买来的羊肉，把刀刃切断了，也没把肉切开。还是我自己去，我会买。我是买酱耳朵的专家。王德耀笑又不好意思。Your young service is unreliable. Give me the bottle, or I'll go. The last time Li Ying bought mutton, the blade was blunt and the meat was not cut. I'd better go by myself. I will buy it. I'm an expert at buying sauced ears. Wang Da wanted to laugh but was embarrassed. Yo,偷着看李静一眼。我想起来了，好夫人真的想了一会儿。你们两个也不用出去吃饭。陪着你姑父一同吃好不好？王德梅敢首先回答，倒是李英主张用他们的钱多买些菜。He secretly glanced at Li Jing again. I remembered. The good woman really thought for a while. You two don't need to go out to eat. How about eating with your uncle? Wang Da did not dare to answer first. But Li Ying suggested using their money to buy more vegetables. 大家热闹一回，姑母首肯，又叫李英和王德一同去买菜打酒。因为做买卖的专会欺侮男人，两个人四只眼，多少也可少受一些骗。然后又嘱咐了两个少年一顿，才放他们走。Everyone had a great time. The aunt agreed and asked Li Ying and Wang Da to go shopping and drink together. Because businessmen specialize in bullying men, two people with four eyes can be less likely to be deceived. Then he gave the two teenagers a lesson before letting them go. Li Jing 帮助姑母在厨房预备一切。李静递菜匙，姑母要饭勺。李静拿碟子，姑母要油瓶。于是李静随着姑母满屋里转，一件事也没做对。第十三，王德、李英买菜回来。Li Jing helped her aunt prepare everything in the kitchen. Li Jing handed her the spoon, and her aunt asked for the ladle. Li Jing took the plate, and her aunt asked for the oil bottle. So Li Jing followed her aunt around the house. Didn't do anything right. Thirteenth, Wang Da Li should come back from shopping for groceries. 姑母一面批评，一面烹调，批评的太过，至于把醋当了酱油，整池的往烹锅里下。忽然发觉了自己的错误，于是停住批评，坐在小凳上，笑的眼泪一个挤着一个往下滴。My aunt was criticizing and cooking. He was so critical that he mistook vinegar for soy sauce and poured a full spoonful into the cooking pot. Suddenly, he realized his mistake, so he stopped criticizing and sat on a small stool, laughing until tears rolled down his cheeks. Li Ying's grandfather came back. Zhao Rui is his life. He is about fifty years old. 从结婚到如今，他的夫人永远比他大十来岁，矮矮的身量，横里比竖里，看着壮观的像一个小四方肉墩。Li Ying's uncle is back. Zhao Rui is his name. He is about fifty years old, and his wife has always been more than ten years older than him since he got married. He is short in stature and looks more impressive horizontally than vertically. Like a small square meat mound. 短短的脖子，拖着一个圆而多肉的地球式的脑袋，两只笑眼，一个红透的酒糟鼻。见人先点头含笑，然后道辛苦
，越看越像一个既有经验的买卖人。The short neck supports a round and fleshy earth-shaped head, two smiling eyes, and a red rosacea nose. When he sees someone, he first nods and smiles, and then says, "Hard work." The more he looks at him, the more he looks like an experienced trader. 赵姑父进猎屋里，先普遍的问好，跟着给大家倒茶，弄得王德手足无措。要是王德在赵姑父的铺子里，他还有一点办法，他至少可以买赵姑父一点货物，以报答他的和蔼。When Uncle Zhao entered the room, he first said hello to everyone. And then poured tea for everyone, leaving Wang Da at a loss. If Wang Da is in Uncle Zhao's shop, he still has a way. He can at least buy some goods from Uncle Zhao to repay his kindness. Zhao 姑母不等别人说话，先告诉她丈夫，她把醋当做了酱油。赵姑父听了，也笑得流泪，把红鼻子咽了一大块。笑完一阵。老夫妻领着三个青年开始享受他们的晚饭。Aunt Zhao didn't wait for anyone to say anything, but first told her husband that she had mistaken vinegar for soy sauce. After hearing this, Uncle Zhao also burst into tears with laughter, and a big piece of his red nose was covered in tears. After laughing for a while, the old couple led the three young people to enjoy their dinner. 赵姑父递饭不菜，强迫王德、李英也喝一点酒，尝几块猪耳朵。二两酒，三个人喝。从理想与事实上说，赵姑父不会喝的超过二两或完全二两，然而却有些醉意。Uncle Zhao handed over rice and vegetables, forcing Wang Da and Li Ying to drink some wine and taste some pig ears. Too young of wine for three people to drink. From an ideal and practical point of view, Uncle Zhao would not drink more than too young or even too young at all. However, I was a little drunk. 顺着鬓角往饭碗里滴滴有响的落着珍珠似的大汗珠，脸上充满了笑容。好像一轮红日，渐渐地把特红的鼻子隐灭在一片红光之中。Beads of sweat like pearls dripped down into the rice bowl along the temples. The face was full of smiles, like a red sun, gradually extinguishing the red nose in a red light. 像喷过火的火山，掩映在红云赤霞里似的。酒足饭饱。赵姑父拧上一袋关东烟，叫李英把椅子搬到院中，大家团团的围坐。赵姑母却忙着收拾杯盘，并且不许李英帮忙。It's like a volcano that has erupted and is hidden in the red clouds and red clouds. After having enough wine and food, Uncle Zhao put on a bag of Guangdong cigarettes and asked Li Ying to move the chairs to the courtyard, where everyone sat around. Aunt Zhao was busy clearing away the cups and plates, and did not allow Li Jing to help. 于是李靖泡好一壶茶，也坐在他姑父的旁边。姑父，我告诉你的事，替我解决一下好不好？李英问。好，好，我就是喜欢听少年们想做事。念书我不反对，做事可也要紧。So Li Jing made a pot of tea and sat next to his uncle. Uncle, can you help me solve what I told you? Li Ying asked. Okay. Okay. I just like to hear young people want to do things. I have no objection to studying, but doing things is also important. 念书要成了书呆子。还不如多吃几块脆脆的猪耳朵。赵姑父喷着嘴里的蓝烟，渐渐上升，和浅蓝的天化为一气。铺子里不收你们念书的做徒弟，工厂里不要学生当工人。If you want to become a nerd while studying, 
you might as well eat a few more crunchy pig ears. Uncle Zhao puffed out the blue smoke from his mouth, which gradually rose up and merged with the light blue sky. We don't accept those of you studying as apprentices in the shop, and we don't want students to be workers in the factory. 还不是好评句。你去当巡警，我说实在话，简直的不算什么好营业。至于你说什么九世军，我还不大明白。九世军，李英回答：“对，九世军，那是怎么一回事？” Not a good credential. If you go to be a patrol officer, to be honest, it's not a very good business. As for what you mean by the a nine soldiers army, I still don't quite understand. The Salvation Army. Liang replied. Dot, yes. Salvation Army. What's going on? 我今天早晨出门，在街上遇见了老街坊赵四。他在旧世军里一半拉车，一半做事。他说，旧世军很收纳不少青年，挣钱不多，可是做的都是慈善事。我于是跑到旧世军教会。I went out this morning and met my old neighbor Zhao Si on the street. He works part time as a truck driver and part time worker in the Salvation Army. He said that the Salvation Army takes in many young people and does not make much money, but it does charity work. So I ran to the Salvation Army Church. 听了些宗教的讲论，倒很有理。他们讲什么来着？王德插嘴问。他们说：“人人都有罪，只有一位上帝能赦免我们。要是我们能信靠他去做好事。” After listening to some religious lectures, it makes sense. What are they talking about? Wang De interrupted and asked. They say that everyone is guilty, and there is only one God who can forgive us if we can trust Him to do good things. I thought we were making some money. 而不替社会上做些好事，岂不白活？所以，李英，这位上帝住在那里？王德问。天上，李英很郑重的回答：“是佛爷都在天上，赵姑父半闭着眼，衔着烟袋，似乎要睡着。不过，英儿 ，If you don't do something good for society, your life will be in vain. So, Li Ying.” Where does this God live? Wang Da asked. Dot, heaven. Li Ying answered solemnly, "It's the Buddha who is in heaven." Uncle Zhao half closed his eyes, holding his pipe in his mouth, as if he was about to fall asleep. But Inger, 去信阳教我有些不放心。我想，只要有个团体，大家齐心做好事。我就愿意入，管他洋教不洋教。李英说：“你准知道他们做好事。”李静问：“你不信去看，教堂里整齐严肃。” I was a little worried about going to Xinyang to teach. I think as long as there is a group and everyone works together to do good things, I am willing to join, regardless of whether it is a foreign religion or not. Li Ying said, "Dot, you must know that they do good things." Li Jing asked, "If you don't believe me, go and see. The church is neat and solemn." 另有一番精神。我是买卖人，三句话不离本行。到底你能拿多少钱？从教堂拿。赵四说一月五块钱。不过我的目的在做些好事。不在乎挣钱多少。好，你先去试试，不成 ？There is another spirit. I am a businessman, and I can only say three things about my profession. How much money can you take? Take it from the church. Zhao Si said five yuan a month, but my purpose is to do some good things, 
and I don't care how much money I make. Duck, good. You go try it first, it doesn't work. Woman Zai Ling Zhao Shi. Zhao Gu Fu Xiang Li Ying Shuo Wan, Yu Xiang Zhao Wang De Shuo, Ni De Shi Zen Yang. Shuo Ma Jie, Wo Jiu Shuo. Wang De Xiang Qi Na Ge Xiang Jin De Ren Xing Shou. Bie Ma Jie, Yu Ni Jie Jie Zuo Zai Zhe Li, Yao Shi Mei Ta, Ni Ma Shi Ma Wo Dou Bu Zai Wo. Let's find something else to do. After Uncle Zhao finished speaking to Li Ying, he then turned to Wang De and said, What's your matter? If you let me curse, I will say it. Wang Da thought of the gold-encrusted humanoid beast. Don't curse, your sister is sitting here. Without her, I don't care what you curse. 这么着,你心里骂,嘴里说好的。王德于是把日间所经过的事说了一遍。然后又发挥他的智愿。你看,王德向赵姑父说, 我入学堂好不好? 事情太不易找。If you do this, you may curse in your heart and say it with your mouth. Wang De then told what happened during the day. Then he expressed his will. Look, Wang De said to Uncle Zhao, Is it okay if I enter the school? Things are too hard to find. 而且做些小事我也不甘心。念书是好意思,可是有一样,你父亲能供给你吗?你姐姐,赵姑父指着李静说,念了五六年书,今天买皮鞋,明天买白帽子,数钱花的不多。And I'm not willing to do small things. It's nice to study, but there is one thing. Can your father provide it for you? Your sister, Uncle Zhao pointed at Li Jing and said, has been studying for five or six years. Today she buys leather shoes and tomorrow she buys a white hat. She doesn't spend much money on books. 零七八岁,差一点没叫我破产,我的老天爷。我不明白新事情,所以我猜不透怎么会一穿皮鞋就把字认识了。你知道你的家计比我知道的清楚。Bits and pieces almost bankrupted me, for God's sake. I don't understand new things, so I can't figure out how I can recognize words as soon as I put on leather shoes. You know your family finances better than I do. If you don't have money, you don't have to think about studying. 我可无意说你花我的钱,我不心疼钱。好姑娘,给姑父再倒碗茶。赵姑父的茶喝足,把烟袋插在腰里。向着屋里说。我说,我要回铺子。There is nothing better than finding something to do. Girl, don't worry too much, I don't mean to say you spent my money, I don't care about money. Good girl. Pour me another bowl of tea for my uncle. Uncle Zhao drank enough tea and put his pipe in his waist. He said toward the room, Dash. I said, I want to go back to the shop. Yingerman的事,有和我说的地方,叫他们到铺子找我去。我说,屋内照顾母打了枪,然后拿着为擦完的碟子走出来。今天的菜好不好。好。就是有些酸。好你个,发酸。可省酱油。If the children have anything to say to me, ask them to come to the shop to find me. I said, Aunt Zhao in the room answered, and then walked out with the unfinished plate. Is today's food good? Duck, good. It's just a little sour. Are you sour? Save soy sauce. 酱油比醋贵得多。老夫妇哈哈地笑起来。赵姑父又向李静说。谢谢姑娘,做饭倒茶的。等着姑父来给你说个老婆婆。不许瞎说,姑父。
李静轻轻打了他姑父一下。好姑娘，打我。Soy sauce is much more expensive than vinegar. The old couple burst into laughter, and Uncle Zhao said to Li Jing again, "Thank you, girl, for cooking and serving tea. Wait for your uncle to come and talk to you about being an old lady. Don't talk nonsense, uncle." Li Jing lightly hit her uncle. Dash, good girl, hit me. 等我告诉你婆婆。赵姑父笑着往外走，姑母跟着问东问西。李英们还坐在院里，约莫赵姑父已走出去四五分钟，依然听得见他的洪亮而后魂的笑声。第十四。Wait until I tell your mother-in-law. Uncle Zhao walked out with a smile, and his aunt followed him, asking questions. Li Ying and others were still sitting in the courtyard. It had been about four or five minutes since Uncle Zhao walked out, and he could still hear his loud and thick smile. Sound. Fourteenth. 中秋节的第二天，老张睡到午时才醒，因为昨天收结里结铺子的账所欠户的债，直到四更天才解衣紧腰带浑衣而卧的睡下。杨前世的明月。映出天上的金楼玉宇。On the second day of the mid-autumn festival, Lao Zhang didn't wake up until noon. Because yesterday I collected the festival gifts, settled the shop's accounts, and collected the debts owed to the customers, it was not until the fourth watch that I tightened my belt and went to bed fully clothed. The bright moon, like foreign money, reflects the golden buildings and jade buildings in the sky. 铜窟银山，在老张的梦里另有一个神仙世界。俗人们举杯邀月，对酒高歌。与老张的梦境比起来，俗人们享受的是物质，老张享受的是精神，真是有天壤之畔了。Copper Cave and Silver Mountain, there is another fairy world in Lao Zhang's dream. The common people raise their glasses to the moon and sing to the wine. Compared with Lao Zhang's dream, what the common people enjoy is material, while what Lao Zhang enjoys is spiritual. What a world of difference! Yin 肚子的严重警告，老张不能再睡了。虽然试着闭上眼几次，他爬起来揉了揉眼睛，设法想安置老杜的叛乱。为什么到节令吃好的？他想，没理由。为什么必要吃东西 ？Due to the serious warning from his stomach, Lao Zhang could no longer sleep, although he tried to close his eyes several times. He got up and rubbed his eyes, trying to calm down Lao Du's rebellion. Why eat well during the season? He thought. No reason. Why is it necessary to eat? 为什么不像牛马般吃些草，喝点水？没理由。幸亏老张没十分想，不然创出退化论来，人们岂不退成吃草的牛马？有了，找孙八去，一夸他的菜好，他就得叫咱尝一些。Why not eat some grass and drink some water like cows and horses? No reason. Fortunately. Lao Zhang didn't think too much. Otherwise, if he created the theory of degeneration, people would have degenerated into cattle and horses eating grass. Dot. Yes. Go find Sun Ba. Once we praised his food, he would ask us to try some. 咱一尝一些，跟着就再尝一些，岂不把老杜敷衍下去？对。老张端了端尖头，含了一口凉水，漱了漱口，走过孙八的宅院来。八爷起来没有？笑话，什么时候了，还不起来？张先生。As soon as we taste some, we will taste some more, and we will get rid of it. Right. Lao Zhang raised his shoulders, 
took a mouthful of cold water and rinsed his mouth, and walked through Sun Ba's house to his master Bob. What a joke! What time is it? Why don't you get up yet, Mr. Zhang? Xin Ku, Jin Lai Zuo. Wo Cai Qi Lai. Shen Ma, Jiu Yu He Duo La. Na Yu Gong Fu He Jiu. Jie Zhang, Suo Zhai Jiu Ba Ren Mang Ge Tou Chao Xia. Mei Fa Zi, Shui Jiao Zan Men Shi Bei Qian Guan Zhe De Wan Wu Zhi Ling Na. Zhang Xin Sheng, Wo Yu Peng Yu Song De Zhen Zheng Lian Hua Bai. Thank you for your hard work. Come in and sit down. I just got up. What? Drank too much wine again? Do you have time to drink? Paying bills and collecting debts will make people busy. There is nothing we can do. Who said we are the spirits of all things controlled by money? Mr. Zhang, I have real lotus white sent by a friend. Zanmen he yi zhong. 不，今天我得请你。”老张大着胆子说，“现成的酒菜不费事。”孙八说完，老张几桌眼一笑，心里说：“想不到老孙的饭这么容易希望。”酒饭摆好 ，Let's have a drink. Dot. No. I have to treat you today. Lao Zhang said boldly. Dash ready-made food and wine, no trouble. After Sun Ba finished speaking, Lao Zhang winked and smiled, and said in his heart, "I never thought it would be so easy for Lao Sun to get food." The food and wine are set. Lao Zhang 显着十分亲热的样子，照沙漠中的骆驼注水一般，打算吃下一个礼拜的。孙八是看客人越多吃，自己越喜欢。不信客人吃的肚子像秋瓜裂缝，一命呜呼。Lao Zhang looked very affectionate, just like a camel in the desert storing water, and planned to eat it for a week. Sun Ba sees that the more customers eat, the more he likes it. The unfortunate guest's stomach cracked like an autumn melon, and he died. 孙八能格外高兴地去给客人买棺材。八爷，我们的会期是大后天。老张一面吃一面说，又忙着从桌上往嘴里捡喷出来的肉渣。大概是，你想谁应当做会长 ？Sun Ba was particularly happy to buy coffins for his guests. Eighth Master. Is our meeting scheduled for the day after tomorrow? Lao Zhang said as he ate and was busy picking up the meat residue that spewed out from the table into his mouth. Probably. Who do you think should be the president? 那不是全凭大家选举吗？孙八爷两三月来受自治界的陶染，颇有时把新词句用的很恰当。谁说的？自治会是我们办的，会员是我们约的，我们叫谁做会长，谁才能做。说着 ，Doesn't it all depend on everyone's election? Sun Bay has been influenced by the autonomous community in the past two or three months, and sometimes he uses new words and phrases very appropriately. Who said that? The self-governing association is run by us. The members are appointed by us, and whoever we ask to be the president can be the president," said. Lao Zhang 又夹起一块肥肉片放在嘴里，可就是，就是，你说谁应当做会长？等一等，八爷还有酒没有？我还欠一盅。喝完酒，请大嫂热热的，酸酸的，辣辣的。给咱做三碗烫饭。Lao Zhang picked up another piece of fat meat and put it in his mouth. Yes. Yes. Who do you think should be the president? Wait a minute. Does Mr. Ba still have wine? I still owe you a cup. After drinking the wine, please ask my sister-in-law to make us three bowls of hot rice, which are hot, 
sour and spicy. 咱们一起吃完再谈会务，好不好？好。孙八去到厨房，嘱咐做烫饭。老张吃完三碗烫饭，又补了三个馒头、几块中秋月饼，才摸了摸肚子，说了一句不能不说的：“我饱了。” Let's finish eating in one sitting and then talk about the meeting, okay? Duck, good. Sun Ba went to the kitchen and asked him to make hot rice. After finishing three bowls of hot rice, Lao Zhang added three steamed buns and a few mid-autumn moon cakes. Then he touched his belly and said something he couldn't help but say, "I'm full." Then he tried to pull his stomach down. 肚子捧起，身子也随着立起来，在屋内慢慢的走。舌根有些压不住食管，胃里的东西一阵阵的往上顶。八爷，有人单没有？给我几粒。新添的习气。Then try to hold your belly up, hold your belly up, stand up, and walk slowly in the house. The base of my tongue couldn't hold down my esophagus. And the contents of my stomach were pushing up. Bay, do you have any benevolence pills? Give me a few. New habits. 饭后总得吃人单。老张闭着嘴笑了一笑，以防食管的泛滥。孙八给了老张几粒人单，老张吃下去，又试着往椅子上坐。小四。小四，孙八喊：“来了，叫我干什么 ？”You must take Rendan after meals. Lao Zhang smiled with his mouth closed to prevent the esophagus from flooding. Sun Ba gave Lao Zhang a few benevolent pills. Lao Zhang ate them and tried to sit on the chair again. Xiao Si, little four. Sun Ba shouted, "Dash, coming! What are you calling me for?" 正跟小三玩的好好的，去告诉你妈快沏茶。小四看了老张一眼，偷偷在他爹的耳根说：“老师不喝茶，他怕伤胃。”孙八笑了一笑。小四回头看老张，恐怕老张看出他的秘密。I'm having a great time with my mistress. Go tell your mother to make tea quickly. Xiao Si glanced at Lao Zhang and secretly whispered into his father's ear, "The teacher doesn't drink tea because he's afraid of hurting his stomach." Sun Ba smiled. Xiao Si looked back at Lao Zhang, fearing that Lao Zhang could see his secret. 赶紧对老张说，老师。我没告诉我爹你不喝茶，好孩子，说漏了。我不喝坏茶，你爹的茶叶多么香，我怎能不喝？快去，好孩子。孙八满意了，小四扭扭捏捏的一条腿蹦到厨房去。He quickly said to Lao Zhang, "Teacher, I didn't tell my dad that you don't drink tea. Good boy, you let it slip." I won't drink bad tea. Your father's tea is so fragrant. How can I not drink it? Go quickly, good boy. Sun Ba was satisfied, and Xiao Si jumped to the kitchen with one leg. Ba Ye, 据我的意见是举令书，咱们的老人家做会长。家叔实在没有心干这个事。况且会里的人们不喜欢老年人。八爷，你听着，我有理由。现在会中的重要人物是谁 ？Eighth Master. According to my opinion, Uncle Ling, our old man, should be appointed as the president. My uncle really has no intention of doing this. Besides, people in the club don't like old people. Master Ba, listen, I have a reason. Who is the important person in the meeting now? 自然是南飞生、龙树谷和你我，咱们几个的声誉、财力全差不多
，要是我们几个争起来，非把会闹散不可。闹散了会并不要紧，要紧的是，假若政府马上施行自治，我们无会可施。Naturally, it is Nan Fei Sheng, Nagarjuna, and you and me. We have similar reputations and abilities. If we get into a fight, the meeting will break up. It doesn't matter if the meeting is broken up. What matters is that if the government immediately implements self-government, we will have nothing to rely on. 岂不是大姑娘临上叫串耳朵眼，来不及吗？所以现在一来要避免我们几个人的竞争，二来要在不竞争之中还把会长落在我们手里。这就是我主张举令书，咱们的老人家。Isn't it too late for a young lady to get on the sedan and have her ears and eyes pierced? So now, firstly, we need to avoid competition among the few of us, and secondly, we need to keep the president in our hands without competing. This is what I advocate for Uncle Ling, our old man. The reason, the reason is there. Sun Ba asked, "My Uncle Ling." 这还不显而易见。你看，你是本地绅士，令叔是老绅士，身份、财产、名望，从那里看，这个会长也得落在孙家。要是被别人抬了去 ，reason. What's the reason? Sun Ba asked. My Ba Yi. It's not obvious yet. You see, you are a local gentleman, and your uncle is an old gentleman. In terms of status, property, and reputation, it seems that this president must also fall into the Sun family. If someone else carries him away, 不但是你孙家的羞耻，也是咱们德胜逊的没面目。可是，你这个绅士到底压不过咱们老人家的老绅士去。你运动会长，南非生们可以反对。我们要抬出去咱们老人家。Not only is it a shame for your son family, but it is also a shame for our Dushing Sun family. However, you, a gentleman, cannot defeat our old gentleman, president of your sports club. The non-face students can object. We have to carry it out for our elderly people. 保管他们无话可说，老人家自然不愿办事。那么正好叫老人家顶着名，你我暗中操持一切。你听明白了，我可不是有意耍咱们老人家。一句话说到底 ，Keep them speechless. The old man naturally doesn't want to do things, so it's just right to let the old man bear the name, and you and I will handle everything secretly. You understand. I don't mean to play tricks on us old people. One sentence to the end. We can't tell outsiders to get the president out. Yes, that's it. The more you say, the more you're right. Sun Ba rose up to the window and shouted, "Mother of Three, get out the tea and tea. You and I are not going to have any trouble with the old man." The old man said, "Where is the old man?" The old man said, 龙树谷呢 ？We cannot ask outsiders to take away the president. But yes, that is. The more you say it, the more correct it becomes. Sun Bali stood up and shouted out the window, "Xiao Sun's mother, change the tea leaves and make tea." Li Shandong and you are naturally not willing to support the elderly. Lao Zhang continued. Nagar Shigu. I 去跟他说，他不敢不服从咱们。剩下一个南非生，叫他鼓掌难鸣干瞪眼。至于职员呢，把调查鼓鼓掌给老龙，文读给南非生。会计是我的，因为你怎好叔父做会长，侄子做会计。I went to tell him that he did not dare to disobey us. There was only one Nan Feishing left. So he couldn't sing with his palms alone and stared blankly. As for the staff, give the chief of the investigation unit to Lao Long, 
and give the documents to Nan Feisheng. The accountant is mine, because you can have your uncle be the president and your nephew be the accountant. You come to the socialize. I'm in charge of the money, and you go and socialize. In the future, whoever has the most connections will take advantage. Dot, that is. Where is Li Shandong? He, his general affairs. The shopkeeper's job as a general servant is called getting what you want. But if we think this way, can members follow suit? Ba Yi. 你太老实了，老实人真不宜于办文明事。会员不是你我约来捧场的吗？你拿钱买点心给他们吃，他们能不听你的命令吗？好，就这么办。张先生，你多辛苦，去告诉他们。自然。You are so honest. Honest people are really not suitable for doing civilized things. Aren't the members invited by you and me to support you? If you use money to buy snacks for them, can they disobey your orders? Dut, good. Just do it. Mr. Zhang, tell them how hard you have worked. Dut, nature. Pay些车钱不算什么。老张拍着肚皮,一来为震动肠胃,二来表示着慷慨热心。车钱我的事,为我叔父做会长,叫你赔钱,天下没有这种道理。小事,我绝不在乎。Losing some car money is nothing. Lao Zhang patted his belly, firstly, to shock his stomach, and secondly, to show his generosity and enthusiasm. It's my business to pay for the car. I am the president of my uncle and I ask you to pay for it. There is no such thing in the world. Little things. I don't care. 老张说着,捧起肚子就往起站。你等等,天还早,我去给你拿车钱。不。老张摇着头摆着手往外就走。孙八一手拦着老张,一手从衣袋里掏出两块钱。Lao Zhang said, holding his belly and standing up. Wait a minute, it's still early, I'll get you the car payment. No. Lao Zhang shook his head and walked out with his hands. Sun Ba stopped Lao Zhang with one hand and took out two dollars from his pocket with the other hand. Lao Zhang won't accept the money. 只听着孙巴把钱往自己衣袋里放。哐啷一声,两块钱却忽闪在自己衣袋的深处,不住地说,那有这么办的。然后又捧着肚子坐下。两个人又谈了些关于自智慧的事情。Just listen to Sun Ba put the money into his pocket. With a bang, the two dollars seemed to sink deep into his pocket, and he kept saying, well, there's such a thing. Then he sat down again with his belly in his hands. The two talked about some things about the Autonomous Association. Sunba打算,如果叔父做了会长,他就在城里买一所房,以便广为交际。老张是自治成功,把学堂交给别人办,自己靠着利息钱生活,一心的往政界走。Sun Ba planned to buy a house in the city if his uncle became president of the association so that he could socialize widely. Lao Zhang succeeded in self-governance. He left his school to others, lived on the interest money, and devoted himself to politics. 
The two of them were beaming with joy. 互相夸赞。说真的，八爷做什么营业也没有做官庙，做买卖只能得一点臭钱，钱少而由劳力得来的，谓之臭钱。看老张著《经济原理》第二十三章，做官就名利兼收了。比如说 ，compliment each other。Seriously, Mr. Ba, there is no way to be an official in any business. You can only get a little bad money from business. Money that is small and obtained by hard work is called bad money. See Chapter One of Lao Zhang's Economic Principles, Chapter Twenty Three. Become an official and gain both fame and fortune. 商人有钱要娶小老婆。就许有人看不起他，但是人一做官，不娶小老婆就没人看得起。同事有钱，身份可就差多了。就是，就是，说话找话，八爷，你到底要立切不要 ？If a businessman has money and wants to marry a mistress, some may look down upon him. But once a man becomes an official and does not marry a concubine, no one will think highly of him. They both have money, but their status is much different. Dot. That is. That is. Look for something to say, Master Ba. Do you want to have a concubine or not? 老张的主要目的才由河套绕过来，到了渤海口。我没心力气，真的。孙八很诚恳地说：“八爷，八爷，你得想想你的身份啊！现在你是绅士，自知一成功，你就是大人。” Lao Zhang's main goal was to bypass the Hatao and reach the mouth of the Bohai Sea. I have no intention of having a concubine, really. Sun Ba said sincerely. Ba Yi, Ba Yi, you have to think about your status. You are a gentleman now, and you will be an adult once self-government is achieved. 有几个做大人的不娶妾？我问问你，武官做到营长不娶小，他的上司们能和他往来不能？文官做到知识不娶小，有人提拔他没有？八爷，你可是要往政界走的，不随着群走，行吗 ？How many adults do not take concubines? Let me ask you. If a military attaché becomes a battalion commander and does not marry a child, can his superiors have contact with him? If a civil servant becomes a governor and does not marry a child, will anyone promote him? Eighth master. You want to go into politics, so don't follow the crowd, okay? 老张激昂慷慨，差一些没咬破中指写血书。你八嫂子为我生儿养女的，我要再娶一个，不是对不起她吗？娶妾不是反对八嫂。老张把椅子搬进孙八，两只猪眼挤成一道缝。Lao Zhang was so passionate and generous that he almost bit his middle finger and wrote a bloody letter. Your eighth sister-in-law gave birth to a son and a daughter for me. If I want to marry another one, wouldn't I be sorry for her? Having a concubine is not against the eighth sister-in-law. Lao Zhang moved the chair closer to Sun Ba, and the two pig eyes squeezed into a slit. 低声而急切地说：“你要入政界，假如政界的阔人到府上看看，凭八嫂子的模样打扮，拿得出手去吗？你真要把八嫂陈列出去，不把人家门牙笑掉才怪。事实如此。” He said in a low voice and eagerly, "You want to enter politics? If a wealthy person from the political circle comes to the house to see how the eighth sister-in-law looks like, will you be able to use it? Do you really want to show the eighth sister-in-law and not show her front teeth? 
It's funny to laugh. That's true. 我和八嫂一点恶感没有，你听清楚了。况且现在正是妇女贱的时候，你是要守旧的、违心的、大脚的、缠足的，随意挑选，身价全不贵。我们四十多的人了，不想这么一点福。My eighth sister-in-law and I have no bad feelings at all. You heard me clearly. Besides, now is the time when women are cheap. You should choose the old-fashioned, reformed. Big-footed or bound-footed ones, they are not expensive at all. We who are in our forties do not enjoy such a little blessing. 等七老八十老掉了牙再说。而且娶妾是往正界走的第一要事，乐得不来个一举两得。论财产呢，你是财神，我是土地，我还要尝尝小老婆的风味。况且你偌大的大绅士。Wait until the seventh and eighth graders lose their teeth. Moreover, marrying a concubine is the first priority for entering politics, so it would be great to kill two birds with one stone. As for property, you are the god of wealth and I am the land. I also want to taste the flavor of a little wife. Besides, you are such a big gentleman. 将来的大人，八爷，你细细想想，我说的有什么不受听？你自管把拳头往老张嘴上抡。岂敢，岂敢！你说的都有理，本来是有理的。我为什么不劝你嫖？其实嫖也是人干的事。Future adults, eighth master. If you think about it carefully. If you don't listen to what I say, just put your fist on Lao Zheng's mouth. How dare you? How dare? What you said makes sense. It makes sense. Why don't I advise you to go whore? In fact, prostitution is also something people do. Because there's a danger. Buy a girl, she's smooth, she's clean. 又被人看得重，是只有好处，没有害处。八爷，你想想，你有意呢？我老张不图分文，保管给你找个可心的人。孙八没有回答。Because there is danger. Buying a girl for yourself, who is comfortable, clean, and valued by others, has only advantages and no harm. Master Ba, think about it. If you are interested, I, Lao Zhang, will not waste any money, and I will find you someone you like. Sun Ba did not answer. Dot. You yourself calculate. I must go to the bank. Lao Zhang rose up, thanked Sun Ba's food, and went out. Sun Ba opened the door. Sun Ba, 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 明天放学不放，老师。You figure it out for yourself. I have to go to town. Lao Zhang stood up, thanked Sun Ba for the meal, and walked out. Sun Ba saw him out of the door. Dash. Xiao San and Xiao Si were playing under the tree outside the door. When they saw Lao Zhang coming out, Xiao Si asked. School is over tomorrow. Don't let go, teacher. 一连放了三天还不够，老张笑着说：“真像慈爱和祥的老师一样。好你个老师，吃我们的饭，不放我们的学。等我告诉我妈，以后永远不给你做饭。你爹给我吃，我爹。Three days in a row wasn't enough.” Lao Zhang said with a smile, "He is really like a kind and kind teacher. What a good teacher! Eat our food and don't let us go to school. Wait until I tell my mother that I will never cook for you again. Your father gave it to me. My father." 
，叫我妈打他的屁股。胡说，小四。孙八轻轻打了小四一掌，你妈才霸道。老张看了孙八一眼，不霸道，像张师母一样，感情好。小四是永远不怕老张的。小四，快来。看这个大蜘蛛。Tell my mom to spank him. Duck nonsense. Little four. Sun Ba lightly slapped Xiao Si Dot. Your mother is domineering. Lao Zhang glanced at Sun Ba. Dash, not overbearing, like Mrs. Zhang. Good luck. Xiao Si is never afraid of Lao Zhang. Dot, Xiao Si. Come on, look at this big spider. 有多少条腿？哟，是吗？小三，小四跑到墙根去。老张乘着机会逃之夭夭了。第十五，老张本想给龙树谷写封信，告诉他关于选举的计划。继而一想，选举而外。How many legs are there? Yo, really, mistress? Xiao Si ran to the root of the wall. Lao Zhang took the opportunity to escape. Fifteenth. Lao Zhang wanted to write a letter to Nagashugu and tell him about the election plan. Then just think about it, except for the election. 还有和龙树谷面谈的事。而且走着进城不坐车，至少可以比写信省三分邮票。于是他决定做个短途的旅行。龙树谷住在旧鼓楼大街，老张的路线是进德胜门较近。There is also the matter of interviewing Nagarjuna. And if you walk into town instead of taking a car, you can save at least three cents on stamps compared to writing a letter. So he decided to take a short trip. Nagarjuna lived in Old Gola Street, and Lao Zhang's route was to get closer to Di Shengmen. 可是他早饭吃的过多，路上口渴，无处去寻茶喝，不如循着城根往东进安定门。口渴之际，有的是护城河的河水，捧起两把，岂不方便？于是决定取这条路。But he had eaten too much for breakfast, and he was thirsty on the way and had nowhere to go to find tea. It would be better to follow the city routes eastward and enter Andingmen. When I was thirsty, there was plenty of water from the moat. It would be inconvenient to pick up two handfuls, so I decided to take this route. Ancient and strong city walls. 杂生着本短之粗的小树，有的挂着半红的狐檐藻，迎风摆动，引得野鸟飞上飞下的啄食。城墙下宽宽的土路，印着半尺多深的车迹。靠墙根的地方，依旧开着黄金野菊。There are small trees with short and thick branches. Some are hung with half-red tiger-eye dates, swinging in the wind. Attracting wild birds to fly up and down to peck at them. The wide dirt road under the city wall is marked with car marks more than half a foot deep. Against the wall, golden chrysanthemums are still blooming. 更显出幽寂而深厚。清浅的护城河水浮着几只白鸭，把脚洗的鲜黄在水面上照出一圈一圈的金光。老张渴了，喝水，热了，坐在柳树底下休息一会。眼前的秋景。It is even more quiet and profound. A few white ducks floated in the clear and shallow water of the moat, washing their feet until they were bright yellow, creating circles of golden light on the water. Lao Zhang drank water when he was thirsty and sat under the willow tree to rest for a while. Autumn scenery before my eyes. 好像映在一个不对光的象匣里，是不会发生什么印象的。他止不住的往水里看
，小鱼一上一下的把水拨成小圆圈。他总以为有人从城墙上往河里扔铜元。It seems that if it is reflected in an image box with no light, no impression will be produced. He couldn't help but look into the water. The little fish moved the water up and down into small circles. He always thought that someone was throwing copper coins from the city wall into the river. 打的河水一圈一圈的，以老张的聪明，自然不久的明白那是小鱼们游戏。虽然仍屡屡回头望也。老张随喝随走，进了安定门，又循着城根往旧鼓楼大街走。The water in the river was beaten in circles. With Lao Zhang's cleverness, he soon understood that it was a game played by little fishes. Although he still looked back many times, Lao Zhang followed the drink and entered the Anding Gate. Then followed the city route and walked towards Old Drum Tower Street. Long Shu Gu's house is on Old Drum Tower Street. A little red gate is attached to it. Red gate with gold letters. 左边是上帝言好事，右边是耶稣保平安。左边门框上一面小牌写着“就是君龙”。龙树谷恰巧在家。n a g a r j u n a s house faces east and west. It has a small red painted door with a black center and gold letters. On the left is "God says good things," and on the right is "Jesus keeps you safe." A small sign on the left door frame reads, "The Salvation Army Dragon." Nagarjuna happened to be at home. 把老张让到上屋去。老张把选举的事一一说明。龙树谷没说什么，作为默认。谈罢选举，老张提起龙树谷的欠债。龙军官只是敷衍，满口说快还，可是没有一定日期。Let Lao Zhang go to the upper room. Lao Zhang explained everything about the election, but Nagarjuna didn't say anything as acquiescence. After talking about the election, Lao Zhang mentioned Long Shugu's debt, but Officer Long just responded perfunctorily, saying that he would pay it back soon, but there was no set date. Lao Zhang 虽着急。可是龙树谷不卑不亢的指引，使老张无可发作。院中忽然一阵清脆的皮鞋响，龙凤，龙军官的女儿，随着几个女友进来，看老张在上屋里。Although Lao Zhang was anxious, Nagarjuna's support, which was neither humble nor overbearing, prevented Lao Zhang from getting angry. Suddenly there was a soft sound of broken leather shoes in the courtyard. Long Feng, Officer Long's daughter, followed several girlfriends in and saw Lao Zhang in the upper room. They all went to the upper room to laugh. The girl was still studying. Lao Zhang only took them with his eyes, the little red eyes, to the upper room. Then he asked, "Now you are graduating. Do you need to do some work in the church?" "Okay. The girl can make money. It's your chance to be a good worker." They all went to the east room to joke. Girls still go to school. Lao Zhang sent them to the east room with his eyes, those little pig eyes, and asked, "Now that I have graduated, you can help me with some work in the church." Okay. Girls can make money too, so you, surnamed Long, are capable. That 全凭上帝的保佑。我要是有这么好的一个女儿，我老张下半世可以衣食无忧。可惜我没有那个福分。老张很凄惨地说：“我不明白你的意思，这不难明白。现在做官的人们 ，That all depends on God's blessing. If I had such a good daughter, Lao Zhang could have enough food and clothing for the rest of my life.” Unfortunately, I don't have that blessing," Lao Zhang said miserably. "I don't understand what you mean."
It's not difficult to understand. People who are now officials. 那个不想娶女学生、评姑娘这些本事、这个模样和愁不嫁个阔人，你后半世还用愁吃穿吗？我们信教的还不能卖女儿求自己的富贵。龙树古板着面孔，代表着上帝的尊严。You don't want to marry a female student with the girl's abilities and appearance. Why not worry about marrying a rich man? Do you still have to worry about food and clothing for the rest of your life? We religious people cannot sell our daughters to seek our own wealth. Nagarjuna's solemn face represents the dignity of God. Dot. 老龙，不能只往一面想啊！论宗教，我不比你懂得少。你现实的光景比前三四年强得多。为什么？上帝的恩典。为什么你有这么好的女儿？上帝的恩典，上帝给你的。Old Dragon, you can't just think in one direction. When it comes to religion, I know no less than you do. Your current situation is much better than it was three or four years ago. Why? God's grace. Why do you have such a good daughter? God's grace. God gave it to you. You 就有支配的权利。上帝给你钱，你可以随意花去。为什么不可以把上帝给的女儿随意给个人家？你自己享些福，信佛、信耶稣，全是义理。不过求些现实福报。You have the power to dominate. If God gives you money. You can spend it as you like. Why can't you give the daughter God gave you to someone else's family so that you can enjoy some blessings yourself? Belief in Buddhism and Jesus is the same thing, but it is just about seeking some blessings in this world. 我说的宗教的道理，你想是不是？龙树谷没回答。老张静静的看老龙的脸。你的债总还不清。并不是不能还，是不愿意还。老张又刺了老龙一枪。怎么？你看，有这么好的姑娘。Do you think the religious principles I mentioned are true? Nagar Shugu didn't answer, and Lao Zhang looked at Lao Long's face quietly. Your debt can never be repaid. It's not that you can't repay it; it's that you are unwilling to repay it. Lao Zhang stabbed Lao Long again. Dot. What? Look, there is such a good girl. You 给她说个婆家，至少得一千元彩礼，债还还不清。把债还清，再由姑娘的力量给你运动个一官半职的，这不是一条活路。再说，收彩礼是公认的事，并不是把女儿卖了。If you tell her about her husband's family, she will get at least a thousand yuan as a gift, and the debt can be paid off. Isn't this a way to survive by paying off the debt and then using the girl's power to give you a full-time official position? Besides, accepting a bride price is a recognized thing. It does not mean selling your daughter. You 愿意守着饼挨饿，我就没有办法了。龙树谷还没说话，老张立起来，背着手在屋内走来走去，有时走进门窗，向龙姑娘屋里望一望。你也得替我想想。If you are willing to keep the bread and starve, there is nothing I can do. Nagarjuna hasn't spoken yet. Dot. Lao Zhang stood up and walked around the house with his hands behind his back. Sometimes he approached the door and window and looked into Miss Long's room. Dot. You also have to think about it for me. 大块银饼子放秃尾巴鹰，谁受得了？你想想，咱们改日再见。你愿意照着我的主意办，我是分文不取，愿意帮忙。老张说完，推开屋门往外走，又往东屋望了望。
Who can bear to put a bald-tailed eagle on a large piece of silver cake? Think about it, let's see you another day. If you are willing to follow my ideas, I will not charge you any money and I am willing to help. After Lao Zhang finished speaking, he opened the door and walked out, then looked at the East Room dot. 龙树谷只说了一句再见，并没把老张送出去。老张走远了，自己扑哧的一笑，对自己说：“又有八成好。”他高兴一场，于是又跑到东城去看南飞生。Nagarjuna only said goodbye. Lao Zhang was not sent out. Lao Zhang walked away, smiled to himself, and said to himself. 80% again, good. He was extremely happy, so he ran to Dongqing to see Nan Feisheng. 一边暗中看看南非生对于自治会的选举有什么动作, 见了南非生, 南非生对于会务一次没说, 老张也就没问, 可幸的南非生留老张吃晚饭, 老张又吃了个天语素, 鬼夜哭。in order to secretly see what Nan Feisheng's actions are regarding the election of the Autonomous Association. When I met Nan Feisheng, Nan Feisheng didn't say a word about the meeting, and Lao Zhang didn't ask any questions. Fortunately, Nan Feisheng stayed with Lao Zhang for dinner, and Lao Zhang ate another, rain millet from the sky, and ghosts crying at night. 手捧圆度,一步三探的挤出安定门。第十六,老张奔走运动,结果颇好,去到孙八处报公腰上。孙八又给他两块钱。两个人拟定开会通知,还在二郎庙开会。After finishing the meal, he hurriedly said goodbye, holding his round belly in his hands, and squeezed out of anding gate with three sighs. 16th. Lao Zhang ran around and exercised, and the results were quite good. He went to Sun Ba's office to report his merits and reward him. Sun Ba gave him another two dollars. The two of them drafted a meeting notice and held a meeting at Erlang Temple. 他先把会章念了一遍,台下鼓掌赞成,毫不费事的通过。Heroes from inside and outside the city gathered, and Nan Feisheng was the chairman. He read the constitution first, and the audience applauded in approval, and it was passed without any trouble. Attention. One of the articles is, the staff of each department shall be appointed by the president. The constitution was adopted, followed by a free vote. 会员彼此地问, 写谁? 写自己成不成? 吵嚷良久,并无正确的决定, 于是个人随意写. 有的只画了一个十字, 有的写上自己名字,下面还印上了一个斗记。乱了半点多钟。Members asked each other, who should I write about? Can I write about myself? They argued for a long time, but no correct decision was made, so everyone wrote at will. Some only drew a 10, some wrote their names, and printed a mark of struggle underneath. It was chaotic for more than half an hour. 大家累得气喘喘的,才把票写好。坏了。没地方投放,直视先生们忘了预备票轨。有的主张个人念自己的票,由书记写在黑板上,有的主张,不论谁脱下一只袜子来。Everyone was so exhausted that they wrote the tickets. Broken. There was no place to put it, and the deacons forgot to prepare the tickets. Some people advocate that everyone reads their own votes and the secretary writes them on the blackboard, 
Some people advocate that no matter who takes off a sock, 把票塞进去，最后龙树谷建议用他的硬盖手提箱全当票轨。大众同意，把票纸雪片般的投入箱里，纷纷的散去。只有十几个人等着看选举结果。南飞生念票，老张记数目。Stuffing the ticket in. Finally, Nagarjuna suggested using his hardtop suitcase as a ticket carrier. The crowd agreed, threw their votes into the box like snowflakes, and dispersed. Only a dozen people were waiting to see the election results. Nan Feisheng read the tickets, and Lao Zhang remembered the numbers. Sun Ba, Long Shu Gu, 左右监视，票纸念完，南孙。张全倒吸一口凉气，瞪了眼。原来龙树谷当选为会长。老张把心血全涌上脸来，孙八把血都降下去。一个四罪关公，一个四病老鼠。Sun Ba and Nagarjuna were watching from the left and right. After reading the ticket, Nan, Sun, and Zhang Quan took a breath and stared. It turned out that Long Shugu was elected as the president. Lao Zhang poured all his blood into his face, and Sun Ba poured all his blood down. One looks like a drunk Guan Gong, and the other looks like a sick mouse. 彼此看着说不出话。南飞生不露神色，只是两手微颤。龙树谷坦然地和别的会员说闲话，像没看见选举结果似的。这个选举不能有效。老张向大众说：“票数比到会的人数多。” They looked at each other speechless. Nan Feisheng didn't show his expression, but his hands were trembling slightly. Nagarjuna chatted calmly with other members, as if he hadn't seen the election results. This election cannot be valid," Lao Zhang said to the crowd. "The number of votes is more than the number of people present." 而且用的是老龙的箱子，鲜有弊病。就是，就是，孙巴壤，怎见得票数不符？台下一个人说：“入场既无签到簿，就无从证明到会的人数。” Moreover, the box used was Lao Long's, which obviously had some drawbacks. Dot, that is, that is. Sun Ba yelled, "How come the votes don't match up?" A person in the audience said, "Since there is no sign-in book at the entrance, there is no way to prove the number of people attending the meeting." Now the membership is almost gone. 当然，票数比现在的人数多。至于票轨有无弊病，以龙军的人格说，似乎不应当这样血口喷人。况且事前有事检查，事后捏造事实，这是有心捣乱，破坏自治。Of course, there are more votes than there are now. As for whether Piao Guo has any shortcomings. Considering Long Jun's personality, it seems that he shouldn't be so slanderous. Moreover, there was a lack of inspection beforehand and fabrication of facts afterwards. This is a deliberate attempt to cause trouble and undermine autonomy. 一个闷雷把老张打得闭口无言。上了当，怎办？孙八把老张扯在一旁问。联络南飞生一起反对老龙，老张递给南飞生一个眼色，南飞生走下台来，怎么办？南先生，南大人。A dull thunder beat Lao Zhang into silence. I've been fooled. What should I do? Sun Ba pulled Lao Zhang aside and asked. Contact Nan Feisheng and join us to oppose Lao Long. Lao Zhang gave Nan Feisheng a wink, and Nan Feisheng walked off the stage. What should we do, Mr. Nan? Mr. Nan. 
。老张问：“事前为什么不和我连成一气？”事已至此，我也没有法。南飞生把头摇得像风彻似的：“你得辛苦辛苦。”孙八说：“我只有一条法子，听你的，南先生。”孙八真急了。Lao Zhang asked, "Why didn't you unite with me beforehand? Now that the matter has come to this, I can't help it." Nan Feisheng shook his head like a windmill. "You have to work hard," Sun Ba said. "I have only one way. I listen to you, Mister Nan." Sun Ba was really anxious. 我们现在强迫他指定职员，南飞生依然很镇静地说：“他要是把重要职员都给我们呢，我们联络住了，试试和他为难，不下一两个月，准把他挤跑。他要是不把重要职员给我们。”We are now forcing him to designate staff, Nan Feisheng said still calmly. If he gives us all the important staff, we have contacted him and will embarrass him in everything. Within a month or two, he will be squeezed out. If he doesn't give us important staff, we immediately telephoned the country and asked the government to remove him. Yes, yes. Nan Feisheng, you go and tell him. Sun Ba is a good person. A good person is more than he thinks. Nan f e i 请会长登台就职。We immediately electrified the whole country and vowed to oppose it to the death. Dot, that is, that is, Mr. Nan, go and talk to him. Suan Ba is really a good man. The more anxious a good man is, the less likely he is to have any ideas. Before Nan Feisheng could reach Nagarjuna. He only heard one of the members say, "Please come on stage and take office." Long Shu Gu slowly rose up to the stage. Nan Feisheng grabbed him and said, "The clerk is yours." Long Shu Gu turned to Nan Feisheng and said, "Nan Feisheng nodded and let the way of the chairman open." The chairman took the stage and said a few words of farewell. Nagarjuna slowly stood up and walked towards the stage, but Nan Feisheng stopped him. The accountant is yours. Nagarjuna whispered to Nan Feisheng. Nan Feisheng nodded and moved out of the way of the president. The president came on stage and said a few humble words. Then, designate the staff. Nan Feisheng, please come. 老张打了一个冷战，孙定先生交际，辛苦。孙八向自己说，张明德先生恕误。老张又打了一个半冷半热的冷战，李福才先生调查。Then appoint staff, Mr. Nan Feisheng, accountant. Lao Zhang had a cold war. Mr. Sun Ding, communication. Hard work," Sun Ba said to himself. "Mr. Zhang Mingda, General Affairs Officer. Lao Zhang had another half cold and half hot cold war. Mr. Li Futsai, investigate, comma." 台下一鼓掌，龙树谷又说了几句关于将来会务的设施，然后宣布散会。龙会长下来，和孙八等一一的握手，个个手心冷凉，然后同南飞生一同进城。孙八气得要哭。The audience applauded. Nagar Shugu said a few more words about the facilities for future conference affairs, and then announced the adjournment of the conference. President Long came down and shook hands with Sun Ba and others one by one. All of them had cold palms. Then he went into the city with Nan Feisheng. Sun Ba was so angry that he wanted to cry. Li Shandong 肚子饿极了，告辞回铺子去吃饭。好
，一世打雁，今天叫雁啄的也。老张要不叫你姓龙的，尝尝咱世传独门的要命丸什么滋味？咱把家谱改了，不姓张。就是。Li Shandong was very hungry, so he said goodbye and went back to the shop to eat. Okay. I've been hunting geese all my life. And today they pecked their eyes. Why don't Lao Zhang let you, surnamed Long, taste our unique fatal pills, and we'll change the family tree to not have the surname Zhang? That is. Zhang 先生，你得多辛苦，爸爷，你真要争这口气？我要，我要，我要，好。找个小馆，先吃点东西。老张有办法。老张显出十分英雄的气概，用腿顶屁股，用屁股顶脊骨，用脊骨顶脖子。Mr. Zhang, how hard you have worked! Ba Yi, do you really want to argue with this? Dot, I want, I want, I want. Dot, good. Find a small restaurant to have something to eat first. Lao Zhang has an idea. Lao Zhang showed a very heroic spirit, pushing his legs against his buttocks, his buttocks against his spine, and his spine against his neck. 用脖子顶着头，节节直竖的把自己挺起来。听说在进化论上讲，人们由四足兽变为两足动物。就是这么挺起来的。两个人在德胜门关里找了一个小饭馆。He put his head on his neck and straightened himself up. I heard that in the theory of evolution, people changed from four-legged animals to two-legged animals, and this is how they stood up. The two of them found a small restaurant in Dishengmen Pass. 老张怒气填胸，把胃的容量扩大。越吃越勇，直到目字尽裂，怒发冲冠。八爷，你真要争气，千真万真。好，你不反对我的计划，你说我是百依百随。第一，你要娶妾不娶？我，八爷。Lao Zhang filled his chest with anger, expanded the capacity of his stomach. And ate more and more courageously until his canthus of the eye was all split, and he was furious. Master Ba, do you really want to live up to your expectations? It's absolutely true. Okay, you don't object to my plan. Say, I am Baya Bejui. First of all, do you want to take a concubine or not? I, Ba Yi. You 开复犯账，改日再见。老张站起就走。这叫什么话？你坐下。你看，头一见你就给我个闷葫芦。就是说一天，还不是吊死鬼说媒，白饶一番蛇吗？你坐下，去，去。本来应当如此。You pay the meal bill. See you another day. Lao Zhang stood up and left. What are you talking about? Sit down. Look, the first thing you do is give me a boring gourd. That is to say, for one day, isn't it just a hang-up matchmaking and a lot of talk in vain? Sit down and marry. Marry. That's how it should be. 老张又坐下，你听着，龙树谷有个女儿，真叫柳树上开红花，变了种的好看。她呢，现在债眼比炮眼还大，专靠着她得些彩礼补亏空。我去给你把它买过来，你听清楚了。Lao Zhang sat down again. Listen, Nagarjuna has a daughter who really makes the willow tree bloom with red flowers and becomes more beautiful. As for him, his debt is bigger than the cannon hole now, 
and he relies on her to get some betrothal gifts to make up for the shortfall. I will go and give him some gifts. You bought her over and you heard her clearly. Pakabuchianwatajai,买他女儿做妾,这还不回他个到底。我,要做就做,不做呢,加起尾巴去给龙军官,龙会长磕头,谁也不能说八也不和善。老张你太把我看小了。做,做,你多辛苦。he is not in my debt. Buying his daughter as a concubine will not ruin him to the end. I. If you want to do something, just do it. If you don't want to do it, put your tail between your legs and count out to Officer Long and President Long. No one can say that Mr. Ba is unkind. Old Zhang, you underestimate me too much. Do. Do how hard you work. 不用急，老张先下热药，后下凉剂，使病人多得些病痛的印象。这里绝没危险，他的债非还不可。我们出钱买他的女儿，叫做正合适。这手过钱，那手写字句，绝不会有差错。No need to rush. Lao Zhang first gave the hot medicine and then the coolant to make the patient feel more sick. There is absolutely no danger here. His debts must be repaid, so it is appropriate for us to pay for his daughter. The money passed by this hand, the handwritten receipt, there will never be any mistakes. Sun Ba just nodded, and did not 你会犯账，你在家里等喜信吧，亲事一成，专等吃你的喜酒。把脸卷起来，乐，乐，孙爸真的乐了。第十七，一个回教徒。Sun Ba just nodded and did not reply. Eighth Master, you know how to take care of the meal. Just wait for the good news at home. The marriage is done, and I'm just waiting for your wedding wine. Roll up your face, happy. Happy. Sun Ba is really happy. Seventeenth. A Muslim. 吃香蕉的时候，并不似吃猪肉那样怀疑。为什么？那未免太滑稽。假如单纯的答道：“不吃猪肉而吃羊肉。”正如人们吃香蕉而不吃鱼油蜡烛。You don't feel as suspicious when eating bananas as you do when eating pork. Why? It would be too funny to simply reply, "Eating mutton instead of pork is like eating bananas instead of fish oil candles." 这个问题只好去问一个脾气温和的回教徒。普通人们只用这个好吃和那个不好吃来回答，是永远不会确切的。同样，龙树谷为什么信耶稣教？我除了说 ，I have no choice but to ask this question to a mild-tempered Muslim. Ordinary people will only answer with "This is delicious" and "That is not delicious," which will never be accurate. Similarly. Why did Nagarjuna believe in Christianity? All I can say is, 信教是人们的自由以外，只好请你去问龙树谷。假如你非搜根探底的问不可，我只好供给你一些关于龙树谷的事迹，或者你可以由这些事迹中寻出一个结论。Belief in religion is people's freedom. I have no choice but to ask you to ask Nagarjuna. Dot. If you have to ask in depth, I have to provide you with some deeds about Nagarjuna, or you can learn from these deeds. Find a conclusion. Long Shu Gu's parents are a couple of dishonest, bloodthirsty, old-fashioned couples. They are unlimited debt in the vault. 不曾见旅人们当他们结婚的时候所给的吉祥话，白头偕老。
Nagarjuna's parents were a couple who only gambled on money but not on fighting spirit. They lay in the coffin with infinite shame, having never lived up to the auspicious words that people gave them when they got married, to grow old together. They Although they gambled away all their money, they still had great hopes because they had a good son. Nagarjuna could say what his parents wanted to say and do what his parents wanted to do since he was a child. Elder Long carries Nagarjuna on his back and people often say, 有儿子要不像树谷那样孝顺，那叫做骆驼下骡子、拐种。龙老者专系二郎神，因为二郎神三只眼，当中那只眼专管监察赌场而降服于虔诚的赌徒。龙老太太专信城隍爷。If you have a son who is not as filial as Shugu, it is like being like a mule before a camel. What a weird thing! Old man long believed exclusively in Erlang God, because Erlang God had three eyes, one of which was responsible for monitoring the casino and blessing devout gamblers. Mrs. Long believed exclusively in the city god. Long Shu Gu Xiao the Shiho, Tsung Suija Mu Qin, Zogo Cheng Huang Chu Qin Shiho the Jiao Qian, Hong Yi Shen Tong. Zong Zhi, Long Shu Gu Ziyo Jiu Shen Shou Zong Jiao the Tao Ran. 他在十八岁的时候,由他父母把东城罗老四架下的大姑娘。When Nagarjuna was a child, he used to be a child prodigy and read in front of the sedan chair with his mother when the city god went on patrol. In short, Nagarjuna has been deeply influenced by religion since his childhood. When he was 18 years old, his parents brought the eldest daughter Luo Laosi from Dongcheng to her. 用彩绣的大轿运来给他做媳妇。那位大姑娘才比他多七八岁，而且爱他真似老姐姐一样。有时候老夫妇不在家，小夫妇也开过几次交手战，可是打架与爱情无伤，打来打去。She was brought to him as his wife in a colorfully embroidered sedan. The eldest girl was only seven or eight years older than him. And she really loved him like an old sister. Sometimes the old couple was not at home, and the young couple also had a few fights, but fighting never hurts love, and they kept fighting. He gave her a little girl, 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 不然有客老亲。龙老夫妇,爱孙女心盛。She actually dedicated herself to him as a white and fat little girl, Long Fong. The day after Long Fong was born, a Taoist priest told her fortune. The Taoist priest said, she must become a nun, otherwise she will harm her relatives. Mr. and Mrs. Long love their granddaughter very much. 不忍照道士所说的执行。果然，龙凤不到三岁，把祖父母全都克死。至今，街坊见着龙凤，还替龙老夫妇抱去伤心。龙树谷自双亲去世，也往社会里去活动。不幸，他的社会。I can't bear to do what the Taoist said. Sure enough. Long Fong killed all his grandparents when he was less than three years old. To this day, when neighbors see Long in Phoenix, they still feel sorry for Mr. Long and his wife. Nagarjuna has been active in society since his parents passed away. Unfortunately for his society. His government, Xu Ma Zhe, was a general, Xu Du Gun was a governor. 只是不给和龙树谷一样的飞贼飞盗的一些地位。更不幸的，他的夫人当龙凤八九岁的时候也一命呜呼。
他的死。His government allowed horse thieves to be generals and gamblers to be chief ministers, but it did not give the same status to those who were neither thieves nor thieves like Nagarjuna. Even more unfortunately, his wife also died, and Long Fong was eight or nine years old. Her death. 据医生说，是水火不济，肝气侵肺，而据邻居说，是龙凤命硬。克伐十足，不然何以医生明知是肝气侵肺，而不会下药攻肝养肺？龙树谷自丧妻之后，仍然找不到事做。According to the doctor, it was caused by a lack of water and fire, and liver qi invaded the lungs. According to neighbors, it was the dragon and the phoenix who defeated the ten tribes. Otherwise. Why would doctors not prescribe medicine to attack the liver and nourish the lungs, even though they knew it was liver qi invading the lungs? After Nagarjuna lost his wife, he still couldn't find a job. 于是投到救世军教会，灵洗做信徒。最初信教的时候，邻居都很不满意他，甚至于见了龙凤，除不理他之外，私下里还叫他洋妞。后来，龙树谷做了军官，亲友又渐渐改变态度。So he joined the Salvation Army Church and was baptized as a believer. When he first became a believer, his neighbors were very dissatisfied with him. When they met Long Fong, they not only ignored her, but also called her "foreign girl" in private. Later, Nagarjuna became an army officer. And his relatives and friends gradually changed their attitudes. 把龙凤的洋妞儿改为女学生。龙凤现在已有二十岁，她的面貌谁也不能说长得丑，可是谁也不说她是个美人，因为她红润的脸永远不擦铅粉和胭脂。Change Long Feng's foreign girl to female student. Long Feng is now twenty years old. No one can say that she is ugly, but no one can say that she is beautiful, because her rosy face never wears powder or rouge. Her golden hair never turns gray. Her soft and soft hair never turns gray. Ask any man who has ever seen a beautiful woman. 加以她的手不用小红袖盖着。Her thick eyebrows are never smeared with black ink, and her long, soft hair is never coated with yellow wax or scented oil. I wonder if there are any beauties in the world who don't use beauty. Plus, her hands don't need to be covered with red sleeves. 她的脚不用长布条裹得像个小冬笋。试问，天下可有大手大脚的美人？野钓无枪的山姑娘，她是没有妈的孩子，咱们可别跟她学。Her feet don't need to be wrapped in long strips of cloth to look like little winter bamboo shoots. I wonder if there are any beauties with big hands and feet in the world. A mountain girl with a wild tone and no accent. She is a motherless child. Let's not imitate her. This is 邻居们指着龙凤而教训他们的女孩子的话。他们妇女却非常的快活。龙树谷纵有天大的烦恼，一见了他的爱女，立刻眉开眼笑的欢喜起来。他呢，用尽方法去安慰她。This is what the neighbors said to their girls by pointing at the dragon and the phoenix. Their father and daughter were very happy. Even though Nagarjuna had great troubles, he immediately beamed with joy when he saw his beloved daughter. As for her, she tried her best to comfort him. 伺候他，龙树谷现在却乎比他夫人在世的时候还觉得舒服一些。我关于龙军官的事情，只能搜罗这一些。假如有人嫌不详细。只好请到鼓楼大街一带去访问。Serving him, Nagarjuna does feel more comfortable now than when his wife was alive. 
I can only collect these things about Officer Long. If anyone thinks it is not detailed, I will have to ask you to visit the Gulu Street area. 那些老太婆们可以给你极丰富的史料，就是那给龙凤算命的道士，有几位夫人，他们都说得上来。第十八，李应真的投入救世军，王德依然找不到事做。Those old ladies can give you a wealth of historical materials, including the Taoist priests who told fortunes for dragons and phoenixes, and they can name several of their wives. Eighteenth, Li Yingzhen joined the Salvation Army. Wang De still couldn't find a job. 除了又跟父亲要了几块钱儿外，还是一团骄傲，不肯屈就一切。李英早间出去，晚上回来，遇上游街开会，回来的有时很晚。王德出入的时间不一定。Apart from asking for a few more dollars from his father. He was still full of pride and refused to give in to anything. Li Ying would go out in the morning and come back in the evening. Sometimes he would come back very late when he was in town for a meeting. The time when Wang De comes in and out is not certain. He 探听得赵姑母出门的消息，就设法晚些出去或早些回来，以便和李静谈几句话。李静劝他好几次，叫他回家帮助父亲操持地母，老老实实的做个农夫。When he heard about Aunt Zhao's going out, he tried to go out later or come back earlier so that he could have a few words with Li Jing. Li Jing persuaded him several times, telling him to go home and help his father manage the land and become an honest farmer. 并不比城里做事不舒服。王德起初还用话直应，后来有一次自己管不住自己的嘴了。他说：“静姐，我有两个志愿，非达到不可。第一，要在城里做些事业；第二，要和你结婚。” It's no more uncomfortable than working in the city. Wang De used words to support him at first, but then one time he couldn't control his mouth anymore. He said. Sister Jing, I have two aspirations that I must achieve: first, to do something in the city; second, to marry you. 有一样不成功，我就死。李静脸上微红，并未回答。王德这几句话在梦里说过千万遍，而不敢对他说。今天说出来了，随着出了一身热汗。If anything fails, I will die. Li Jing's face was slightly red, and she did not answer. Dot. Wang De said these words thousands of times in her dreams, but did not dare to say them to her. Today she said them, and then they came out, hot and sweaty. 好像酒被淤塞的河水找着一个出口。心中的一切和河水的泛意一般，无法停止。静姐，静姐，他上前拉住他的手。我爱你，兄弟，你怎么有些呆气？我不呆，我爱你，我爱你。It seems that the river that has been blocked for a long time has found an outlet, and everything in my heart cannot stop like the overflowing of the river. Sister Jing, Sister Jing, he stepped forward and took her hand. I love you, brother. Why are you so stupid? I won't stay. I love you. I love you. Wang De, 虽然已经心乱了，可是还没忘用“爱”字来代表他心中的话。你放开我的手，姑母这就回来。他不放开他的手，他也就没再拒绝，而由他握着，握得更紧了一些。我不怕姑母。Although Wang De was already upset, he still did not forget to use the word love to represent what was in his heart. Let go of my hand. My aunt will be back soon. He didn't let go of her hand, 
so she didn't refuse and let him hold it, holding it tighter. I'm not afraid of my aunt. I love you. I'm afraid of my aunt. 因为我知道世界上有一个爱我的人。说，静姐。I love you. I'll die if you don't promise me. You go out first and come back when my aunt goes out in the afternoon. I want you to promise me now. You promised me not to see each other for ten years, and I am willing to do so, because I know there is someone in the world who loves me. Explain, Sister Jing. You 真是年轻，兄弟。我下午答复你还不成，姑母就回来。王德知道姑母的慈善与严厉，心中的血都蒸腾起来，化为眼中的泪。李静的眼睛也湿了，两个人用握在一处的手擦泪。You are so young, brother. Can't I reply to you this afternoon? Auntie will be back soon. Wang De knew his aunt's kindness and severity, and the blood in his heart boiled up and turned into tears in his eyes. Li Jing's eyes were also wet. The two of them wiped away the tears with their clasped hands. 不知道底是谁的手擦谁的眼泪。我爱你，姐姐。王德说完，放开他的手，走出去。他出了街门，赵姑母正从东面来。他本来想往东，改为往西去，怕姑母看见他的红眼圈。I don't know whose hand is wiping whose tears. I love you, sister. Wang De said, let go of her hand and walked out. When he went out of the street. Aunt Zhao was coming from the east. He originally wanted to go east, but changed to the west, fearing that his aunt would see the red circles under his eyes. Li Jing 手里像丢了一些东西，呆呆的看着自己，从镜子里，不知不觉的抬起自己的手吻了一吻。他的手上有他的泪珠。赵姑母进来，李静并没听见。静儿。快来接东西。Li Jing seemed to have lost something in her hand and looked at herself blankly in the mirror. Unknowingly, she raised her hand and kissed her. There were his tears on her hand. Aunt Zhao came in, but Li Jing didn't hear her. Jing Er, come and pick up the things. He 懒懒地用手巾擦干了眼睛。出来接姑母买来的东西，不知道是什么东西。姑娘，怎么又哭了？没哭，姑母。她勉强着笑了一笑。我知道你小心里的事，不用瞒我。真的没哭。She lazily wiped her eyes with a towel and went out to pick up the things her aunt bought. She didn't know what they were. Girl. Why are you crying again? You're not crying, Aunt. She forced a smile. I know what's going on in your mind. There's no need to hide it from me. I really didn't cry. 到底怎么了？我有些不舒服，直打喷嚏，好像是哭了似的。是不是？你姑父不听话。昨天非给你烂柿子吃不可。瞧，病了没有？这个老好妇人开始着急了。好孩子，去躺一躺。What happened? I feel a little uncomfortable. He kept sneezing as if he was crying. Dot. Yes or no? Your uncle is disobedient and had to give you rotten persimmons yesterday. Look, are you sick? This old, the good woman began to worry. Good boy, go and lie down. 
把东西先放在这里。想吃什么，姑母给你做。对了，你爱吃嫩嫩的煮鸡子，我去买。我去买，姑母，我不想吃什么，我去躺一躺就好了。不用管我，我去买。Put your stuff here first. What do you want to eat? Auntie will do it for you. By the way. You like tender boiled chicken? I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Aunt, I don't want to eat anything. I just need to lie down, and it will be fine. Don't worry about me. I'll buy it. 孙山东的小铺有大红皮油鸡子，这么大。赵姑母用手比着，好像鸡子有茶壶那么大。说完，把脚横竖着。肥大的袖子抡得像飞不动的老天鹅一样跑出去。李静躺在床上。Sun Shandong shop has big red-skinned fried chicken. Aunt Xiao gestured with her hands, as if the chicken was as big as a teapot. After saying that, she stretched her legs and stretched her fat sleeves like an old swan that could not fly. Li Jing was lying on the bed. 不知想的什么，不知哭的什么，但是想哭，想起自己去世的父母，自己的叔父李英、王德，不愿意哭，怕伤了姑母的心，然而止不住，不愿意想。I don't know what I'm thinking about. I don't know what I'm crying about. But I'm thinking and crying, thinking of my deceased parents, my uncle Li Ying, Wang Da. I didn't want to cry for fear of breaking my aunt's heart, but I couldn't stop. Don't want to think about it. 然而，一寸长的许多人影在脑子里转，忘了王德为谁哭，为王德哭，想的却不仅是他。爱情要是没有苦味，甜蜜从何处领略？爱情要是没有眼泪，笑声从何处飞来？ However, many figures one inch long were spinning in my mind. Forgot Wang Da. Who are you crying for? Crying for Wang Da. But it wasn't just him that I was thinking about. If love has no bitter taste, how can we appreciate the sweetness? If there are no tears in love, where will the laughter come from? Love is sweet, 没有他，世界只是一片枯草，一代黄沙。为爱情而哭，而笑，而混乱，是有味的，真实的。人们要是得不着恋爱的自由，一切的自由全是假的。Love is mysterious, precious, and necessary. Without it, the world is just a piece of withered grass and a strip of yellow sand. Crying, laughing, and being confused for love is interesting and real. If people don't have the freedom to love, all freedom is fake. 人们没有两性的爱，一切的爱是虚空的。现在李静哭了，领略了爱的甜味。她的心像冲寒欲开的花，什么也不顾的要放出她的香、美、艳丽。他像黑云里飞着的孤雁，哀啼着望，唤。People do not have love between the two sexes, and all love is empty. Now Li Jing is crying and appreciates the sweetness of love. Her heart is like a flower about to bloom in the cold weather, willing to release her fragrance, beauty, and beauty regardless of anything. She is like a solitary goose flying in the dark clouds. Looking up and calling with a mournful cry. His partner, he himself does not know what to cry, what to feel, what to wish. Only these things are the only things that can make love a sacred place. Love is made by the conscious sweetness of the sweet and gradual with a female partner. Her partner. She herself didn't know why she was crying, what she was thinking. What she was ashamed of, or what she was hoping for, 
Only these indescribable emotions are the abode of love. Love is the gradual union of these conscious sweetness with those of the opposite sex. 而后美满的，在这种情境之中的，好像一位盲目的诗人，夜间坐在花丛里，领略着说不出的香甜，只有一滴滴的露珠湿透了他的金袖，好似情人们的泪。And then happily, in this situation, he is like a blind poet, sitting among the flowers at night, enjoying the indescribable sweetness. Only a drop of dew wets his sleeves, like the tears of lovers. Zhao Gu Mu to the Buddha, Shifen Zhong Jiu Hui Lala. Tong Men Wai Jiu Ban Ku Ban Xiao Da Han. Jiu Er, Jiu Er. Gu Mu Ke Shi Lao De Yao Bu De La. Li Jing Zuo Qi Lai, Ge Zhe Bo Li Wang Wai Kan. Zhi Jian Gu Mu Zuo Shou Na Zhe Liang Ge Ji Zi. Aunt Xiao came back within less than ten minutes. From outside the door, he shouted half crying, half laughing. Jinger! Jinger! My aunt is very old. Li Jing sat up and looked out through the glass, and saw her aunt holding two chickens in her left hand. Use your right hand to rub the bright yellow egg juice down from the hem of your clothes. It's terrible, I'm such a useless old thing. I broke half of the four chickens. I just walked fast and didn't look at the telephone poles, look. Aunt Zhao said, wiping, crying, laughing, and lifting them at the same time busy. Zhao Gu Mu put the eggs in the egg pot, put the egg in the egg pot, put the egg in the egg pot, put the egg in the egg pot, and 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 put the egg in the egg pot, 嘴里只顾说，心里不计时间。Aunt Xiao put the chicken in a small iron pot and boiled it. She wiped her tears with her hands and blew the hot air from the pot with her mouth to watch how many times the chicken rolled in the pot. He kept saying, "Girls love to eat tender food, love to eat tender food." She just kept talking and didn't remember the time in her heart. 捞出鸡子一看，已经一个煮裂了缝。最激烈的中国家庭革命，就是子女拒绝长辈所给的吃食。吃九个半，假如长辈给你十个，至少你也是洋人转生的。When I took out the chicken, I saw that it had been boiled to pieces. The most intense Chinese family revolution is when children refuse food provided by their elders. Eat nine and a half. If your elders give you ten, at least you will be reincarnated as a foreigner. Li Jing 不愿意惹姑母闹脾气，慢慢把鸡子吃了，然后打起精神要帮着姑母做事。姑母拦着不叫做。姑母，我真好了。李静说：“是不是？一吃鸡子准好。” Li Jing didn't want to make her aunt lose her temper, so she slowly ate the chicken. Then he cheered up and wanted to help his aunt, but her aunt stopped her and didn't scream. Aunt, I'm so fine. Li Jing said. Isn't it? It's good to eat chicken. When I was young, my father-in-law and mother-in-law were alive. 鸡子，一根鸡毛也吃不着。我的肚子啊，永远空着多半截，就是盼着你叔父借我回娘家住几天，吃些东西，一吃就好。公公婆婆也不是对我不好，他们对儿媳妇不能不立规矩。Chicken. 
not a single chicken feather to eat. My stomach is always mostly empty, just waiting for your uncle to take me back to my parents' house to stay for a few days and have something to eat. Just eat it and it's good. It's not that my parents-in-law didn't treat me well, they had to set rules for their daughter-in-law. 幸亏有你叔父，要不是他，我早就饿成两层皮了。说起你叔父，现在受这罪，老天爷要是带着眼镜，绝不至于看不出好坏人。静儿，等你姑父回来，你跟他要一块钱。Fortunately, you have your uncle. If it weren't for him, I would have been starved to death. Speaking of your uncle, if he is suffering from this, God, if he wears glasses, he will never be able to see good and bad people. Jinger. When your uncle comes back, ask him for a dollar. 给你叔父买些东西,给他送了去。我那个兄弟,待我真是一百一,我可忘不了他。姑母侄女一阵乱谈。姑母把说过一百二十五回的话，又说到一百二十六回。李静不用听。Buy 姑母把说过一百二十六回。李静不用听。Buy some things for your uncle and give them to him. That brother of mine treated me so well, I will never forget him. The aunt and niece talked nonsense for a while, and the aunt repeated what she had said one hundred and twenty-five times, and then repeated it one hundred and twenty-six times. Li Jing didn't need to listen. 就可以永远回答的不错。吃过午饭,赵姑母到东城去看亲戚。王德并没往远处去,只围着护国寺庙前后转。有时走进庙里。You can always give a good answer. After lunch, Aunt Zhao went to Dongqing to visit relatives. Wang De did not go far but only walked back and forth around the temple of the protector of the nation. Sometimes I go into the temple. 从破烂的店门往里呆呆地看着不走时运缺跑少帽的菩萨。他约摸着赵姑母已经出门,匆匆地跑回来。轻轻开了街门,先往自己屋里走,以备万一姑母没出门好,再走出去。from the dilapidated door of the palace, I stared blankly at the bodhisattva who had lost his fortune and lacked robes and hats. He felt that Aunt Zhao had already gone out and hurried back. He gently opened the street door and walked into his house first, just in case his aunt didn't go out before going out. 听姑母屋里有无动静。听了半天,一无人生,二无犬吧,才慢慢开开门,低声叫了一声,静姐。你进来,王德。When I got to my room, I imitated the detective in the novel and leaned my ear against the wall to listen for any movement in my aunt's room. After listening for a long time, there was no sound and no barking. Then he slowly opened the door and called out, Sister Jing, in a low voice. Come in, Wang Da. Li Jing zuo在一张小椅上,王德没说话,走上前去吻了他一下。接吻除了野蛮人,可以在晴天白日之下坐,文明人是不坐的,纵然坐,也在黑影里。现在这两个野蛮化的男女。Li Jing was sitting on a small chair. Wang De didn't say anything, but walked up to her and kissed her. Except for savages who can kiss in broad daylight, civilized people don't kiss. Even if they do, it's in the shadows. Now these two barbaric men and women. 居然如此,你说,我没得说。他们真敢冒险。真敢乱做,他们又吻了一吻,你说。你去吧,王德,我明白你的心。第十九。老张正要打龙树骨的门,门忽然开开。老张往旁边一闪。It's actually like this, you said. 
I didn't say it. How dare they take risks, how dare they act randomly, they kissed again, you said. Go ahead, Wangda, I understand your heart. 19. Lao Zhang was about to knock on Nagarjuna's door when the door suddenly opened. Lao Zhang stepped aside. 走出一个少年, 看了老张一眼, 往前走去, 李英，你上这里来做什么？老张向前赶了几步，你管不着。李英停住步，小小年纪不必记仇，告诉我到这里干什么？见龙军官，啊，见老龙。A young man walked out, glanced at Lao Zhang, and walked forward. Li Ying, what are you doing here? Lao Zhang took a few steps forward. You have nothing to do with it. Li Ying stopped. You are young, there is no need to hold grudges. Tell me, what are you doing here? Meet Officer Long. Ah, meet the old dragon. Why do you want to see him? Something's wrong. Okay, no need to tell me, I can find out. Li Ying walked away angrily. Lao Zhang looked at his back and chuckled dot. Lao Zhang turned around. There was a dragon and phoenix standing in front of the door. She also looked at Li Ying. Lao Zhang Zhang felt itchy in his heart. 心里说,可惜咱钱不多,把一朵鲜花往孙八身上推。无法。跟着,他换了一副笑容,走上前去。凤姑娘,你父亲在家,我给你通知一声去。龙凤把黑布裙轻轻一撩跑进去。he said in his heart, it's a pity that we don't have much money, so we pushed a flower on Sun Ba. It's helpless. Then, he changed his smile and walked forward, dash. Miss Fong. Is your father at home? I'll let you know. Long Fong gently lifted up her black sarong and ran in. 好像一个小黑蝴蝶。老张低头把眼光斜射到他的腿腕,多么细软的腿腕。他又跑出来说,请进来。老张进去,龙凤开开屋门,老张一看屋里,倒吸了一口凉气。Like a small black butterfly. Lao Zhang lowered his head and glanced at her legs and wrists. What a thin and soft legs and wrists. She ran out again and said, Please come in. When Lao Zhang went in, Long Feng opened the door. When Lao Zhang looked inside, he took a deep breath. Tang Wu Zhong Jian, Bai Zhe Yi Zhang Chang Zhuo, Gai Zhe Xue Bai Zhe Zhuo Bu. Dang Zhong Yi Ping Xian Hua, Si Xia Bai Zhe Xie Dian Xing He Cha Ju. Long Jun Guan Zuo Zai Zhuo Zi De Yi Tou, Zuo Bian Zuo Zhe Sang Ge Huang Tou Fa, Lu Yan Zhu, Jian Bi Zi. There is a long table in the middle of the hall, covered with a snow-white tablecloth. There was a vase of flowers in the middle, and some snacks and tea sets were placed around it. Officer Long sat at one end of the table, and on the left sat three foreigners with yellow hair, green eyes, pointed noses, and high foreheads. 右边坐着两个中国人，滴滴嘟口露说外国话。老张除了庚子联军入京的时候做过日本买卖以外，见着外国人永远立在十丈以外看，现在相隔只有五尺，未免腿脚有些发软。Two Chinese people sat on the right, speaking in foreign languages, 
Except for doing business in Japan when the Gengzi Allied forces entered Beijing, Lao Zhang always stood ten feet away when he saw foreigners. Now they are only five feet apart, so his legs and feet feel a little weak. 请进来。龙军官并没看老张。老张鼓一鼓勇气，把腿搬起来往里挪。龙树鼓把手向右边的一个空椅一指，老张整团的咽唾液坐下，坐得和洋人离着仅二尺多。张先生，Please come in. Officer Long didn't look at Lao Zhang. Lao Zhang plucked up the courage to lift his legs and move them in. Long Shugu pointed to an empty chair on the right. Lao Zhang swallowed his saliva and sat down, sitting only two feet away from the foreigner, Mr. Zhang. Please come in. Officer Long didn't look at Lao Zhang. Lao Zhang plucked up the courage to lift his legs and move them in. Long Shugu pointed to an empty chair on the right. Lao Zhang swallowed his saliva and sat down, sitting only two feet away from the foreigner, Mr. Zhang. 北城的绅士也是教育家。龙军官向大众介绍, a gentleman from the North City and an educator. Officer Long introduced to the public, and Lao Zhang couldn't help but nod. Miss Fong, sit down too. Long Fong sat opposite her father. Dot. After the father and daughter poured the tea, Officer Long said to the old foreigner sitting in the middle on the left. Please ask Officer Go to pray and thank you for the tea. The officer slowly began to pray in Chinese, and the others all lowered their heads and closed their eyes and held their breath. Lao Zhang took the opportunity to see what the foreigners looked like with their eyes closed, because it was not easy to see foreigners sleeping. Just listen. Amen. Zhong Ren Quan Tai Qi Tou Zheng Kai Yan, Lao Zhang, Kai Shi Ba Yan Bi Shang. Long Jun Guan Ba Cha Di Gei Da Zhong, Yi Yi De Wen, Yao Tang He Niu Nai Bu Yao. Wen Dao Lao Zhang, Ta Shuo Le Yi Ge Zi Yao. Xin Li Xiang. Amen. Everyone raised their heads and opened their eyes, and Lao Zhang began to close his eyes. Dash, Officer Long handed the tea to everyone and asked one by one, Do you want sugar and milk? When asked about Lao Zhang, he said one word, yes. He thought to himself, anyway. I won't suffer any loss if I want two more pieces of candy. Long Feng put the candy to everyone. Lao Zhang saw the young people taking the candy into their mouths, and he took it and ate it. Long Shugu said, "Laugh, laugh." The young people didn't understand. They had to read the two people on the right side. So the young people also laughed. Long Feng handed the snacks to everyone. Long Feng handed the snacks to everyone. When Lao Zhang saw the foreigners putting the snacks in their mouths, he boldly took a piece. Nagarjuna was talking and laughing. If the foreigners couldn't understand, the two people sitting on the right would translate it, so the foreigners also laughed. Long Feng and Yang Ren are Zhong Xi two chans. Lao Zhang didn't understand a word, just waited for everyone to leave, and took a piece of candy from the shop. 把牛奶茶闭着气，一口灌下去。赵四好了没了？那个年老的洋人问：“早好了。”Long Feng and foreigners were talking about a mixture of Chinese and Western. 
Lao Zhang didn't understand at all. He just took advantage of everyone's inattention and took another snack and drank the milk tea in one gulp without holding his breath. Is Zhao Si okay? the old foreigner asked. Good morning. Now Now I pray morning and night and I am making great progress. Nagarjuna replied. How about donating money to the porridge factory? A young foreigner asked that. 375 yuan and 2 cents have been donated. The person sitting next to Lao Zhang said that, this Mr. Zhang is a philanthropist and donates money every year. Long Shu Gu Xiao Zhe Xiang Yang Ren Shuo. Na Wei Lao Yang Ren Xiang Lao Zhang Yi Xiao, Yong Zhong Guo Hua Wen, Ni Hao Bu Hao. Hao. Lao Zhang Fang Zhe Yang Qiang Shuo. Ni Juan Qian Bu Juan. Xian Zai. 杨人又问,老张看着龙树谷,龙树谷替老张回答,他捐。Nagarjuna smiled and said to the foreigner. The old foreigner smiled at Lao Zhang and asked in Chinese, How are you? Okay. Lao Zhang said in a foreign accent, Are you donating money or not? Now. The foreigner asked again. Lao Zhang looked at Nagarjuna, and Nagarjuna answered for Lao Zhang. He donated. 年年要捐的。龙军官紧跟向一个中国人说,把捐册拿出来,请张先生认捐。我没带着钱。老张忙着说,不要紧。那位拿着捐册的人说,写了数目以后我们派人去取。Donate every year. Officer Long followed up and said to a Chinese, Take out the donation book and ask Mr. Zhang to pledge. I didn't bring any money. Lao Zhang said hurriedly. It doesn't matter. The person holding the donation book said, After writing the amount, we will send someone to pick it up. I have long admired the great philanthropist. 久仰,平老龙叫洋人念咒,洋人就登时低头念,咱现在惹不了他。老张一面想,一面接捐策。从头至尾看了一遍,张,王,李,赵,不是五元就是三元,并没有半个童子或一毛钱的。Long time admiration. When Lao Long asked a foreigner to recite a mantra, the foreigner immediately lowered his head and recited, We can't mess with him now. Lao Zhang thought while accepting the donation book. He read it from beginning to end. Zhang, Wang, Li, and Zhao all had either five yuan or three yuan, and there was no half a copper or a dime. 又看了一遍, 于是老张咬着牙写了五角小羊的绢。大家又闲谈了半天,龙树谷和那位年老的外国人商议,去见李大善士劝绢。After reading it again, I found someone who donated fifty cents. So Lao Zhang gritted his teeth and wrote a donation of five cents and a small ocean. After everyone chatted for a long time, Nagarjuna discussed with the old foreigner and went to see Li Dashin to persuade him to donate. 于是大家立起预备出去。老张向龙军官丢了一个眼色,军官庄没看见,反向龙凤说。把东西收拾起来,晚饭不用等我,我回来的早不了。然后龙军官又回过头来向老张说。so everyone stood up and prepared to go out. Lao Zhang glanced at Officer Long. 
The officer pretended not to notice and said to Long Fong, Pack your things. You don't have to wait for me for dinner. I won't be back early. Then Officer Long turned back to Lao Zhang and said, Thank you for helping us. How about going out together? Lao Zhang followed everyone out of the street. Nagarjuna said to Lao Zhang, Goodbye. Following the foreigners and walking away, Lao Zhang squatted under the wall in a daze. He thought blankly for a long time, then stood up and knocked on the door again. Dash. Zhang 先生还没走，龙凤开开门说：“我不能走，我的话还没和你父亲说完。父亲回来的早不了，你愿意等着也好。”龙凤说完，梆的一声把门关上，债没讨成，亲事没说定。Mr. Zhang hasn't left yet. Long Feng opened the door and said, "Da, I can't leave. I haven't finished speaking to your father yet. Father will come back soon, so you might as well wait." After Long Feng finished speaking, he closed the door with a bang. Dot. The debt has not been paid. And the marriage has not been settled. 道教洋人诈取五毛钱，老张平生那受过这样的苦子，既无可出，掏出小账本写上的一句：十一月九日，老张一个人的国耻纪念日。第二十，下雨是墨盒子，刮风是香炉。Asking a foreigner to swindle fifty cents out of him. Lao Zhang has suffered like this in his life. With nothing to come up with, he took out his small account book and wrote, "November ninth is Lao Zhang's anniversary of national humiliation. Twenty. The rain is like an ink cartridge. The wind is like an incense burner." 是外国人对于北京的简妙的形容。中国人听了这两句话，只有夸赞形容的妙，而不觉得一个都城像墨盒子和香炉为不应当的。本来，为什么都城一定不像香炉和墨盒子 ？It is a concise and succinct way for foreigners to describe Beijing. After listening to these two sentences, the Chinese could only praise the wonderful description. But did not feel that it was inappropriate for a capital city to resemble an ink box and an incense burner. Originally, why the capital must not be like an incense burner and an ink box? Why the capital must not be like an incense burner and an ink box? Originally, why the capital must not be like an incense burner and an ink box? 那冬天每日必来的北风已经由细而粗地刮起来。Why doesn't the world? Li Jing asked her uncle for a dollar, bought some snacks and the like, and went out of the city to see her uncle. After leaving her aunt's door, the north wind that comes every day in winter has begun to blow from thin to thick. 先是空中一阵阵的哨子响。好似从天上射来的千万响箭，跟着由野外吹来的黄沙和路上的黑土卷成一片灰潮，从一切有孔的东西打过穿堂，兜着顺着风走的人瘦的脚肿。First there were bursts of whistles in the air, like thousands of arrows shot from the sky. The yellow sand blown from the wild and the black soil on the road rolled into a grey tide. Blowing through the hall from everything with holes. The heel of the beast is the heel of the beast that carries the man who walks with the wind. 压着逆着风走的脚面，把前者催成不自主的速进，把后者压成钉在地上的时装。一阵风过，寺外
，天空罩上一圈纱雾，阳光透过，好像漂浮着一层黄雪。Pressing on the feet that were moving against the wind, the former was driven into involuntary rapid progress, and the latter was pressed into stone piles and nailed to the ground. A gust of wind passed by, and the sky outside was covered with a circle of sand and mist. The sun shined through, as if a layer of yellow snow was floating. 跟着由远而近的响声，又坐。远处的高树先轻轻的点头，近处的一切可动的东西也见此摇动。继而后面的怒潮又排山倒海而来。As the sound continued from far to near, the tall trees in the distance nodded gently at first, and all the movable things nearby gradually swayed. Then came the overwhelming wave of anger from behind. 远近上下的东西就在吼叫中连成一片不可分析的波动与激荡。如此一阵，一阵又一阵，树枝折了，薄的土墙倒了。路上的粪土吹净了，到红日西落的时候。Things far and near, up and down, were roaring together into an unanalyzable wave and agitation. This goes on for a while, and after a while, the branches break, the thin earth walls fall down, and the dirt on the road is blown away, until the red sun sets in the west. 才惨淡荒寒的休息一刻。等着夜里再攻袭大地的一切，李靖握着他的毛象巾，半闭着眼，走三步，停两步的往前奔。走了好大半天，才到德胜门。那城门洞的风更与众不同。Just a moment of rest in the desolate cold, waiting to attack everything on the earth again at night. Li Jing held her woolen scarf, half closed her eyes. And ran forward after taking three steps, stopping for two steps. It took a long time to walk before we arrived at Dishengmen. The wind in the city gate is even more different. 好似千万只野牛被怒火烧着，争着从城洞往外挤。他们的利脚刺到人的面上，比利刃多一点冷气，不单是疼。那一个城门洞。分秒不停地长着一条无形有声的瀑布。It was like thousands of bison burning with rage, vying to squeeze out of the city cave. Their sharp horns pierced people's faces, which was a little more cool than a blade, and it was not only painful. That city gate hole was filled with an invisible and sound waterfall that kept rising every second. 狂浪打的人们连连转身。如逆浪而行的小鱼，李靖倒退着，挨着城墙，用尽全身力量，费了五分钟才挤出去。出了城门，风势更野了。The people hit by the wild waves turned around again and again, like small fish swimming against the waves. Li Jing backed up and leaned against the city wall, using all her strength. It took her five minutes to squeeze out. The wind became even wilder outside the city gate. 可是吹来的黄沙比城里的腥恶的黑土干净多了。他奋斗着，到底到了家，只是鼻洼的沙土已经积了半寸多厚。篱墙被风吹得咯吱咯吱的响，那座破磨盘在他的眼里。But the yellow sand blown in is much cleaner than the fishy black soil in the city. She struggled and finally reached home, but the sand in the hollow of her nose had accumulated more than half an inch thick. The fence creaked and creaked in the wind, and the broken millstone appeared in her eyes. 一起一落的，好像要被风刮走。除了这些响声，屋里连一声咳嗽都没有。他好似到了一个阴寒沈寂的山洞。叔父，我回来了。啊，静儿，快进来。他的叔父围着一个小火炉
The ones that fall together seem to be blown away by the wind. Apart from these noises, there was not even a cough in the room. She seemed to have arrived in a cold and silent cave. Uncle. I'm back. Ah. Uh, Jinger. Come in quickly. Her uncle gathered around a small stove. 看着一本书, 见了李静, 她喜欢的像一个蜜蜂, 被风刮进一间温室满列着鲜花。可是他说话的声音依然非常低细,当风吼的时候,没有人可以听清楚他说的什么。舒服,是我。Reading a book. When he met Li Jing, he felt like a bee blown by the wind into a greenhouse filled with flowers. But his voice was still very low, and when the wind roared, no one could hear what he said clearly. Uncle. It's me. 快坐下,烤一烤手。我先去洗一洗脸。他用那冻红的手指摸着脸蛋。不用。先坐下,我看看你。舒服,我给你买来些点心。他把点心包给他舒服看。Come sit down and warm up your hands. I'm going to wash my face first. She touched her face with her cold red fingers. No need. Sit down first and let me take a look at you. Uncle, I bought you some snacks. She showed her uncle the snack package. The paper package was covered with sand. 你又跟你姑父要了钱，以后千万别再跟他要，他的钱不是容易来的。是，叔父，你进来怎样？我照旧。好，你去洗脸。你又胖了一些，我放心了。他洗了脸，从袋中拿出两块钱来。叔父，
You have also forgotten my age, twenty-two by the end of the year. Li Jing half-smiled, feeling really sad that her uncle had lost his memory. Uncle is old. He put his hand on his forehead and remained silent for a long time, then asked again, So you are twenty-two. 你自己的事怎样? 什么是我自己的事? 舒服? 妇女是没有自己的事的, 人们也不许妇女有自己的事, 可是我允许你主张你自己的事, 你是要叫我在城里找一点事做? How about your own affairs? What is my own business, uncle? Women do not have their own affairs, and women are not allowed to have their own affairs. But I allow you to assert your own affairs. You want me to find something to do in the city? That有事给你们做。我的意思是你自己的婚事。今儿,你带你叔父要和带你母亲一样,要说什么?说。这个是。今儿。我先说吧。现在,有人要买你做妾,你要是心目中有相当的人。then I have something for you. I mean your own marriage. Jinger, you should treat your uncle the same as you treat your mother. Whatever you want to say, say it. This matter. Jinger. Let me say it first. Now someone wants to buy you as a concubine, if you have someone in mind. 赶快决定。你有了脱身之处, 我呢,怎样死也甘心。李静明白,叔父所指的人,因为王德曾给过他些暗示。叔父,除此以外有第二个办法没有。他把那两条好看的眉毛拧在一处。Decide quickly. You have a place to live, and I am willing to die no matter what. Li Jing understood who her uncle was referring to because Wang Da had given her some hints. Dot. Uncle, is there any other way besides death? She knitted those two beautiful eyebrows together. Dot. No,没有,没有。你靠近我一些，我细细地告诉你。李静把小凳搬进了他一些。他舒服的声音像半哭的黄叶在悄悄的寒风里做着悲哀的微笑。我明说吧,老张要买你。No. No. Come closer to me and I will tell you in detail. Li Jing moved the small stool closer to him. Her uncle's voice was like a half-withered yellow leaf, making a sad sound in the quiet cold wind. I'll tell you clearly, Lao Zhang wants to buy you. 我打算在他提婚之际把张师母救出来，现在已算失败，不用细说。第一步失败，第二步不能再延宕。就是你有合适的人，我赶快与你们立了婚约。我呢，对不起老张，只好一死。I planned to rescue Mrs. Zhang when he proposed marriage, but now it is considered a failure, no need to elaborate. If the first step fails, the second step cannot be delayed any longer. If you find the right person, I will make a marriage contract with you immediately. As for me, I'm sorry for Lao Zhang, I have no choice but to die. 舒服。你想我和李英要是有心的,能叫你死不能。李静的声音颤了。静儿,把气吻下去。我活着,怎见比死了强。这样的废物死了,除了你和李英哭我一场,以外别无影响。Uncle, do you think that if Li Ying and I were intentional, we could kill you? Li Jing's voice trembled. Jing'er. Stay calm. How can I think that being alive is better than being dead? When such a waste dies, it will have no impact other than you and Li Ying crying for me. I'll die if I don't want to see Lao Zhang. He came here, but 
带着两个穿土色军衣的兵。他说：“不还钱，送侄女，两样全不做。当时把你送到监牢里去，那两个灰色的东西立在窗外喊，把他捆了走。” I would rather die than see Lao Zhang. The last time he came, he brought two soldiers wearing earth-colored military uniforms. He said, "If you don't pay back the money and give your niece away, if you don't do either of those things, I'll send you to jail." Those two gray things stood outside the window and shouted, "Tie him away!" 不用废话，静儿，死了比这个强。我不能看着你死。理应也不能，不能，不能。他的脸变成灰色了。你听着，子女是该当享受子女的生命的，不是为老人活着。你要是不明白我的心 ，No need to waste words. Jinger, death is better than this. I can't watch you die, and neither can Li Ying. Cannot. Cannot. Her face turned gray. Listen. Children should enjoy their lives, not live for the elderly. If you don't understand my heart. 而落于老张之手，你想，我就是活着，不比死还难过。断送个半死的老人和一个青年，那个便宜。事情为什么不找便宜的做？我只要听你的事，告诉我。姑母管束很严。And falling into the hands of Lao Zhang, do you think just living is not worse than death? It's cheap to kill a half-dead old man and a young man. Why not find a cheaper way to deal with it? All I have to do is listen to your business and tell me. My aunt is very strict. 我见不着生人，除了王德。王德是个好孩子，我们还都年轻。爱情是年轻人讲的。好，静儿，我去和你王伯父商议。可是我不能听着你寻死，叔父。静儿，风小一点了，进城吧。I can't see anyone except Wang Da. Wang Da is a good boy. We are still young. Love is what young people talk about. Good, Jinger. I'll go discuss it with your uncle Wang. But I can't listen to you seeking death, Uncle Jinger. The wind has calmed down a bit. Let's go into the city. I understand you. You don't understand me. Girl, go back home. 问你姑父姑母好，老人立起来，颤着把手扶在他肩上，细细的端详他。他不能自制的哭了。静儿，走吧。哎，第二十一。I understand you. You don't understand me. Girl, go back and say hello to your uncle and aunt. The old man stood up, put his trembling hands on her shoulders, and looked at her carefully. She couldn't help crying. Dash, Jinger, let's go. Well, twenty-one. Li Jing 昏昏沉沉的进了德胜门，风是小了，可是类比来的时候，被风吹出来的更多了。过了德胜桥，街上的人往前指着说：“看，董善人。” Li Jing entered the Shengmen in a daze. The wind had subsided, but there were more tears blown out by the wind than when she came here. After crossing Dishing Bridge, people on the street pointed forward and said, "Look, Dong Shanren." 一个老妇人急切地向一个要饭的小姑娘说：“还不快去，董善人在那里。”去，李静也停住看。一位老先生穿着一件蓝布棉袍，盖到脚面，头上一顶僧帽，手中一挂串珠，圆圆的脸。An old woman said eagerly to a little girl begging for food, "Go quickly, 
Dong Shanren is there, go. Li Jing also stopped and looked. An old gentleman wore a blue cotton robe covering his feet, a monk's hat on his head, and a string of beads in his hand. Round face. Zhang Man Ying Hui de Hu Zi, Ci Mei Shan Mu de. Jiao Hua Zi Ba Ta Wei Zhu, Ta Cong Seng Mao Nei Man Man Tao, Tao Chu Yi Juan Qian Piao, Gei Jiao Hua Zi Mei Ren Yi Zhang. Ran Hou Kuang Xiao Le Yi Zhen, Gao Lang Lang De Nian Le Yi Sheng A Mi Tuo Fu. Li Jing Xin Zhong Yi Dong. He has a silver gray beard and a kind hearted look. The beggars surrounded him. And he slowly took out a roll of money tickets from his hat and gave one to each of the beggars. Then he laughed wildly for a while and recited Amit Ba loudly. Li Jing's heart moved. 可是不敢走上前去，慢慢的随着那位老先生往南走。走过了蒋养房东口，那位先生忽然又狂笑了一阵，转过身来往回走。进了到银锭桥去的那条小巷，李靖看着他进了小巷。But he didn't dare to step forward and slowly followed the old gentleman southward. After passing the entrance of Jiangyang Village, the gentleman suddenly laughed wildly again, turned around and walked back, entering the alley leading to Yinding Bridge. Li Jing watched him enter the alley. 才开始往姑母家走，他低着头走，到了护国寺街东口。静姐，你回来了。王德利在一个铺子的外面，脸冻得通红。静姐，我的事成功了。他像小孩子见着亲姐姐一样的亲热。Just started walking to my aunt's house. She walked with her head down and arrived at the east entrance of Huguosi Street. Sister Jing, you're back. Wang De stood outside a shop, his face flushed from the cold. Sister Jing, my business was successful. He was as affectionate as a child seeing his own sister. 是吗？他说，是。给大强报校对稿子，仿新闻。二年之后，凭我的财力，就是主笔。姐姐，你知道主笔都是文豪。王德，在，姑母在家没有。上铺子和姑父要钱去了，快走。Yeah, she said. Dot. Yes. Proofreading manuscripts for Dachiang Daily and conducting news interviews. Two years later, with my talent, I became the main writer. Elder sister, you know the main writers are all literary giants. Wang Da. Dot exist. Is aunt at home? The upper bunk boy and my uncle went to ask for money. Let's go quickly. 到家，我告诉你要紧的事。得令，王德随着赵姑父在天桥戏棚听过一次文武代打的戏，颇觉得戏剧的文学有短俏明了的好处。每逢高兴，不知不觉的用出来。I'll tell you something important when I get home. Got the order. Wang De followed Uncle Zhao to listen to a play involving civil and military leaders at the Tianxiao Theater. He quite felt that the literature of drama had the advantage of being short and clear, and he used it unconsciously whenever he was happy. Dot. 两个人到了家，李靖急切地对王德说：“王德，你去给我办一件事，行不行？”“行。”可是，等我说完我的事，王德，李静急得要哭。我求你立刻给我办事去。不。When the two people arrived at home, Li Jing said to Wang De eagerly, "Wang De, can you go and do something for me?" "Okay, but wait until I finish talking about my business." Wang De, 
Li Jing was so anxious that she was about to cry. I beg you to do something for me immediately. No. 我要不先告诉明白你我的事，我心里好像藏着一条大蟒，一节一节的往外爬。那是这么一件事。我今天，王德，你太自私了，你不爱我，我不爱你，我是个没长犄角的小黄牛。If I don't tell you my story first, I feel like there is a big python hidden in my heart, crawling out section by section. That's one thing. Today, I, Wang Da. You are so selfish. You don't love me. I don't love you. I'm a little ox without horns. 那么我求你做事，为什么不注意听？说，姑娘，我听。说完你的，再说我的。你知道北城有一位董善人。你去给我打听他的住址，你打听他做什么？你要是爱我，请不必细问。So why don't you pay attention when I ask you to do something? Dot explain. Girl, I listen. After talking about yours, talk about mine. Do you know there is a Dong Shan in Beijing? Go and find out his address for me. What are you asking him to do? If you love me, please don't ask in detail. Today's matter is a little strange. Don't ask, don't say. Good. Don't ask, don't say. Wang De is gone. 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 There's something mysterious about today. Don't ask, don't tell. Good. If you don't ask, don't ask. Wang De will go. Wang De pulled his legs and ran out. He opened the street door with a bang and said, "Ouch!" Li Jing ran out after him and saw Wang De covering his head with one hand. 一手王起，树门栓。王德，打着没有？没有，除了头上添了一个鹅峰。王德说罢，又飞跑去了。不到十分钟，王德跑回来。王德，你的头疼不疼？他摸了摸他的头，依然是滚热的，不疼。Lift the door latch with one hand. Wang De, are you still alive? No, except for adding a goose peak on the head, Wang De said and ran away again. In less than ten minutes, Wang De ran back. Wang De, does your head hurt? She touched his head and it was still hot. It doesn't hurt. Jing Jie, I ran to the street, my heart beating. If I go to Beijing to ask. 不如去问巡警。果然，巡警告诉我，那位善人的住址是在银锭桥门牌九十八号。你的事完了，该我说了吧？说吧，姐姐，你有什么心事 ？Sister Jing, I ran to the street and came up with a plan. Instead of going to Beijing to inquire, I might as well ask the patrol police. Sure enough. The patrol officer told me that the good man's address was at number ninety-eight, Yindingki Ao. Your matter is over. Is it my turn? Say it. Dot, elder sister. What's on your mind? 说罢，两个字不像你平日的口气。没有心事，你的事怎样？做坊员，将来做主笔。这绝不是平庸的事业。你看，开导民智还不是顶好的事？你要做文章、写稿子。The word "say it" doesn't sound like your usual tone. Nothing to worry about. How are you doing? As an interviewer, I will be the main writer in the future. 
this is no mediocre career. You see, isn't it the best thing to enlighten people's wisdom? You have to compose an article and write a manuscript. 报馆要是收你的稿件才怪。静姐,你怎么拿我取笑？王德珍不高兴了。你不信我的话，等姑父回来问他，听他说什么。一定。问了姑父，大概就可以证明你的话不对。王德撅了嘴。it would be weird if the newspaper accepted your manuscript. Sister Jing, why are you making fun of me? Wang Da is really unhappy. Dash, if you don't believe me, wait until uncle comes back and ask him and listen to what he says. Dut, must. If you ask your uncle, he can probably prove that what you said is wrong. Wang Da pouted. 心里想,怎样做稿子,怎样登在报上,怎样把有自己的稿子的报偷偷放在他的屋里,叫他看了,他得怎样的佩服。李静想他自己的事,他想他自己的事。I thought to myself, how to write an article, how to publish it in the newspaper, how to secretly put the newspaper with my article in her room, let her read it, and how she would be admired. Li Jing thinks about her own things, and he thinks about his own things. 谁也不觉寂寞的彼此看着不说话。李英回来了。李英，好几年没见。王德好容易找到一个爱听他的事情的，因为李静是不愿听的。王德怎么永远说废话？今天早晨还见着。no one felt lonely, they looked at each other without speaking. Li Ying is back. Li Ying. I haven't seen him in years. Wang Da finally found someone who liked to listen to his story, because Li Jing didn't want to hear it. Wang Da, why do you always talk nonsense? I saw you again this morning. 怎就好几年? 李英又对他姐姐说,叔叔说什么来着?对,姐弟说吧,今天没我说话的地方。王德,别下吵,李英依旧问他,叔父怎样?叔父身体照常,只嘱咐你好好做事。How come it's only been a few years? Li Ying said to his sister again, what did uncle say? Yes, siblings. There is no place for me to talk today. Wang Da. Don't make any noise. Li Ying still asked her, How is uncle? Uncle is in good health as usual. I just ask you to do your best. Li Ying put other things on the Wang De, your thing. Li Ying is 这可是你爱听。好,你听着。王德可得这个机会。今天我出城,遇见一位亲戚。Li Jing covered up everything else. Wang De, what's your matter? Li Ying asked quickly, fearing that Wang De was unwilling. You ask me? Is this what you want to hear? Okay. Listen. Wang Di got a chance. I went out of town today and met a relative. 把我介绍到大强报报馆,一半做访员,一半做校队。校队是天天做,月薪十元,访稿是不定的,稿子采用,另有酬金。明天就去上工试手。李英,学好了校队和编稿子。he introduced me to the Dachiang newspaper office, where I worked half as an interviewer and half as a proofreader. Proofreading is done every day, and the monthly salary is 10 yuan. Interviewing for manuscripts is variable, and there is a remuneration for accepting manuscripts. I'll go to work tomorrow to try my hand at work. Li Ying learned proofreading and editing. 
就算明白了报馆的一大部分，三二年后我自己也许开个报馆。我绝不为赚钱，是为开通民智，这是地道的好事。王德说完，专等李英的夸奖。错事不错，李英慢慢的说。Even if I understand a large part of a newspaper office, I might open a newspaper office myself in three or two years. I am not doing it to make money, but to enlighten people's wisdom. This is a genuine good thing. After Wang De finished speaking, he was waiting for Li Ying's praise. Dot. Wrong is good. Li Ying said slowly. 只是世界上的事，在亲自经验过以前，先不用说好说坏。好，又一个闷雷。在学堂的时候，我就说你像八十岁的老人，你说话真像我老祖。王德并没缺了笑容，事实如此。It's just that there is no need to say whether things are good or bad until you have personally experienced them. Dot good. Another thunder. When I was in school, I said you looked like an eighty-year-old man. You really sound like my ancestor. Wang De did not miss his smile. Dot. That's true. 并不是说我有经验，你没有。我到底不信。世界上的事就真是好坏不能预料的吗？你不明白我的意思，王德。等有功夫咱们细说。现在我要想一想我自己的事。It's not that I have experience and you don't. I don't believe it. After all, are things in the world really unpredictable, good or bad? You don't understand what I mean, Wang Da. We'll talk about it in detail when we have time. Now I want to think about my own affairs. Li Ying 说完，走到自己的屋去。李静去到厨房做晚饭，只剩下王德自言自语地说：“对。”咱也想咱自己的事。第二十二，老张对龙树谷下了埃蒂每吨书。老龙，欠咱的钱。After Li Ying finished speaking, he walked to his room, and Li Jing went to the kitchen to make dinner. Only Wang Da was left talking to himself. Yes, we also think about our own things. Twenty-two. Lao Zhang wrote a Maidan Book of Sorrow to Nagarjuna. Old Long, you owe us money. 明天不送到，审判听见。如有请求，钱不到人道，给养之息。张印，龙树谷慌了，立刻递了降书，约老张在新街口泰丰居见面，酬赏一切条件，其茶饭等。If it's not delivered tomorrow, it'll see you in the trial hall. If you have a request and the money doesn't arrive, I'll let you know. Zhang Yin. Nagar Shugu panicked and immediately handed over a letter of surrender and asked Lao Zhang to meet at Tai Fengju in Zinjiku to discuss all conditions. All the expenses, such as food and tea, would be paid by the weak country. 双方的战术俱不弱，可是有史学家看，到底老张的兵力厚于老龙。虽然他是军官，就是军的军官。双方代表都按时出席。泰丰居的会议开始。老龙，说干脆的。The tactics of both sides were not weak, but according to historians, Lao Zhang's military strength was stronger than that of Lao Long, even though he was an officer. An officer of the Salvation Army. Representatives from both sides attended on time, and the meeting at Tai Fong Ju began. Old Long, just say it. 大块洋钱你使了，现在和咱冲啥？叫做不行。老张全身没有一处不显着比龙树骨优越，仰着头，半合着眼，用手指着老龙。慢慢商议，不必着急
龙军官依然很镇静，不着急，是儿子。You spend a lot of foreign money, and now you are pretending to be a fool. It's not okay. There is no part of Lao Zhang's body that is obviously superior to Nagarjuna. He raised his head, half closed his eyes, and pointed at Lao Long. Dash, discuss slowly. Don't be in a hurry. Officer Long is still very calm. Dash, don't worry. It's my son. 金光的袁世凯脑袋一去不回头。你不着急，我。没办法，审判听见。老张扭着头不看老龙，而看着别的茶客吃东西。打官司，老张，你不明白法律。怎么？你看，现在打官司讲究请律师。The crystal clear Yuan Shikai's head will never look back. Don't worry, me. No way. See you in the trial hall. Lao Zhang turned his head away from Lao Long and looked at the other tea guests eating. Dash litigation, Lao Zhang, you don't understand the law. Da how? You see, when litigating a lawsuit nowadays, it is important to hire a lawyer. 假如你争的是一千元的财产，律师的费用就许是五六百。打上官司。三年五年不定完案不完，车钱你就赔不起。即使胜诉，执行之期还远得很。If you are fighting for a property worth one thousand dollars, the lawyer's fees may be five hundred or six hundred. If you get involved in a lawsuit, it may take three to five years to complete, and you won't be able to afford the car payment. Even if the case is won, execution is still far away. 可是车贩和律师出庭费是现款不赊，你要息钱不请律师，我请，律师就有一种把没理说成有理的能力。我很有几位法界的朋友，龙军官不卑不亢的接着说。However, the transportation, meal and lawyer's fees are in cash and not on credit. If you want to save money and don't hire a lawyer, let me hire one. Lawyers have the ability to make sense out of nothing. I have many friends in the legal world. Officer Long continued without being humble or condescending. They 异口同声地说，宁寿区别打官司，除了有心争气，不计较金钱损失的。老张，你平心静气地想想，顶好我们和平着办。你不信呢，非打官司不可。我老龙只有奉陪。They all said in unison that they would rather be wronged than litigate, and they did not care about the loss of money except for those who wanted to achieve success. Lao Zhang, think about it calmly. It would be best for us to deal with it peacefully. Don't you believe it? We have to go to court. I, Lao Long, can only accompany you. Lao Zhang 翻了翻眼珠。从脑子里所有的账本、历史翻了一个过，然后说：“打官司与否是我的自由，反正你成不了原告。你的话真吧假吧，我更没功夫想。不过老龙，你我的交情要紧。” Lao Zhang rolled his eyes and looked through all the ledgers and histories in his mind. Then say. It's my freedom whether to file a lawsuit or not. You can't be the plaintiff anyway. Whether your words are true or false, I don't have time to think about it. But our friendship is important, Lao Long. 似乎不必抓破了脸叫旁人看笑话。你到底怎么办？慢慢的还钱，别故意耍人啊，老龙。这句话。我听过五百多回了，你有办法没有？有，只怕你不肯干。咱听一听，还是那句话。It seems that there is no need to scratch your face and make others laugh. What on earth do you do? Pay back the money slowly. 
Don't try to trick people, old dragon. I have heard this sentence more than five hundred times. Is there anything you can do? Dot, have. I'm afraid you won't do it. Let's listen. It's the same sentence. You have such a good girl, why can't you be a good girl? You have such a good girl, why can't you get some bride price and clear your debts? If I don't have a reliable person to do it for me, the bride price won't fly down from the sky, right? Look here. Lao Zhang pointed to the bridge of his nose and said, Your daughter is just like mine. As long as you are willing to do it, Lao Zhang dares to say, do things worthy of your friends. Where is your plan? Listen, have you seen Mr. Sun Ba? Isn't he that stupid country gentleman? Old Long, don't underestimate people. Drink. Pu 也许是咱们的。孙八爷年纪不大，现在也不过三十上下。前者他和我说要娶一位女学生，我听过也就放在脑后。A local gentleman, good humanity and good knowledge, and he is a born rich man. He has money that is his. Maybe it's ours. Sun Bei is not very old. He is only around thirty now. In the former case, he told me that he wanted to marry a female student. I heard it and put it in the back of my mind. Later, when I saw Miss Fong, I remembered this incident. Based on the girl's intellectual appearance and Sun Bas character and status, the more I look at them, the more they look like a beautiful couple made for each other. But I never told you. You didn't say it clearly, did you express your intention? Old Long, old friend. 别一句不让，老张故意卖个破绽，视若与老龙，因为人们是可以赢一句话而输掉脑袋的。果然你愿意办，我可以去对孙八说。事情成了，姑娘有了依靠，你亲了债。Don't say a word. Lao Zhang deliberately used a flaw to show weakness to Lao Long, because people can win a word but lose their heads. Sure enough, if you are willing to do it, I can go and tell Sun Ba. The thing is done, the girl has someone to rely on, and you have cleared your debt. 是不是一举两得? 现在听你的,说个数目. 三十万块钱. 老龙, 老张笑起来, 别要少了啊! 总统买姑娘也犯不上花三十万啊! 要卖就捞个值得,五个铜子一个,我还买几个呢? Does it kill two birds with one stone? Now it's up to you, tell me the amount. Three hundred thousand yuan. Old Long. Lao Zhang laughed. Don't ask for less. The president can't afford to pay three hundred thousand yuan to buy a girl. If you want to sell it, it's worth it. It's five coppers each. 
I'll buy a few more. 这不是卖，是明媒正娶，花红轿往外抬。彩礼不是身价，那么不写字据，这就是写。写法也有多少种？老张，咱们打开鼻子说亮话，写卖券非过万不可，不写呢，一千出头就有商议。This is not a sale. This is a matchmaking ceremony. With red flowers and red sedans being carried out, betrothal gift is not worth. Then no written evidence. This is writing, and there are so many ways to write it. Old Zhang, let's open our noses and tell the truth. It is absolutely necessary to write and sell coupons. If we don't write, there will be discussions in the early one thousands. 好在钱经你的手，你扣我的债，哪怕除了你的债剩一个童子呢，咱买包香片茶喝，也算卖女儿一场，这痛快不痛快？你是朋友，拿过手来。老张伸出手，和龙军官热热的握了一握。Fortunately, the money is in your hands, and you charge my debt. Even if there is only one copper left in addition to your debt. If we buy a bag of fragrant tea and drink it, it is also considered as selling our daughter. Isn't this pleasant? You are a friend. Take it. Lao Zhang stretched out his hand and shook Officer Long's hand warmly. 卖券不写，婚书是不可少的，随你办，办的妥，你的钱就妥，不然钱再飞了。咱姓龙的不负严当债务的责任，有我的女儿，有孙八的钱，有你这件人，就这么办，我静候好音。好朋友，来。Selling coupons does not mean writing. A marriage letter is indispensable. It's up to you. If it's done properly, your money will be fine. Otherwise, if the money flies away again, we. Surnamed Long will not bear the responsibility of delaying the debt. I have my daughter. I have Sun Bas money, and I have you. So let's do this. I look forward to good news. Dot, good friend. Come. Today, 先请咱喝盅喜酒。若国担负茶饭，以见降书之内。龙军官无法要了些酒菜慰慰老张。太封居会议闭幕，外面的狂风又狂吼起来。Let's have a cup of wedding wine today. The weak country is responsible for food and tea. Seeing that the letter of surrender has been included, Officer Long has no choice but to ask for some food and wine to feed Lao Zhang. Dot. The Taifengjie meeting ended. And the strong wind outside roared again. Lao Zhang, 勇敢而快活地冲着北风往家里走，好似天地昏暗，正是他理想的境遇。第二十三，王德撅着嘴，冲着尖锐杀肉的北风往赵姑母家里走，把嘴唇冻得通红。Lao Zhang bravely and happily walked toward his home against the north wind. As if the darkness of the world was his ideal realm. Twenty-three. Wang de pouted and walked towards Aunt Zhao's house against the sharp and murderous north wind, his lips turning red from the cold. 已经是夜里一点钟，街上的电灯被风吹得忽明忽灭，好似鬼火一闪一闪地照着街心立着的冷刺猬似的巡警。路旁铺户都关了门，只有几家打夜工的铜铁铺。It was already one o'clock in the night, and the electric lights on the street were blown on and off by the wind, like will-o'-the-wisps, flickering on the cold hedgehog-like patrolmen standing in the middle of the street. All the shops on the roadside are closed, except for a few copper and iron shops that work at night. 依然叮叮地敲着深冬的夜曲
，间断的摩托车装着富贵人们，射着死白的光焰，比风还快的飞过，暂时冲破街市上的冷寂。这是王德道报馆做工的第七页。Still tinkling the nocturne of late winter. Motorcycles carrying wealthy people flew by faster than the wind, shooting out white flames, temporarily breaking the silence of the street. This is Wang De's seventh night working in the newspaper office. 校对稿件到十一点钟才能完事，走到家中至早也在十二点钟以后。因赵姑父的慈善，依然许王德住在那里，夜间回来的晚。白天可以晚起一些，也是赵姑父教给王德的。The proofreading of the manuscript can't be completed until eleven o'clock, and the earliest I can get home is after twelve o'clock. Because of Uncle Zhao's charity, Wang De was still allowed to live there. He could come back late at night and get up later during the day. This was what Uncle Zhao taught Wang De. 身上一阵热汗，外面一阵凉风，结果全身罩上一层黏而凉的油漆，走的都宁愿死了也不愿再走，才到了赵姑父家。他轻轻开开门，又轻轻的锁好。There was a burst of hot sweat on my body and a cool breeze outside. As a result, my whole body was covered with a layer of sticky and cool paint. Those who left wanted to die rather than leave again, so they arrived at Uncle Zhao's house. He opened the door gently and locked it gently. 然后蹑足屏气地向自己屋里走，被屋里细长的呼声，他立住听了一会儿，心里说道：“静姐，我回来了。”王德进到自己屋里，把蜡烛点上。Then he walked quietly and breathlessly towards his room. He stood and listened to the long and thin voice in the north room for a while, and said in his heart, "Sister Jing, I'm back." Wang De went into his room and lit the candle. Li Ying's eyes were being lit by the light, slowly, slowly, and then he turned his head into the bedroom. Li Ying, Li Ying. 王德低声的叫，李英哼了一声，又把头深深的藏在被里。王德不好意思把李英叫醒。李英 s eyes were opened by the candlelight, and then he put his head under the quilt. Li Ying, Li Ying, Wang De shouted in a low voice. Li Ying snorted and hid his head deeply in the quilt again. Wang De was embarrassed to wake Li Ying up. 拿着蜡烛向屋内照了一照，看见李英床下放着一双新鞋，然后熄了蜡烛上床就寝。王德睡到次日九点钟才醒，李英早已出去。王德，该起来了。窗外李静这样说。就起。He took a candle and shined it into the house. When he took the light. He saw a pair of new shoes under Li Ying's bed. Then he put out the candle and went to bed. Wang De didn't wake up until nine o'clock the next day. Li Ying had already gone out. Wang De, it's time to get up. Li Jing said outside the window. Just get up. 昨天什么时候回来的？不用说。昨天我要没血性，就死在外面了。午后出去不？不一定。姑母下午出城去看叔父。好，我不出去，有话和你说。我也想和你谈一谈。When did you come back yesterday? Needless to say, if I had no blood, would have died outside yesterday. Would you like to go out in the afternoon? Dot uncertain. My aunt is going out of town to see my uncle in the afternoon. Dot good. I'm not going out, but I have something to tell you. I also want to talk to you. 
离京到厨房去做事。王德慢慢的起来，依然撅着嘴。赵姑母预备出门，比上阵的兵丁繁琐多了，诸事齐备，还回来两次，一次是忘带了小手巾。Li Jing went to the kitchen to work, and Wang De got up slowly, still pouting. Aunt Xiao was preparing to go out, which was much more complicated than the soldiers going into battle. Everything was ready, and she came back twice. Once she forgot to bring a small handkerchief. 一次是回来用碟子盖好厨房放着的那块冻豆腐。赵姑母真走了，王德和李静才坦然坐在一处谈话。姐姐，谁先说？你先说，不然你也听不下去我的。她温媚的一笑。One time, I came back and covered the piece of frozen tofu in the kitchen with a plate. After Aunt Zhao really left, Wang Da and Li Jing sat together and talked calmly.